Chapter 281 Is This Right? After Tang Emo figured out the system, he left the room to see what everyone was doing. What Tang Emo didn't expect was that not only the children, but also the elderly would quickly accept this system one by one. The sight of lying on the sofa wearing a helmet seemed a little funny to Tang Emo. That's right. They are all people with higher education. And their daily work is inseparable from computers. So how could they not be able to accept this new thing? When Tang Emo came to the living room, he found a lonely figure on the sofa. Teacher who? What's wrong? In fact, Tang Emo had noticed a long time ago that teacher whose expression had not been very good since he came in. There was no excitement and excitement on other people's faces. But he was calm and a little scary. The situation here is better than expected at the end of Tang Dynasty. And the tolerance for outsiders, like them, is also very high. Why haven't you adapted to that system? It's quite convenient. I have to say that the system in the room can meet almost all people's needs. Not to mention other things. In terms of convenience, it is unparalleled. Does that thing still need to be adapted? I'm afraid it can be used by people with hands and brains. This was the first time in the late Tang Dynasty that he heard such harsh words from Teacher Hu. Before that, Teacher Hu had always been a gentle and elegant figure. You don't like it here? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he probably understood that Teacher Hu didn't like it here. But there are no hunting by strange beasts and no intrigues by humans. Isn't it exactly the place he wants to find? At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he didn't understand that for a person like Teacher Hu who had no worries about the world and even had a great love for others. This place should be a paradise. I don't like it. It's true that people can live comfortably here. But that's not how the machine era should be used. People shouldn't just be biological beings. And people's emotional attributes should also be respected. Emotional attribute? What do you mean? Tang Emo roughly understood what Teacher Hu meant. She felt the same as Teacher Hu. But she still continued to ask. With clothes on the table, food in hand, and mouth open, people don't have to do anything. In this way, survival needs are satisfied, but people's social value is completely lost. In Maslow's needs theory, survival needs are nothing but the lowest needs of people. For example, because new energy has solved the problem of the greenhouse effect, all plants have been abandoned, and the human need for ornamental plants has also been abandoned. Because people lie on the sofa every day and operate the broken system. There are no longer pets in this world. In contrast, the emotional needs of human beings for companionship have also been abandoned. Except for things related to survival. It seems that other things are not important. People don't even leave their rooms and live in those few square meters for the rest of their lives. What is the difference between living like this and those pigs and broilers raised in captivity? What is the difference between this and the pigs and broiler chickens raised in captivity? The truth of this sentence shocked Tang Emo. Yes, if just living is enough, then what is the meaning of living? Human beings have raised themselves in captivity. So what is the difference between them and those animals that have been raised in captivity? But everyone here lives like this. No one raises any objections. It should be reasonable to exist, Tang Emo said subconsciously. She knew that this was the world a hundred years later and it should be a more advanced world. There was no reason why there should be such big loopholes. Everyone is very adaptable to this kind of world. But they are the only ones who are not adaptable. Are they wrong? After a major conflict with the concept of the future world, Tang Emo did not immediately question the world, but reflected on himself first. Is it right if everyone does this? If no one ever stands up to correct a mistake, does it become correct? Teacher whose words were loud and clear, and his eyes were so firm that Tang Emo couldn't move his eyes away. The only thing she is thinking about now is that bringing Teacher who in this time is really the right decision. Teacher who is like the only alien here. Out of place. Perhaps this kind of incompatibility is the key to unlocking the secrets here. The last time Tang Dynasty came out of this illusion was purely a coincidence. And now, she really didn't know how to get out again. After all, it would be very difficult for her to find a stray dog on the street that could see her. But she was not worried at all. Because the reason why she dared to come in again, this time, was because she knew that this illusion did not mean to trap them here. As long as there is a way, she believes she can find a way. In this illusion, the ID watch had long since become the most ordinary watch. So the end of Tang Dynasty could not contact Qin Fun and the others. However, the ID watch cannot be contacted. Tang Emo still has other ways. Doesn't all technology in this world serve human beings? She opened the know-how in the room system and entered Qin Fun's name. Soon she called Qin Fen according to the number given above. There are no communication tools 
like mobile phones in this world. If you want to communicate, you can only use this system. And you must ensure that the two of you are online at the same time. In other words, if a person leaves the system, he basically loses all social attributes and no one can contact him. Coincidentally, Jean Fen happened to be online and Tang Mo's phone only rang a few times before being picked up. Where are you? Have you found a way out? Before Tang Mo could say anything, Jean Fen's question came first. Jean Fen's tone was anxious and he was obviously very annoyed with the current situation. Did you find a way out of the house assigned to me? Where are you now? Not yet. This world is very strange. I don't know how to get out. We are also in the assigned house. And Zhang Chao and his group have gone somewhere. Qin Fen actually felt extremely frustrated. He originally thought there was a treasure inside. But he didn't expect there was anything there. Now he couldn't even go out. Although it is said to be safe here. For people like Qin Fen, it is obvious that a life full of challenges, like the end of the world, is more attractive to him. Since he couldn't find the treasure, he just wanted to get out quickly. I haven't found a way either. I'll contact you when I find a way. Before Qin Fen could say anything else, Tang Emo hung up the phone. She probably had some idea of what this fantasy wanted. And if she relied on Qin Fen and those heartless people to find the answer, she might have to stay here for the rest of her life. Just when Tang Emo was still thinking about his next plan, Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo suddenly knocked on their door and ran in. Sorry, Sister Tang Emo. Ponyo has been captured. Chapter 282 Ponyo was caught. Ponyo? If Xiao Fei hadn't mentioned it, Tang Emo would have simply forgotten that there was a big golden retriever in their team. Yes, there is no pet world in this world. How could Ponyo be here? Fortunately, the knowledge about this world that he had learned in the system was not in vain. Tang Emo knew that although there were no real pets in this world, there were still some intelligent AI simulation pets that could meet the needs of people for companionship. However, although such AI pets look very similar to real ones, they will not shed hair and excrete to cause environmental pollution, will not make sounds to cause sound pollution, will not eat and waste food, and will not have teeth or anything that threatens human life safety. Body structure. However, it is just a set of data, without any emotion. At the end of Tang Dynasty, it was probably clear that when the law enforcement officer brought them to the villa, he probably thought Ponyo was an AI pet. Tang Emo carefully asked Xiao Fei about the detailed process of Ponyo being taken away. It turns out that Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo were curious about everything after they first came to this world and settled down. So they took Ponyo outside for a walk. They didn't walk far. And they originally thought it would be okay to just walk on the deserted road of the villa. But unexpectedly Ponyo roared because she was too excited. Although there was no one around them, a group of law enforcement officers drove up to them and took Ponyo away abruptly. Xiaofei tried his best to pull Ponyo, but he still lost to those people and let them snatch Ponyo's traction rope from his hands. There is no doubt that in this world, the Sky Eye system is almost everywhere in every corner. It is so advanced that as long as you cough on the street outside, the people on the other side of the surveillance video will know that someone in this world is not feeling well. At a certain moment, Tang Emo even thought of the Truman world. Do you know where they took Ponyo? They said. They were going to humanely destroy Ponyo. Xiao Emo couldn't help but trembled as she thought about those people's cold words. Tang Emo thought of the green life she encountered when she first came to this world and squeezed it out from the cracks in the stone. She probably sent them to the same place. Sister Tang Emo, let's go rescue Ponyo. Okay? Xiu Fei looked at Tang Emo expectantly. Although he was still a teenager. His life in the past few years had already made him understand that not everyone regards pets as their partners. More people in such a world where they cannot protect themselves. The original, excess emotions, of human beings have been lost. Tang Emo looked a little distracted when he looked at Xiao Fei's eyes that were still clear even after staying in the apocalypse for several years. How long had it been since she had seen such clean eyes? Everyone in this world of cannibalism has given up too many things. But only Xiao Fei would rather give up a more relaxed life and take his family pony with him, wandering all the way, just to find a place for his friends. Some people live for the sake of living, and some people live for some persistence in their hearts. At the end of Tang Dynasty, when she was dazed, a small paw patted her from behind. Tang Emo turned around and saw Jingjing who had been lying in his backpack. Jingjing and Ponyu have been playing very well these days, and have long since become good friends. The world of animals is incomprehensible to humans. Jingjing even adopted Ponyu as her little brother, and invited her to play at her home in the S-Base. 
Then she would introduce her other dog brother Jima to her. When Jingjing heard that Pania had been captured, she felt as anxious as Xiufei. Seeing that Tang Yimbo was still in a daze, she pawed at her anxiously. Okay, I understand. Don't worry. I will go find Ponyo and try to bring it back. Tang Yimbo finally agreed to bring Pona back, although she didn't even know where Pona was now. I will go with you, Xiao Fei and Xiao Yimbo said in unison. You two don't even have the ability to protect yourself. So you should just stay at home and wait for me to come back. Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo were both children with little talent, and their attribute values were very low in all aspects. Taking them out was equivalent to bringing along two burdens, so Tang Emo would not agree. After saying that, Tang Emo went back to his room and turned on the system. She wants to find out where the place of human destruction is in this world, hoping that she can find it before Ponyo encounters something unexpected. Soon, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he found a place called the Humanitarian Comfort Room in the northeast corner of the city. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he clicked on the introduction of that place and saw that all living creatures that should not exist in this world would be taken to that place and then destroyed. This is it. There was no time to waste. Tang Emo put the bags on his back and Jingjing prepared a little before heading out. The end of Tang Dynasty. Just when Tang Emo was about to leave the door of the villa, Teacher Hu, who was sitting upright on the sofa, Stopped her. I will go with you. Apparently teacher who had heard from Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo about Pani being taken away. And now he was ready to go to the battlefield with Tang Emo. No need. Teacher who? I'll just go by myself. At the end of Tang Dynasty, Xiao Fei had roughly understood what kind of person this teacher who was. He said that he would go with her to save Ponyo. Which did not surprise Tang Emo. I brought them in. So I have to be responsible for them. Don't worry. I'm a power attribute user. And my attributes are pretty good. I won't hold you back. Teacher who couldn't sit still after hearing Xiao Fei's words. As soon as he brought them in, Ponyo was taken away and would probably be killed. How could he accept this? He must go and save Ponyo. Tang Emo was shocked by the sense of justice that suddenly appeared around Teacher Hu. Although she still had doubts that he would not hold her back. But looking at Teacher Hu's attitude of not letting you go out without taking him. You finally agreed to let teacher who go find Ponyo with you. Although the law enforcement officers he had seen before were all driving in small cars, Tang Emo couldn't find any means of transportation other than hallucinations on the roadside that would allow him to take a taxi to his destination. Apart from her and teacher who, there was really no third person who was still gasping for breath on the street. There was no choice but to walk. Ponyo has been arrested for a while. The longer the delay, the more dangerous Ponyo's situation becomes. So Tang Emo was very fast, almost running towards his destination. After all, it was a strange world with surveillance everywhere. So Tang Emo did not rush to use his mental power to fly. But this was a pain for Teacher Hu, who really tried his best to keep up with Tang Mo's speed. Of course Teacher Hu understood the importance of time now, gritted his teeth, and just rushed forward with all his strength. Chapter 283 Rescue Ponyo With the rapid movement of Tang Dynasty and Teacher Hu, the city's scenery gradually changed. The originally bustling urban buildings began to become sparse, as if they were changing little by little from the city center to the suburbs. The final location of the humanitarian comfort room in that system is in an empty flat land. There are some houses in the center of the flat land, and behind the houses is a large glass house. And inside the house are artificially grown edible plants. There were several large warehouses next to the glass house. Tang Emo guessed that these were places where breeding pigs and other meat products were raised. The top priority now was to find Ponyo. Tang Emo took Teacher Hu directly into the house with the three characters annal room written on it. When you open the door and walk in, the room is all white, with white walls, white windowsills, white tables and chairs, white curtains and people in white clothes. Hello! What's the matter? Hearing the sound of the door being pushed open, the woman in white who was working with her head down raised her head and asked with a smile. This is not the cold and cruel place imagined in the late Tang Dynasty. Instead, it looks like a former clinic and hospital. Hello! I would like to ask if a dog was sent here just now. Yes! A dog was sent over. I haven't seen such a big dog for a long time. The woman in white was not surprised, and seemed to be sharing with Tang Emo and the others. Where is it? We want to meet the real dog too. Naturally, Tang Emo would not tell this woman that she was looking for a dog and wanted to take it away. She pretended that she and teacher who were curious people, just wanting to see the real dog. It has been taken away. If you hurry up, 
you might be able to see its complete body. If you wait a little later, you won't be able to see anything. It's in that house now? Tang Imo tried his best to suppress his voice so that he didn't appear so anxious. The expression on teacher whose face was almost uncontrollable. He turned slightly sideways and buried his head behind Tang Imo so that the woman behind the desk could not see his face. But for this stranger who suddenly broke in and was full of strangeness. The woman in white didn't seem to have any precautions or suspicions at all. She was smiling from beginning to end. Just like the uniformed law enforcement officers. The one next to the glass house. The woman in white kindly extended her hand and pointed out the window. Thank you. Tang Emo said thank you. But before he could even finish the last word, he pulled Teacher Who out of the room and ran in the direction of the woman's finger. Before they could even walk in at the door of the house, they heard a huge rumbling sound. That's the sound of machinery working. Tang Emo kicked the door open. And the first thing that caught his eye was a man in uniform holding something in his hand and throwing it into the huge blender in front of him. Stop! Before Tang Emo could react, Teacher Who, who had been standing behind him silently, rushed out, then hugged the uniformed man tightly with his arms to stop his movement, and then the two of them fell heavily to the ground. What are you doing? The man in uniform was held in Teacher Who's arms. Monk Zhang Air was confused, threw away what he was holding, and struggled to stand up from Teacher Who's arms. It wasn't until he stood up that Tang Emo saw clearly what he was going to throw into the blender. They were stems and leaves of some plants that Tang Emo had never seen before. They were probably the types grown in glass houses. But among the same stems and leaves, there was a strange thing that was familiar to Tang Emo. And that was a green, thin plant with roots. It was the small green plant that Tang Emo saw on the street last time, but was quickly removed and taken away by the staff. Where is the dog? This should be where what they call the humanitarian comfort room is really implemented. But? Tang Emo looked at the huge mixer. It doesn't seem to be particularly humane. That dog? Yes. Where did that dog go? Teacher Hu and Tang Emo both followed the eyes of the uniformed man and looked at a cage about one cubic meter in size in the corner of the supplies. At this time, the door of the cage was wide open, and the contents of the cage were long gone. Looking at the open door of the cage, Tang Emo and Teacher Hu breathed a sigh of relief in their hearts. Fortunately, they didn't arrive too late and Ponyo was still alive. Yes, Ponyo is not a pampered pet dog. She has traveled to many places with Shifei, whether hiding or running away. She is also a dog who is used to seeing big scenes along the way. It is impossible to sit still and wait for death. When you find an opportunity, escape is the wisdom that a dog who has survived for several years in the apocalypse should have. As long as he's alive. Let's go and look around. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he greeted Teacher Hu, who was still lying on the ground. His brows really stretched. She is still afraid of this unknown world and does not dare to use her mental power on a large scale. So now she can only search for Ponyo manually. Although dogs know the way. They have just arrived in this strange world. And they have been transported all the way here in a car. It is absolutely impossible to expect Ponyo to directly find the villa where they live. What's more? At the end of Tang Dynasty. He didn't want Ponyo to run back as a dog. Compared to the emptiness here. There are too many surveillance cameras in the city. If Ponyo appeared under those surveillance cameras. It would be a matter of minutes for her to be caught again. Tang Emo reached out and pulled Teacher Hu. It was a heavy fall, but it was nothing to a strength attribute user. Time was still tight, but just when Tang Emo opened the door and went out, he heard Teacher Hu shout, Wait a moment! At the end of Tang Dynasty, he turned around and saw Teacher Hu running to the side and rummaging through the things scattered in the arms of the uniformed man. Then soon, Teacher Hu carefully wrapped the green plant that Tang Emo recognized in his coat and held it in his arms. Let's go! Wait a minute. That's a plant that doesn't exist. You can't take it away. The man in uniform wanted to stop Teacher Hu and pulled his arm. Don't exist? I think you don't exist. He kicked the man in uniform with his foot. I don't know whether Teacher Hu was too strong or the man in uniform never thought of resisting. He was kicked far away and sat down. This was the most manly time that Tang Emo saw Teacher Hu. And it was also the first time that she saw Teacher Hu lose his temper and even get physical with others. It was completely different from the gentle and soft-spoken image he always had. Tang Emo looked at the green plant held by Teacher Hu. The last time I came out of the illusion had something to do with meeting it. Maybe bringing Teacher Hu in this time was really the right decision. Chapter 284 Ponyo is found. In order to buy more time to find Ponyo, Tang Emo tied up the man in uniform 
and stuffed a sponge into his mouth. The biggest feature of this world is that it is quiet. Human beings seem to be wrapped up in houses and cannot move out or make a sound. The house assigned to each person is like a cocoon that firmly imprisons the person's body and soul. If you want to speak out, you can only go through a common system. Both relatives and friends seem to have become online friends who never meet each other. They eat, drink, poop and sleep in the room, which makes people less need to socialize. No one asks humans to do this, but everyone follows this rule. This is the most terrifying place in the world. However, it was precisely this that provided great convenience for Tang Dynasty to find Ponyo. Looking at the small houses, he saw no one. Tang Mo and Teacher who searched on both sides, but they couldn't see Ponyo. The two people shouted Ponyo's name. And while shouting, they were always paying attention to whether men in uniforms would suddenly appear from somewhere and drive them out. Dog's hearing is very sensitive. If you can't find it in this way, it's probably no longer in this area. But if you leave this open space and return to the streets and cities and have to be under surveillance, everything will become more troublesome. Let's go take a look at the glass house. If it's not there, we can only find it along the way we came. The glass house planted with various crops was the only place with an open door in the open space. And it was also the only closed space that Ponyo could sneak into. Tang Mo and Teacher who almost entered the huge glass house with the last glimmer of hope. The glass house is huge. It is not very accurate to say it is a house. It is more like a vast land. The glass house was filled with huge vegetables and fruits. The size was really outrageous. Tang Mo guessed that genetically modified technology had become more advanced which made harvesting easier. No wonder the liberated farmer's hands. However, at the end of the Tang Dynasty, he soon discovered one thing. That is, the farmer uncle's hands did not seem to be freed. Because for the first time in this land, she saw real humans who were not 5D illusions except for wearing uniforms. Those people wore very simple clothes. Their bodies and hands were covered with soil. And they were constantly working in the fields. Some were picking fruits and some were weeding or arranging the stems and leaves of plants. The sun shone through the glass house onto these people, causing beads of sweat to flow from everyone's faces due to the heat and hard work. But what Tang Mo saw on the faces of these people was relaxation and joy, without any trace of fatigue. Ponyo has been found! While Tang Mo was still observing these mirror images that were incompatible with this world, Teacher Hu's loud shout brought her thoughts back instantly. Tang Mo immediately approached Teacher Hu. Soon, she followed the direction of Teacher Hu's finger and saw Ponyo playing by the field. A group of people who were working in the fields gathered around Ponyo. Everyone scrambled to touch Ponyo's furry head and pat her big paws with fleshy pads. Everyone's eyes are full of surprises, but the movements of their hands are cautious and friendly, which is completely different from those men in uniforms. Seeing Ponyo playing well there, Tang Mo and Teacher Hu breathed a sigh of relief. This is actually a real dog. Look at it drooling. Be careful. Don't let this dog pee on you. I'm willing to pee on me. I didn't expect that I could finally allocate a day's work time and meet a real dog. What kind of luck do I have? Tang Mo was listening to their conversation. After listening for a while, he stepped forward to talk. You like this dog very much? Of course. This lively dog can't compete with those robot dogs. Look at this dog's tail wagging happily. I really don't understand. Although everyone loves dogs so much. Why do those people still want to send them to be humanely destroyed? Don't they just like such fresh lives and have no heart? Tang Mo pretended to be angry and then observed the reactions of those people. There were too many places in this world that made her feel strange. And there were too many places that she didn't understand at all. They are not human in the first place and have no heart. Hey, who can be blamed for the current situation? Tang Mo has been looking at the expressions on everyone's faces. The expressions are really complicated. They seem to be angry and not. Helpless and not. Not people? You mean people in uniforms? Every word these people said contained a lot of information. But the thinking of late Tang Dynasty jumped very quickly. It soon became clear that these were people in uniforms. Tang Mo had always felt that those people seemed a little strange. She had always thought that people in this world were like this. But only after seeing these people in the fields did she know that. No. The strangeness of those people was really not her imagination. Those are all compilers. They are all produced by the system to work for us. Have you forgotten? Those people looked a little strange. These were the most basic things. Why did that girl seem to know nothing about these most basic common sense? So what is Labor Day? It's not that Tangamo didn't notice the suspicion in their eyes. 
But this was the first time she saw the most real human beings. And she couldn't miss the opportunity to truly understand the world. Whether you believe it or not, we were not born in this world, but came here by chance. Even this QR code just appeared on our arms. So we don't know much about this world. Tang Mo pulled Teacher Hu over and revealed the QR codes on their arms. Teacher Hu has a gentle and weak look in his eyes, which makes him look less like a bad person and more convincing. Tang Mo chose a more tactful way to explain his origins. This is a new world after all, so it should be a little less scary. But what Tang Mo didn't expect was that there was no expression of surprise on those people's faces after listening. Oh, it turns out you are new humans who have just entered this world. New humanity. This was the third new word that exceeded her cognitive concept that Tang Dynasty heard here besides Compiler and Labor Day. Chapter 285 New World Sit down first. Knowing that what they were going to talk about would definitely not be short. The people who were teasing Ponyo sat on the dirt next to her one by one. As if they were going to have a long chat. Tang Mo was naturally happy when he saw this posture. He was not pretentious at all and pulled teacher who to sit on the ground. Ponyo, who was well versed in human nature knew that the adults seemed to be talking about business. So she lay aside obediently. You may not know it well when you first arrive, but this is a new world. Most people come here from different worlds. The first person to speak was a woman in her thirties in the crowd. Her appearance and temperament did not look like a peasant woman working in the fields every day, but more like a noble lady. The first word she spoke shocked Tangimo and Teacher Hu. This world is actually a world without indigenous people. It turns out that everyone in this world comes from other worlds. So is it from that apocalypse? Or are there more parallel worlds in the universe? Maybe it's because living in the original world was unsatisfactory. This world is a world where human will is the highest. You probably also know that this world is completely dominated by big data and high technology. And even the operating rules of this world are like this. There is a rules day every year. On this day, everyone must complete a detailed voting questionnaire. And then big data will use everyone's voting results to formulate the rules for the next year's world operation. In other words, in this world, there are no rulers and leaders, and everyone is a participant in the rules of the world. The woman's voice was very gentle, and she introduced the background of this world to Tangimo in a clear and detailed manner. In other words, these people in uniforms, the so-called preparers, are not real people, but also AI robots? The amount of information was too large, and Tangimo's mind moved very quickly. And he quickly figured this out. Yes, in this world, no one needs to work. The maintenance of all world rules relies on the AI programmers produced by these systems to control the factories. These people will maintain order in this world according to the rules set by the rules day. Because people are the highest authority here, and everything is based on human will. So as long as the rules are not violated, these compilers will not disturb it. I understand. These programmers are equivalent to the NPCs in the game. They are produced by the system to maintain the normal operating order of the world. I didn't expect that this world would be so intelligent. Teacher who pushed up his glasses. As a university professor. Teacher whose ability to accept new information is also very fast. Since everyone has made the rules. Why is the world like this? Do you really like the world now? Not long after Tang Mo came to this world. He felt a deep uncomfortable feeling. She believed that she was not the only one feeling this way. Hey. This is what makes people helpless. Although this world is completely customized with rules based on human votes. But when there were only a few people in the beginning, everyone was fed up with a miserable life in their own world and chose the life now so easy that they only need to lie down to survive. As more and more new humans join from different worlds, everyone slowly begins to accept this comfortable way of living. This kind of life is too comfortable. So comfortable that as long as people live like this for a few months, they will no longer be able to adapt to the original life that requires labor. The woman sighed. This was the most despairing part. Even if there are temporarily sober people who realize that this is wrong. The rules are made according to the will of the majority of people. Even if most people know in their hearts that there is a problem in a day like this. They will still make this choice when they vote next time. Because no one will choose to resist because of excessive comfort. Yes, even if excessive comfort is problematic. It will never arouse human resistance and resistance. Tang Mo nodded. She somewhat understood the mood of these people. So it is your voluntary choice to work in this sunroom. Right. People in this world don't need to work. So how can they need manual labor for planting and picking? Yeah. It's not easy to get a chance to get a working day. I've been waiting for a long time to get in line. 
It's just that I haven't exercised for a long time. And now that I move, I feel like I'm really alive. My arms are so sore. But after working, I still feel fulfilled and happy. I hope I can be scheduled to go to work next month. When it came to being a farmer in the sunroom, everyone expressed that this opportunity was hard one and that they felt happy after working for a day. It's really a new world. Even the opportunity to work has to be ranked first. Listening to everyone saying that the opportunity of Labor Day is rare. Tang Mo and teacher who also understood that in this world. Even if the rules are difficult to overturn. Or no one has the courage to overturn it. But whether it is labor, real animals, or part of the rules of the normal world. Everyone is still full of infinite nostalgia. Tang Mo suddenly thought of a news communication class he had attended in college. That class talked about a term called the spiral of silence. The theoretical basis of the spiral of silence mainly comes from psychology, mass communication and sociology. For a controversial issue, people will form an understanding of the opinion climate around them and judge whether their opinions belong to the majority opinion. When people feel that their opinions belong to the majority or are in the advantage, when they find that their opinions belong to the minority or are at a disadvantage, and when they have the opportunity to express themselves publicly, they may remain silent in order to prevent isolation. The more silent people feel, the more they feel that their views are not accepted by others. And as a result, they are more inclined to continue to remain silent. After repeated repetitions, the advantageous opinions become more and more powerful, while the voices of those holding inferior opinions become weaker and weaker. This cycle forms a cycle of one party becomes louder and louder, while the other party becomes louder and louder. A spiral process of increasing silence. In today's world, the continuation of such deformed rules is obviously the result of the spiral of silence. When's the next rule day? At the end of Tang Dynasty, when he was still thinking about the rules of this world, Teacher Hu, who had been listening carefully next to him, spoke. Chapter 286 Rules Day. Tang Mo's eyes fell on Teacher Hu's face. Looking at Teacher Hu's face, she probably understood why Teacher Hu asked this question. Counting the days. It's the first of next month. This month was already halfway through. And it was a coincidence that they came in at the end of Tang Dynasty. Just in time for the rule day to be established next month. As people who have arrived in this world and have QR codes. They now have the right to vote. But is it just relying on the votes of a few of them? Labor Day is a rare time for people here. So they don't want to disturb everyone for too long in the late Tang Dynasty. Now that they have found Ponyo. They should go back. What can we do? There are surveillance everywhere. And we can't hide from it. Teacher who touched Ponyo's big head and turned around anxiously. Indeed, no one has come to see them here yet. Tangimo guessed that Ponyo had been taken to the comfort room. So the system had automatically determined that Ponyo had been destroyed. The compiler in the easy room was probably just stunned and had not yet reacted and reported it to the superiors. Knowing that he was not a real person would make everything much easier to handle. Tangimo took Teacher who and Ponyo back to the comfortable room and then directly received the uniformed man, who was tied into a rice dumpling into her space. Living people and living creatures cannot be transported into space. But robots can. If you enter your own space, and then want to send a message to the system of this world, it is impossible even for AI. Okay. Now there is only one problem left. And that is how to successfully avoid those surveillance cameras, and send Ponyo back to the villa. However, there was really a solution to this problem in the late Tang Dynasty. After walking to an open space, Tang Mo took out a pickup truck from the space. You actually installed the car. Teacher who was excited when he saw the car. They all know now that the editor only regulates people and things that do not comply with the rules of this world. But the rules do not say that you cannot drive your own car on the road. Of course, the main reason why there is no such rule in the rules is that even the system does not take into account that people will bring their own transportation into this world. From chatting with those people just now, Tang Mo already knew that they did not come from the same time and space. So space is something that is completely unheard of for other people. There is indeed a car. But there is no gas. The gasoline at the end of Tang Dynasty had been used up when she set fire to it a long time ago. Now the gasoline is precious. She has no chance to replenish it. Ah. Teacher who could not hide his disappointment. But I have a way. Since Tang Mo had taken out all the cars, it was impossible to just show them off. Of course they could be put to use. She had never understood the details of this world before. So she did not dare to use her mental power in this world. But now that she knows the rules of this world, 
she has more confidence. The compilers and monitors can't see the mental power. Although the car had no gasoline, she could still control the car to run using her mental power. The drive from here to the villa is not particularly far, so she can still afford this amount of mental energy. In fact, there is no need for a car at all. Tangamo can also use his mental power to build a small blanket, a small spaceship or something, and fly back directly with Teacher Who and the Rap Ponyo. But that would be bad if the system decided what kind of bird she was and sanctioned her. After all, satellite technology in this world is so advanced. Who knows if there are any infrared drones for monitoring? Hearing Tangemo say that there was a way. Teacher whose eyes lit up again. Can we finish the conversation at once next time? It's like riding a roller coaster. Going up and down. I'm going to have a heart attack. What I experienced today was indeed a bit too exciting for Teacher Who. Who has always been honest and honest. Tangemo's pickup truck only had two seats. Tangemo wanted to drive. But Teacher Who had no choice but to squeeze Ponyo in his arms. Tangemo also put on clothes and a hat on Ponyo. At first glance, she looked like a human being. If this surveillance camera catches you, you won't be able to tell it's a dog. It'll be like you're holding a fat wife. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was making fun of Teacher Who while driving the car on the street. As time went by, Tangemo started to like teasing this kind. Introverted, serious and serious teacher. Panya also cooperated by sticking out her big tongue and licking Teacher Who's face. The place was too small, and Teacher Who had no place to hide. So he had no choice but to be slobbered all over his face. How can you, a dog, repay kindness with hatred? If I hadn't found you in time, you would have been reduced to a pulp by now. Do you know that? Teacher who said to Ponya seriously. What are you going to do next? Tangemo asked seriously. From the moment teacher who asked about the date of the regular day, Tangemo knew that he could not do nothing. There is a kind of person in this world who likes to meddle in, nosy matters, that no one else can meddle in. Tangemo can be regarded as an exquisite egoist, and she has never had any idea of saving the world. Her only thought is that she and the people she cares about will live well in the apocalypse. As for too many things, she can't control them at all. She is not a very kind person, and the cruelty of the apocalypse has made her more decisive and indifferent, especially towards unrelated people. Just like this time, she clearly knew that the illusion was full of dangers and was not a real paradise. But she still brought these people in. Is it really to let them live a better life? No. It was just so that Tangemo could fish in troubled waters and learn the secrets of the world faster. But Teacher Who is different. He is a person who truly has great love in his heart. In Teacher Who's world, one can sacrifice the ego for the sake of the greater self. Perhaps in the end of the world, such a person will be called a saint. A derogatory term. But from the bottom of his heart, Tangemo still admired him a little. Perhaps the world has really been waiting for people like Teacher Who to appear. Only those who truly think about the overall situation and all mankind can break the current predicament. There is still half a month until the rules day. Since we are all qualified to vote, I will tell you about this first when I get back. Although 20 odd votes are not much, it is still a small change. After that, I'll think of a way. Although the specific method has not been figured out yet, Teacher Who has already thought about his first step which is to start with the people around him. These 20-odd people were brought in under the care of Teacher Who, and they had just come in, so they would naturally vote the same as himself. Tangemo looked at Teacher Who's confident look and shook his head inwardly. I'm afraid that what happens next will disappoint this kind and stubborn man. Many times, the depth of human nature is unimaginable. If everything goes as people wish, then there won't be so many people in the world who schedule working days while continuing to uphold the original rules. Chapter 287 Destruction At the end of Tang Dynasty, he drove the car directly into the courtyard and then quickly walked into the room with Ponyo wrapped in clothes. Sister Tang and Mo Ponyo, you are back. Xiu Fei and Xiaomo had been waiting in the living room, fearing that they would cause trouble to Sister Tang and Mo if they went out. So no matter how anxious they were, they could only sit on the sofa and stare at the door. When they saw Tang and Mo pushing the door in, they were disappointed to see that there was no huge yellow figure behind them except Teacher Who. But soon Ponyo smelled the scent of her master and struggled out of Tangmo's arms. Xiu Fei's eyes lit up instantly. That was the partner he had given up too much to be able to stay by his side. It was the only relative he had left. How could he not be excited? Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo, you stay in the living room for now. I'm going to call everyone out now. I have something I want to tell you. Teacher Who gently put aside the sapling in his arms. 
and then prepare to knock on the door one by one and call everyone to come to the living room to gather. At the end of Tang Dynasty, seeing teacher whose precious look, he brought him a flower pot from the space and filled it with some soil. Teacher who thanked him many times and carefully planted the sapling into the flower pot. People who didn't know the careful look might have thought that the sapling was grown up by teacher who since he was a child. Calling everyone out of the room one by one. Teacher who cleared his throat and prepared to tell everyone what was going to happen next. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he looked around at the twenty-odd people. In just a dozen hours, the original lifelessness on everyone's faces was wiped away, replaced by satisfaction and beautiful longing for a new life. Teacher who used the language that he had organized in his mind to tell everyone about the world he had just learned about, and then talked about the problems in the world in his mind and the ways to change it. There is only one way to change. That is, when voting on the rules day, do not vote for the option of the original rules for running the world, but restore more manual labor and things that should exist in the original world, and reduce the use of AI intelligence in life, so that human beings can have a more realistic way of living that makes life full of meaning. Rules day is the only way we can change the rules of this world, and the first of next month is our chance. Teacher who was speaking so passionately that he didn't even notice the expressions of those below. In the eyes of teacher who, there are problems in the world itself. Human beings should not be put on the altar. And they should not be worshipped without doing anything. AI intelligence is only an assistant. And it should not completely replace humans to realize social value. Human beings, we are not the only master of this world. We must coexist harmoniously with other creatures and assume our due responsibilities to achieve a healthy and normal ecological relationship. But not everyone's view of right is the same. And that's obviously not the case for the following group of people. After listening to teacher whose passionate speech, everyone sitting on the sofa and chairs was silent for a long time. Everyone was digesting this huge amount of information. Fortunately, most of them are intellectuals. So it is not that difficult to understand emerging things. After all, the world is already fantasy enough. And it is not impossible to be more fantasy. Who been? We all understand what you mean. But isn't it a good world like this? Why are you messing around? The speaker was an old man with some gray hair who used to be a professor at that university. This was also the first time that the late Tang Dynasty learned teacher whose full name. It turned out that his name was Hu Bin. That's right. Look at this group of us. The old and the young. If you fight for labor rights, if you really start working, won't it cost us the lives of old bones? Most of this group of people are over 50 years old. And their physical condition is indeed not as good as that of young people. For them, the world in front of them has no worries about food and clothing. And they can even live a better life than the world before the end of the world without any effort. For them, they couldn't be more satisfied. There are only a few of us. And we want to change the world with just these 20 people? It's better for young people not to be so impetuous and to be down to earth. After arriving in this world, the old people who were looked after by who been like homeless people all seem to have suddenly hardened up took on a lecturing tone, and regained their prestige as professors in school. Yes, when Hu Bin was in college, he was just a school counselor in charge of student matters and logistical support, in terms of academic prestige and status. He was indeed not as good as these people in front of him. But these old people may have forgotten that in the days when they were like a lost dog in a garbage dump. It was who shouldered the burden of a cruel life for them so that they could survive until now, who brought them to this comfortable place that they couldn't bear to lose. Let's go. There's still half a game of chess left to play. After all the words that needed to be heard were heard, and all opinions and attitudes were expressed, everyone got up and left and returned to their rooms to continue exploring the joy of a new life. The only people left in the room were Hubin, Tang Emo, and Xiao Emo, and Xiao Fei on the chairs beside them. Of course there's Ponyo, but Ponyo doesn't have the right to vote. Hubin stood there with a blank expression on his face. Everything developed was different from what he expected. The next words he had prepared were just stuck in his stomach. How so? Why is this happening? Even if people in this world are like this, they shouldn't be like this. Right? Hubin was a little unbelievable about what just happened. Tangemo shook her head. She had expected the current situation. Hubin was too sure that the people he had taken care of for so long were his companions. But little did he know that the word companion was not that light. Everyone is doing it for themselves. In fact, there is nothing wrong with those people's decisions from their own perspective. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he heard from people in the Sun Room that new humans may be a little different when they first come to this world. But they will soon become the same as everyone else in this world. 
those people just now are the norm of the new humanity. And who bin himself is the anomaly among them. Teacher Hu, we support you. Xiaofei and Xiaomo also felt Teacher Hu's uncontrollable disappointment and quickly raised their hands to show their respect. They have always been under the care of Teacher Hu. They all see how Teacher Hu treats people. And now they naturally want to stand with Teacher Hu. What's more, this world is so cruel that it does not allow plants and animals to exist. This makes them who have deep feelings for Ponyo simply unable to accept it. The world is sick, and we must cure it. Chapter 288 New Method Tang Emma watched who been sitting alone on the sofa with his head lowered in loneliness. She suddenly couldn't bear the kindness of the kindest man in the world she had ever seen facing such a thing, even though it was inevitable. Will he become depressed because of today's events? Tang Emo always felt that the key to truly unlocking the secrets of the world lies in Hubin's hands. In order to make the world change step by step according to his plan, Tang Emo decided to comfort the man in front of him. But when Tang Emo just stood up, he found that Hubin's head had been raised. The original loneliness in his eyes was gone. As if nothing had happened, he was still full of hope. It doesn't matter. It's just 20 votes. Everyone is right. I can't impose my will on others. There are always other ways. I'll think about it again. Tang Emo was a little surprised at how quickly she recovered after being hit. But she soon understood that this was also the reason why Hubin was different in this world. Have empathy for everyone and everything. Look for the reasons for everything within yourself. And be able to put yourself in other shoes. If you weren't born like this, you wouldn't want to change the world. Xiao Fei, I know you studied computer science in college. How are your hacker skills? Can you help me change my IP address? Teacher who quickly brought the topic to Xiao Fei. This is my strong point. I have won awards in computer security technology before. But I don't know how advanced computer technology is in this world. I have to give it a try to be sure. Xiao Fei has been interested in computers since he was a child and has a keen knowledge of this area. Hiding an IP address would not have been a problem for him in the previous world. But no one could be sure of how far computer technology had developed in this world. Okay, then go ahead and give it a try. If hiding the address can be successful, I should still have a way before the rule day. Hubin's tone was still as positive as before. As if he had really found a way. But what can he do? They have just come to this world. How can they change the order that has been maintained in this world in such a short time? Even though Tang Emo had always had an inexplicable confidence in Teacher Hu, he was still skeptical at this time. Just do it. After listening to Teacher Hu's words, Xiao Fei immediately returned to the room and started tinkering with the system. The computers in this world are indeed very different from those in the previous world. But the network systems are still similar. The actual operation of this matter is much more difficult than Xiao Fei imagined. The network system in this world seems to have a master control platform that connects every computer system platform like a huge spider web. As long as any problems in any link can be quickly and clearly sensed at the center point, like light bulbs strung together. Each link is difficult to escape, but everything is not impossible. Just like a string of light bulbs connected in series. If you want to hide one of them, just connect another light bulb in parallel next to that light bulb. Then even if you want to hide one of the light bulbs, the entire string of light bulbs will not be hidden. It doesn't affect the operation because the overall operation has not been affected in any way. It is not easy to find the hidden light bulb. Even if it is done, it will take a lot of time. Starting from this method, Xiaofei recreated an IP address on Teacher Who Bin system. Firmly integrate the newly created IP address with the operation of the overall system, so that the original IP address can be temporarily hidden through some disruption methods. Of course, this is not a long-term solution. But if you want to get through it temporarily, you can still give it a try. Teacher who? What do you want a hidden IP address for? Xiaofei asked curiously after finishing everything. Probably wanting to pose some inflammatory remarks so that people in this world can change their minds before rule day. Because this world must maintain absolute fairness. Justice and democracy. No gathering of speech is allowed. Everyone must ensure that he is an independent individual and expresses his or her own opinions. Induced voting is a very serious crime in this world and requires severe punishment. At the end of Tang Dynasty, Hubin probably thought that he wanted to use a system that concealed his IP address to speak to the public, promote his thoughts, and get them to change their original thoughts. But now there are only a dozen days until the rules day. If those people's thoughts were so easy to change, the world would not have maintained such an order for so long. Of course I want to change all of their minds, but not by speaking out, but by taking another curveball approach to save the country. In Teacher Who's Mind, 
A plan has obviously been drawn up. I want to do a live broadcast. Live streaming? Tang Emo. Xiao Fei and Xiao Emo shouted out almost at the same time. The sound was so loud that Panya, who was lying aside to rest, was startled. What are you thinking? Of course I'm not broadcasting myself. What's interesting about me? What I want to broadcast is them. Teacher who pointed his finger at the sapling in the flower pot and then pointed at Ponyo lying aside. Although the rules of this world are set by everyone, and most people believe that plants and animals are not needed in this world, I found that real humans are still very happy to see these things. If this were not the case, those people would not be so fond of interacting with them. When Ponyo is playing, she won't be competing for a spot on Labor Day. I have thought about it. The system has determined that Ponyo has been humanely eliminated. So even if it appears in the live broadcast, the system will only determine that a new animal has appeared in this world. Tangemo nodded. He didn't expect Teacher Who to think carefully in such a short time. Although even if the IP address is hidden, when the system detects plants and dogs, it will try its best to find them. But after all, the regulation day only lasts for more than 10 days. As long as everything can be done before the regulation day, all problems will not be a problem. But if the rules are not changed in the end, no one can say what they will face if they are found. After all, it would be no problem for a few animal people to come to the animal room. It seems that teacher who has the courage to burn the boat. Chapter 289 Advancing with the Times When teacher who first said that he would broadcast live, everyone only thought that teacher who was joking. After all, who been, who usually has a serious look on his face and a role model for others, is completely incompatible with the noisy and exaggerated anchors that everyone thinks of. Maybe he was too stimulated. So he came up with a solution out of anger because he was not clear-headed. This is what Tangemo thought. But soon, they understood that teacher who meant every word he said that day, who been started the live broadcast entirely on his own, except for Xiao Fei who helped hide his ID address. Of course, he also used Ponyo as his live performance partner. Yes, just like who been said, the content of his live broadcast is the live broadcast of Ponyo and Mumu. Mumu is the name teacher who gave to the green plant. Welcome to Ponyo and Mumu's live broadcast room. Don't miss it if you pass by. Here you can see the most realistic dynamics of plants and animals, satisfying everyone's desire to get close to nature. If you like it, you can click and follow thank you. Teacher who wore a homemade mask and introduced it in the live broadcast room diligently. And Ponya didn't know if it was because she was rescued by Teacher Who, but she really gave Teacher Who face every time and cooperated with his hard-working performances. If he gets tired from the performance, he will lazily lie down next to Mumu and start to fall asleep, leaving only Who been wearing a mask and explaining. What is unexpected is that such a live broadcast room that stays still for most of the time, with only a masked man chattering, is actually very popular. It didn't work in the first two days. No one would think that they were real plants and dogs. But soon, when they realized that they were real life, the number of viewers in the live broadcast room grew like a rocket. Even the motionless dogs and the green leaves that barely feel any changes are still loved by them. Teacher who, wearing a mask, tried his best to tell some jokes that could retain the audience. The scene should have been extremely ridiculous. But Tang Emo didn't want to laugh at all. On the contrary, he didn't admire the man standing in front of the camera because she knows how those scripts were written bit by bit late at night, and then performed over and over again for them to take shape. And she also knows how many difficulties the funny anchor in front of the camera has overcome. She admired people like Hubin who would take everything seriously, even if it was something she was not good at. That plant is also very impressive. I don't know why, but it has been growing at an abnormal speed. No plant grows visibly taller every day. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he even felt that at this growth rate, this tree would soon bloom and bear fruit. People in the live broadcast room were very enthusiastic. Not only did Ponyo have a support club, but even every leaf on Mumu's body had its own support club. Any change would cause huge discussions among everyone. Teacher who, striking while the iron is hot, tells everyone about animals and plants every day to increase everyone's affection for these creatures. Teacher whose live broadcast also caused huge waves offline. The biggest change is that more and more people are applying for Labor Day. Because of their love for the internet celebrity Mumu. Everyone wants to see real green plants. No one knows where Ponyo and Mumu's home is. And applying for Labor Day is their only chance to get in touch with real life. There are not many people needed for Labor Day. It is just an experience activity. And it is really difficult to schedule. 
so some people who were dazzled by their enthusiasm even went to the glass house to steal plants and take them home, hoping to keep them as treasures. But apparently they were quickly captured on surveillance and taken away from their homes. There are no prisons in this world. And no one knows where those who made mistakes ended up. Because they are all outsiders. They are not people rooted in this world. And they do not have many relatives. So everyone does not care about the whereabouts of others. However, as more and more people went to the glass house to steal plants, and more and more people were arrested, people who had never had any objections to this rule began to become dissatisfied. Why can't we raise plants? That's right. These lives are so cute. Every leaf of Mumu seems to be alive. If I had such a pot of life around me, life would be so interesting. That's right. What's the point of just lying at home now? I also want to touch Mumu's lovely leaves. It seems that Mumu has grown taller recently. And maybe it will bloom soon. Now I don't dare to turn off the live broadcast while eating. Just for fear that I will miss the flowers of Mumu. Because of love. Everyone feels oppression. Because of the oppression. Everyone wanted to resist for the first time. What the others at the end of Tang Dynasty didn't expect was that the protagonist of this live broadcast was not Ponyo. But Mumu. Who took the C position of the live broadcast and became the most popular internet celebrity player. I really don't know what's so special about this plant. Everyone is going crazy at home. Tang Emo complained silently. Fortunately, Ponya couldn't see what others said in the live broadcast room. Otherwise, how sad it would be if she knew that the performance she puts in every day is worse than a motionless plant that only knows photosynthesis. Mumu is so cute. You can see its growth every day. Don't you feel a special sense of accomplishment? Teacher who carefully sprayed the leaves with a watering can and wood while exiting the door. He had a special affection for this plant from the first moment he saw it. Which is why he overcame difficulties and brought it all the way back. In fact, I'm quite looking forward to what she will look like in the end. To say that human emotions are quite strange. She watched Namumu grow day by day. With new changes every day. And her heart was changing little by little. If it was a pity that she saw Mumu being pulled out when she first saw it. Then now, she would be shocked when she saw the old people upstairs approaching Mumu. And she unconsciously wanted to protect this fragile plant. It was as if he had some sense of mission. It's only a few days until rules day. Why don't you mention voting to everyone? Tangemo reminded teacher who, fearing that he would be too addicted to the live broadcast and forget his original purpose. It's not yet time. Many things still have to happen naturally and slowly. Teacher who continued to take care of Mumu with gentle eyes obviously having his own ideas and arrangements for everything that would follow. Seeing teacher who's confident look, Tang Emo felt relieved and stopped talking. She just waited for teacher who to come up with any novel ideas to surprise her. Chapter 290 The Time Has Come Out of admiration for teacher who, Tang Emo also wanted to help. It's just that what she can do is really limited. It's really difficult for her to live broadcast. So she can only do what she can to help. For example, provide some nutrients to Mumu and provide some snacks to Ponyo as a reward. Three days before the regulation day, teacher who finally took action, but he still didn't say anything in the live broadcast, but acted very low. Everyone was used to this gentle man who wore a mask and spoke in a rigid manner, as if he were reading a text, although his expression could not be seen now. The decadence in his every move and his occasional sighs and dazes still caught everyone's attention. Keeper, what's wrong with you? Yes. Did you encounter any difficulties? It's not like the live broadcast address has been discovered. Right. You must protect yourself. Everyone typed their concerns on the screen one by one. They all sincerely hope that the breeder, Ponyo and Mumu will be well. Regulation day is coming. Hubin carefully wiped every leaf of Mumu and said, I rescued Ponyo and Mumu in the comfortable room. They almost left this world. But it seems that I can't protect them. Teacher whose words had no special tone but the originally noisy screen suddenly fell silent. Yeah, rule day is here again. Animals and plants cannot exist in this world. This is a rule set by each of them, but it was different now. They had different feelings for the dog in front of them and the little plant they had watched grow up. Can they still be their executioners? Watching them every day, setting up a fan club, being happy for any changes in them, calling myself a mother fan. But the day is about to judge their life and death. Can I make them disappear with my own hands? Are you really that cruel? Everyone is asking themselves this question in their hearts. Watching Ponyo playing with the ball carelessly. Watching Mumu forming the first flower bud under their gaze. And it will bloom soon. Everyone's mood is extremely complicated. Mumu is about to bloom. 
which is something no one expected. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he was the first person to see Mumu. At that time, Mumu was just a sapling of a small tree. Now, this thriving small tree has grown to half a person's height, and its branches have also grown. Waguto. This made Teacher Hu very happy. He was careful every day, and would stare nervously at Ponyu whenever he came close to Mumu. The stare made Pona feel extremely aggrieved, and felt that he was no longer everyone's little treasure. Every day depressed. Ponyo's melancholy made the audience on the other side of the screen feel heartbroken. Everyone thought that Ponyo had understood human nature, and knew that the day when the rules day would be pronounced on her was coming soon. Now, everyone felt even more guilty. Apart from these, teacher who did nothing else. He just did what he should do every day. Taking care of Ponyo and Mumu, and teaching everyone about other animals in the world. Like an open encyclopedia of the animal world. The whole book. Is this really possible? Xiaofei asked teacher who worriedly. Ponyo is his best and irreplaceable partner. He is the one who is most worried about rule day, and the one who most hopes to change rule day on rule day. With so many people watching the live broadcast, they thought teacher who would give an inflammatory speech at the end, which would make everyone change their previous votes. But teacher who did nothing. This is enough. Haven't you noticed that the number of people posting barrages has decreased recently? But the number of people watching has not decreased, but has actually increased. This is what everyone is thinking. You have to give them time. Sometimes doing too much can be counterproductive. Tang Emo agreed very much with teacher whose words. Giving everyone time to think for themselves was much more effective than moral kidnapping. The old people who came with Hubin were naturally outside the audience. At the beginning, Tang Emo was worried that they would report teacher who. But after a few days of peace and quiet, Tang Emo understood that in the eyes of those people, what this live broadcast wanted to fight for was just the rights of plants and animals to exist in this world. And it had nothing to do with their own interests. If they reported it, they would probably be punished. If he gets involved again, he will naturally not do such a lose-lose thing. The day before the regulation day, the only flower on Mumu's body was already ready to bloom. It looked very beautiful as it was about to bloom. Different colors could be faintly seen in it. I had never seen anything like this in the late Tang Dynasty. Flower. On the last day, teacher who continued to live broadcast as usual, and the number of viewers kept rising. But the number of comments was getting smaller and smaller. And everyone was watching silently. At the end of the evening live broadcast, teacher who stood between Mumu and Ponyu and bowed deeply to the screen. Our human voice is very long. But their lives are short. They accompany us for a journey. And we accompany them for a lifetime. Thank you everyone for your company during this time. Thank you. After saying this, Teacher who turned off the live broadcast, took off his mask, and sat on the sofa, silent for a long time. Do your best and obey fate. Whether you succeed or fail depends on tomorrow. Rules day voting can be done on your own on your home system. At 8 o'clock in the morning on the regular day, the system will automatically pop up the voting page. You can only continue to use the system after you have voted. So the first thing everyone who is used to the system does when they get up is to vote. Tangamo set an alarm clock to get up at 8 o'clock. The voting page was very simple. But there were many questions. There were 100 questions in total. And the answer to each question was only yes or no. These questions include questions about plants, animals, labor, and even about the preparation of human service procedures and systems. And even questions about food, clothing, housing, and transportation. Tangemo checked the boxes one by one and quickly clicked submit. The questionnaire cannot be complete. And there is only one opportunity. Once submitted, it cannot be modified. Voting ends at 12 o'clock noon, and the new rules will take effect at 12 p.m., which is the beginning of a new day. At that time, the new rules will also be published in everyone's system. Before 12 o'clock, everyone does not know what the result of the vote will be and is waiting for the verdict. Just after Tang Emo had just submitted his questionnaire, a harsh alarm sound suddenly came from teacher whose room. Tang Emo hurriedly ran out of the room only to see teacher who's standing in the living room with Mumu in his arms, with a panicked look on his face. It's over. It's over. The hidden IP address has been discovered. We have nowhere to hide. Chapter 291 Escape Day Although teacher who was so panicked that his whole body was shaking, Tang Emo still tried his best to figure out what was going on in a few words. It turns out that on today's rule day, the system will directly send the voting page to each computer. But not only the IP address of teacher who's computer, but also the system address was directly hidden. So after the general control found that one system failed, 
and quickly locked the computer. The live broadcast on the entire network was aroused. And everyone knew what it meant that the system address was hidden. Now that the alarm has gone off, perhaps those compilers will appear at the door of this villa soon. Tang Imo, what should we do? I have done so much with great difficulty. I can't fall short now. Teacher who was really panicked. He held Mumu in his arms. His hands still shaking uncontrollably. He looked up at Tang Imo, His eyes full of the bitterness and helplessness of a middle-aged man. Which made people feel extremely distressed. Don't panic. I'll figure it out. Listening to the continuous piercing alarms. It was impossible to say that Tang Imo was not panicked at all. After all. It is now the critical moment. No one wants anything to go wrong at this time, causing everyone's long-term efforts to be in vain. But the more critical moments came, the more Tang Imo was able to force himself to calm down. Only in this way could he come up with better countermeasures. The location of the villa must have been exposed. The compilers are expected to come soon. Let's take Mumu and Ponyu and leave here first. Hearing the sound of the alarm, Xiao Fei and Xiao Imo came out early. And Tang Imo put a leash on Ponyu and prepared to take Teacher Hu away. Xiao Fei, let's take Ponyu away first. You stay here. Only those who stay at this time have the most courage. Do you understand? Afraid that Xiao Fei would want to be with them like last time. Tang Imo said first. I understand. Xiao Fei nodded and helped Tang Imo put the leash on Ponyu. Although he is not old, he knows many things clearly. Taking him with him at this time will be troublesome. Only if he stays, Ponyo has a greater chance of escaping and surviving. He couldn't help much, but he couldn't cause any more trouble for everyone. At the end of the Tang Dynasty. I, teacher who hesitated to speak. In fact, whether it was the hidden IP address, Ponyo or Mumu, in the final analysis, it had nothing to do with the late Tang Dynasty. Now he has to let Tang Mo take such a big risk with him. But at this time, Hu Bin really had no choice. No matter how guilty he was, he couldn't say that he couldn't implicate Tang Mo and left her alone. Now is not the time to say it's useless. Let's go! Right now, time is the most precious thing. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he tied up Ponyu and Mumu again, then took out the car at the door of the villa and got in with Hu Bin. The car soon started driving. At this moment, it was only because of this villa that we could survive. The impact of the live broadcast was huge. The system had long wanted the masked teacher who Ponyo and Mumu on the entire network. Now that we have clues, we will naturally make great efforts to arrest him. It is not as easy to fool as last time. Naturally, everyone knows what will happen if they are caught. Where are we going now? Hubin hugged Mumu and Ponyo and asked anxiously. Where can they go in this world without any secrets? Tang Mo drove the car without saying anything. She was also thinking about where else was safe for them. Yes! Tang Mo's car made a sharp turn and turned towards the unmonitored flat land outside the city that he had visited before. Going to a plantation? I'm afraid it's a key inspection place right now. Right. Since Teacher Who's live broadcast became popular, the originally popular plantation has become even more popular. Not only is everyone vying to work, there are even people who often want to steal a plant and take it home to experience the joy of raising it. And in order to prevent this terrible breeding of humans, planting days have been cancelled, and a large number of guards have been added to the plantation's glass house to protect the plants. Wouldn't it be a death wish to go to the plantation now? Tang Mo shouldn't be able to think of things that he can think of. Hu Bin secretly looked at Tang Mo's face, not daring to speak. Not going there. Hearing this, Hu Bin breathed a sigh of relief. Really? Let's go to the comfort room. What? Hu Bin's heart dropped immediately and was lifted up again. Aren't they trying to catch us for comfort? We went there ourselves. The most dangerous place is the safest place. And even the compiler never thought that they would hide in the comfort room. It's like a criminal hiding in jail to escape. The difference is that this prison is safe for Tangemo. Because she can escape at any time as long as she wants. The comfort room is the safest place for the system because no one is there to go there. But after the person who prepared the anal room disappeared last time, the system was adjusted. Originally, there was only one person stationed in the anal room. But now there are two people. For the sake of safety, when Tang Mo was outside the door, he used his mental power to turn into two heavy hammers and directly knock down the two preparers in the comfort room. Then he sneaked in secretly, blindfolded the two unconscious compilers, and trapped them together. She has not taken the compiler into her space for the time being. Because once it is taken into the space, 
the connection between the compiler and the system will be completely severed, and it will be a troublesome time for trouble to occur. But now she could only hit those two people hard on the head to keep them in their current state from waking up. Tang Emo took the car back, and then took Teacher Hu, Ponyo and Mumu to temporarily hide in the comfort room. Then a layer of mental power was laid outside the comfort room. If there was any trouble, she would be able to know immediately. However, she had observed this comfortable room and found that there was no back door and the surroundings were empty. Even if someone really attacked, she would have no choice but to fight her way out. This compiler originally only produced to maintain social order, so he was not very aggressive. The spiritual power of Gongji in the late Tang Dynasty was enough to be included in a large film. But she still didn't dare to take anything lightly, because she has not forgotten that this world is a more advanced high-tech world. And it is really hard to say what more advanced weapons she has never seen. Just wait until 8 o'clock in the evening. We will definitely be able to wait. Most of the panic on Hu Bin's face has dissipated, and he has returned to his confident look. Tang Imo looked at his watch. It was now 12 noon. She knew what Hu Bin was waiting for. At 8 o'clock in the evening, all the rules of this world would be cleared and everything would be implemented according to the new rules. Hu Bin has confidence in himself. Ponyo and Mumu. Chapter 292 The Sheep Enters the Tiger's Mouth. This is the second time Tang Imo and Teacher who have come to the animal room. Compared with the nervous and anxious mood the first time, the silence now allows them to start to feel the environment carefully. The walls of the comfortable room are white and the windows are closed, so no sunlight can penetrate. The air in Xia Kingdom is filled with the smell of disinfectant. If you smell it carefully, you can smell a rotten smell under the disinfectant. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had long known that the peaceful room was said to be peaceful. But in fact, it was neither peaceful nor happy. The only destination for those things that were judged as unnecessary by the world was the huge mixer in the peaceful room. The end point of this mixer is planting farms and breeding farms, becoming feed or nutrients. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he even suspected that the final destination of those who violated the rules in this world and was taken away was the same. After all, no one in this world ever asked and there was no prison. Where did those who were taken away go? No one ever saw them return. I have to say that teacher whose mentality is really good. Even Tang Imo admired him a little. He had regained his composure in such a short time, holding Mumu in his arms and starting to observe the budding flower on his body. This flower will bloom today. Hubin looked at the flower bone and determined that it would bloom today. And Pontius seemed to know that today was not a day to play wildly. The tense atmosphere made her lie obediently at Tang Mo's feet, trying not to make any sound. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he sat there and began to extend his mental power continuously, observing the place farther away. In the glass house not far away, there are no longer humans working. Instead, there are densely packed weavers, probably dozens in number. Tang Emo observed them for a long time and found that those people's five senses did not seem to be as sharp as normal people. Perhaps they mainly relied on the information transmitted by those eyes in the sky and the command of the system to play their role better and more quickly. The dense compiler was really frightened at the end of Tang Dynasty. She looked back at Teacher Hu, who was already a child and was concentrating on observing Mumu, and decided not to tell him. Otherwise, if he had known that he was so close to danger, he doesn't know if he could have maintained such a leisurely attitude. There is nothing they can do at the moment. The only thing they can do is wait, waiting for the fateful verdict at 8 p.m. If the rules had not changed at night and Tang Imo had not found a way out, then she actually didn't know what the final outcome would be. Tang Imo began to look at the beads in his body. The life force bead was still there without any intention of merging, taking advantage of the fact that he was finally free and had nothing to do. Tang Imo tidied up his space again. The high-grade crystals in the space had been piled up into several hills. If used normally, she might not be able to use them all in her lifetime. I used some of the stuff in the small supermarket. But it was still full, and I was very pleased to see it. There are two warehouses. And the fresh-keeping warehouse is full of hot food she prepared and some precious perishable treasures. Such as the flower of spiritual power that she arrived earlier. The other warehouse contained crystal stones no longer. After all, there were too many of them in the late Tang Dynasty. And they were no longer a rare treasure to her. The warehouse is filled with all kinds of treasures collected in the late Tang Dynasty. As well as some precious materials obtained from strange beasts. Food. Clothing various treasures, and hard currency crystals were all readily available in the late Tang Dynasty. This made Tang Emo, who was afraid of poverty before, feel very secure. 
But even now, he is ranked first in China. But the unknown disaster and fear mentioned in the email still couldn't make Tang Emo feel relieved. You must work harder to get those five beads. The sky was getting darker little by little. And the flower buds on Mumu's body unfurled little by little as expected by Teacher Hu. Even the late Tang Dynasty, who knew nothing about flowers and plants, could tell that this flower was not far away from being released. It's five o'clock in the evening. Only three hours until the new rules are announced. At the end of Tang Dynasty, the mental power that had been released outside suddenly fluctuated. When she looked carefully, it turned out that a large number of preparers began to pour into the open space. The compilers were not in a hurry, as if they had discovered them and came to arrest them. Not. Damn it! At the end of Tang Dynasty, something suddenly occurred to him. Those compilers were scattered throughout the city to maintain order and work during the day. Tang Mo never thought about where those compilers would go when they got off work at night. The compiler is not a human being. He does not have a home, let alone a house. And the only place they can go is this open space. And this empty house is their resting place and their base camp. I originally thought that the most dangerous place was the safest place. But I didn't expect that with this decision. I was treated like a sheep and sent directly into the tiger's mouth. But now it was too late to regret. Tang Mo immediately told the incident to Teacher Hu, who still knew nothing about the situation outside. How long will it take for a large number of preparers to arrive? Teacher Hu looked at his watch and saw that it was only two and a half hours before eight o'clock. Half an hour. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he could feel it only after he released his spiritual power far away. And it took about half an hour for those compilers to come here from all corners of the city. In other words, they have to hold on for at least two hours before they have any hope of survival. The number of compilers in the entire city is extremely terrifying. There are not many houses here. If the late Tang Dynasty guessed correctly, every house here will eventually be densely packed with resting compilers. And even the large open spaces here will be crowded. This is the rest area for the editors. As long as a compiler wants to enter this room, whether they come in or Tang Mo blocks the door to prevent them from entering, being discovered is an inevitable result. Tang Mo closed his eyes and tried to calm down. There must be a way. And with half an hour left, I must be able to think of a way. When Hu Bin saw Tang Mo like this, he didn't dare to disturb him at all and could only wait quietly. Time passed minute by minute. And ten minutes later, Tang Mo suddenly opened his eyes and turned his attention to the braider who tied her up in the room. She walked over and touched the preparer's body lightly. No. The compiler is still motionless on the ground unable to fit into the space at all. This compiler is made in this world and completely imitates a human being, complete with a brain. In other words, even without systematic instructions, these programmers can still complete some daily actions and language by relying on self-awareness. Only those compilers with consciousness can be dead before they can be taken into space by the late Tang Dynasty like the previous compiler. Chapter 293 She is glowing. The first method failed, and Tang Dynasty was not discouraged. Not being able to take in the space consciously was not entirely a bad thing for Tang Mo. At least it let her know that there was another way to face these organizers. That is destruction and control. In the late Tang Dynasty, he was a person with spiritual attributes. Especially after absorbing the spiritual pearl. His spiritual attributes increased greatly. She still remembered that the last time she fought the spirit beast. The spirit beast completely controlled the alien beasts by destroying their brains. Destroying brain control is not a difficult task for those with high mental attributes. But it is really against humanity. So Tang Dynasty has never done such a cruel thing. But when it comes to these AI programmers with brains and consciousness, there is no such worry. They are not real people in the first place. Even if their brains are destroyed, it will not matter. Tang Mo released his own mental power and began to enter the brain of the compiler. Although the compiler has a brain and consciousness, he is not a real person after all and his consciousness is very weak. Therefore, the compiler who wants to fully control is more difficult than Tang Mo imagined. Even easier, Tang Mo untied the braider. And soon the braider stood up and bowed deeply to Tang Mo, who Bin was stunned by this operation. But he soon realized that Tang Mo was the number one person in the Chinese rankings. And no matter what he did, it seemed that it was not that difficult to understand. Done! The compiler in front of him had completely obeyed his wishes and Tang Mo felt happy. However, she also understood that as soon as the organizer's consciousness was destroyed, the system would immediately be able to sense that they were now locked. 
and the speed at which the large number of organizers would arrive would only speed up. And now, the compilers in the nearby houses and those in the glass house closest to them have received instructions and quickly moved towards the comfort room. Tang Emo didn't panic when he felt their approach, but was even more surprised. The appearance of these dozens of preparers is not only not a danger to her, but a gift from the world to her. The farther the distance, the more mental energy it takes to control the compilers. So Tang Emo did not rush to take action, but instead let them get closer to the comfortable room. You stay in the house and take good care of Ponyo and Mumu. Tang Emo threw a knife to Teacher Hu, and then stood behind the door. When the dozens of preparers nearby were getting closer and closer to him, Tang Mo's mental strength was activated. She used the fastest speed to destroy the consciousness of the compilers one by one, and then injected her own mental power to control them. If this was a real person, I'm afraid it wouldn't be so easy. But fortunately it was the compiler. So even if there were dozens of people, it didn't take much mental energy from Tang Mo. The large troops gathered in every corner of the city were about to arrive. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he counted more than 60 organizers he had just controlled. Although it is a drop in the bucket, it is her best weapon now. She asked the 60 preparers to form three circles at the door of the comfort room, which could help her to resist the pressure that was coming. She arranged for two more preparers to get weapons and guard teacher who, if an accident happened, they could at least be protected. All this has been arranged, and the first batch of organizers can already be seen. Fortunately for Tang Emo, because these compilers were scattered in different corners of the city, they did not arrive at the same time due to the difference in distance. This gave Tang Emo a slight chance to breathe. When the first Yijiang army of organizers could be seen, the spiritual power of the late Tang dynasty had already begun to move. She continuously destroyed and controlled the organizers in the army, and then used the already controlled organizers to block the progress of other organizers. There are simply too many preparers pressed forward, and it is simply impossible to control them all, controlling some of them, and then letting them get entangled, killing each other, and then pausing their progress was the real plan at the end of Tang Dynasty. Soon, as more and more people were controlled by the late Tang Dynasty, chaos began before the army could reach the house. At the beginning, because the number controlled in the late Tang Dynasty was relatively small, although the pace of the army was slowed down, it was still moving forward. However, as more and more people were quickly controlled in the late Tang Dynasty, the large army gradually became a mess. The order issued by the late Tang Dynasty to those controlled organizers was to hold them back and eliminate them at all costs. Even if they destroyed themselves, more and more compilers fell, and more and more compilers were controlled by the late Tang Dynasty. Gradually, as Tang Emo became more and more proficient in destroying control, he could control a compiler in almost three seconds. The organizers she controlled gradually gained the upper hand, and the battle ended quickly. In less than 15 minutes, the only organizers left standing were Tang Mo's own people. And these people were the second line of defense deployed in the late Tang Dynasty. Before Tang Emo could take a breath, more preparers appeared in her field of vision. Because there were two lines of defense, Tang Emo simply opened the door and stood at the door, starting to repeat the same steps. Destroy. Control. Then destroy. Then control. Beyond the second line of defense, the wave of organizers was already in chaos. And some of them were blocked again when they reached the second line of defense. Although destroying and controlling the organizers was not a difficult task for the late Tang Dynasty. After all, the number of organizers was too large. After destroying an unknown number of compilers, Tang Emo began to feel that his mental power was in a state of rapid depletion. This can't continue like this. She doesn't know how many organizers are waiting for her next. And when will this battle end? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he took out the flower of spiritual power and stuffed all the petals and even the leaves into his mouth. Then he moved some giant high-grade crystals out of the space and sat directly on top of those crystals to absorb them. The rapid consumption made Tang Emo not afraid of absorbing too much. Because no matter how much she absorbed now, it seemed that it could not keep up with what she consumed. Her body was extremely exhausted. But Tang Emo still persisted. Now she had begun to use the remaining people from the first two groups to face the third wave of advancing troops. The originally empty plain was now covered with the broken bodies of the weavers. Although it is said to be AI, these programmers have consciousness and brains, and are almost indistinguishable from human body structures. The plains were dyed red with blood, and corpses were everywhere. Only the radiant woman standing on the blood-red spar stood out and attracted people's attention, who been looked at the age, L-like scene in front of him through the window. And he found that Tang Mo's body was glowing. 
Chapter 294 Armored Warrior Hubin looked at the time on his watch. It was only the last hour before 8 o'clock. He could do nothing but pray that this moment would come sooner. He and Ponyo lay in front of the window and looked at the scene outside, looking at the blood all over the mountains and plains. But there was no trace of fear in their hearts. But they were full of excitement. Although the mental energy consumption in the late Tang Dynasty was extremely high, it could still be maintained with a large amount of crystal stones to replenish it. The most important thing is that Tang Mo's tactics are very well arranged. Every time she controls a group of organizers, she will have another line of defense in front of her. This also greatly reduces her pressure and makes this battle gradually become an overwhelming battle. What Tang Mo didn't know was that since she destroyed and controlled the first organizer and allowed the system to detect her existence, the entire world systems began to broadcast live broadcasts of everything that happened in the open space. Although there are no surveillance cameras here, there are countless drones with cameras hovering in the sky. I don't know if it was in retaliation for teacher who's live broadcast for such a long time, which slapped the rules of the world, that the system wanted to punish and arrest them live to warn everyone. What is even more unexpected is that due to the butterfly effect brought about by teacher who's live broadcast, the world changed its rules before World Day for the first time. That is, the voting system is reopened, and everyone can change their voting results before 8 p.m. This has never happened before. The original intention of the system is not to let everyone be affected by the deceptive live broadcast, but to make truly correct choices after seeing the punishment for those who break the rules. At this moment, everyone is at home staring at the blood-red screen. They have lived in the illusion of peace for too long, and they have long forgotten the taste of war. And the girl in front of them, this scene, greatly shocked everyone's heart. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, all his mental power was focused on destroying and controlling these organizers. But he did not notice the drones hovering above his head. But even if she noticed it, she would ignore it. Live streaming? Then come. She wants to let them see if this world is love and peace as they thought. The battle ended quickly. The faces of the preparers who were still standing at this time had blank and sluggish expressions. These were already people from the late Tang Dynasty. Finally I can take a break. Tang Emo sat on the spar. Of course she knew that these compilers were all produced by the system. As long as the world wanted to, these people would be endless. But production at least requires time. As long as we can wait until 8 o'clock, everything will be over. The remaining compilers all moved closer to the late Tang Dynasty and built a solid wall again. Everyone on the screen was silent and holding their breath, waiting for what else the world would do to Tang Emo. They knew that the girl in front of them was punished like this because of that long live broadcast although it seemed to have nothing to do with them. But everyone who has watched the live broadcast, everyone who is sincerely delighted and happy for Mumu and Ponyo, is no longer an outsider. The sentencing of this girl is like the sentencing of themselves. They all sincerely hope that the girl in front of them can win. But can he really defeat this world machine if he is just one person? It's like they are hesitating every time they vote. Can their vote really win the whole world? Can I really compete with the rules if I am the only one on my own? It was a live broadcast and the voting rules were revised. Of course, the world would not give in so easily and let Tang Emo go. Soon Tang Emo felt something coming from the city quickly toward him. She stood up, straightened her clothes, and released her mental power to feel it. It was not a compiler. It was definitely a more powerful existence than a compiler. What's even more frightening is that Tang Emo didn't feel the existence of human consciousness in those opponents. This means that her method of destroying control has failed. It was at this time that Tang Mo's mental power also noticed the drones in the sky that were filming without blind spots. She quickly realized something and looked up, following a drone camera with a smile. I won't admit defeat. The distance was too far, and the drone could not transmit Tang Mo's voice to the live broadcast. But the audience, who was sitting in front of the screen attentively could still understand the sentence through their mouth movements. The screen zoomed in on Tang Mo's face. There was no fear of positional fear on her face, as if what she was about to face next was so ordinary. She was still smiling, standing on the ground stained red with blood and smiling. She said, I will not admit defeat. I may not win, but I will try my best until the last moment. I will never give up. I will never give up to this world. At that moment, everyone understood what the girl meant behind her smile. Many people didn't even realize that at some point. Two lines of hot tears were already flowing down their faces. People wiped their faces with their hands indiscriminately and they couldn't tell clearly what kind of emotion was stirring in their hearts at this moment. They haven't felt this way for a long time. Tang Mo's eyes looked firmly into the distance until the group of enemies appeared in front of him. 
they were not programmers who were almost identical to humans, but a group of robots covered in steel armor. Each one was two meters tall, and their bodies were all made of steel that refracted light in the sun. If the compiler is to maintain the public order of this world, then these steel men are to maintain the security order of this world. The number of these iron men is not large. Only about 30 or 40. But the combat power of each one is very scary just looking at it. Tang Mo was not surprised. She had known for a long time that since the world had such advanced technology, it was naturally impossible to just create a compiler. The iron men in front of him were complete robots. Without consciousness or brain. It was impossible for Tang Mo to destroy and control them by relying on his mental power. Tang Mo lowered his head and glanced at the time. It was only 40 minutes until 8 o'clock in the evening. It's just a matter of force. Tang Mo took out the heaven-bearing axe from the space and held it in his hand. Ready to start a tough battle. The distance was getting closer. And Tang Mo sent 10 organizers to rush over. Wanting to test the waters first and see what kind of strength the steel giant was. Chapter 295 Battle of Iron Man the ten compilers quickly rushed towards the Iron Man after receiving Tang Mo's instructions. However, it was obvious that these were two completely different species, and their strength was not at the same level at all. The Iron Man raised his palm and waved it hard twice, and the two preparers flew out and hit the ground heavily. The rest of the compilers were not much better. They were all quickly slapped away or kicked down by Iron Man, and were immediately declared scrapped. They didn't even have the strength to struggle anymore. This huge power. Everyone took a breath of cold air, and Tang Mo even held the heaven-bearing axe in his hand, and then used his mental power to add a protective shield around himself. It seems that this tough battle is inevitable. There were more than 40 iron men. To be honest, Tang Mo was unsure. It had been a long time since she had met such a powerful opponent, but she had to fight even if there was no bottom. After all, she had no way out now. If she was alone, she could still run. But now that she had something to protect, she could only stand here and keep standing. At the end of Tang Dynasty, the compilers were asked to retreat in front of the house. They were so vulnerable in front of the Iron Man that there was no need to die anymore. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he held the heavenly axe and faced them. There were more than 40 extremely tough enemies, but there was only one person at the end of the Tang Dynasty. She used her mental power to create five more clones to protect her and fight alongside her. Although Iron Man's body was heavy, his speed was not slow. Tang Mo took a few more steps forward, preparing to further distance the battlefield from the house. Tang Mo was not short in height, but he still looked too thin standing in front of Iron Man. As if he had just treated the compilers, Iron Man once stretched out his gleaming palm. Their instructions were to destroy. Destroy everything in this house and everything in front of it. Tang Mo did not dodge. She held up the sky-bearing axe, which was filled with her spiritual power and faced the palm straight towards it. It was very easy to dodge at Tang Mo's speed, but she just wanted to try to see what her strength was like when faced with these. The sky-reaching axe collided with the palm, and sparks flew out instantly. The hardness of steel was incomparable to the exotic treasure. With the blessing of Tang Mo's strength and spiritual power, this blow still cut off half of the Iron Man's palm. But before Tang Mo had time to be happy, the Iron Man's other hand waved over. This Iron Man is a machine, and not a human being. It will not feel pain if its palm is cut off. And it will not affect its combat power and cause it to collapse. Tang Mo, who had just received the blow, had not put down the knife when another blow came. And he could not react at all. The mental clone behind her resisted the blow forcefully for her and was instantly shaken away. The dissipation of his mental power also made Tang Mo pause for a moment. Although it was a clone, it was something that came out of his body and it did not have any impact on him at all. This won't work. There are more than 40 enemies like this in front of you. You must find his weaknesses. Such passive beatings will consume her sooner or later. She is alone and cannot afford to play a war of attrition. Tang Mo quickly took a few steps to the side, and then looked up and down at the Iron Man in front of him. The limbs and torso are made of steel, and there are no eyes on the face, which are usually its weak points. Is it invulnerable? Impossible. Even a robot has at least some gaps and weaknesses. The reason why this giant is controlled must be because there is a specific device somewhere on the body. This device has an installation port. There is nothing in this world that is invincible. You must find out its weaknesses. Tang Mo immediately stepped on the clouds transformed by his spiritual power. Flew above the giant and looked down. Wang Tian lived up to the man who could fly. As expected, with unremitting efforts in the late Tang dynasty. 
he finally saw a lid-like thing on the back of the giant's neck. Screwed on its neck with four screws. That's the one. That's right. It's the device used to control the giant. Maybe it's its battery. Tangemo didn't know what that thing was. But she kept trying to touch it. This was her only breakthrough at the moment. After Tangemo flew up, the giants lost their target and began to continue attacking the house. Seeing that the giants were approaching the house, Tang Mo hurriedly set up a mental barrier about 100 meters away from the house. Sure enough, the giant walking at the front was blocked by the mental barrier. Although they have no consciousness of their own, it does not mean that these big guys are complete fools. After being blocked, the giant stood there and thought for a few seconds, and then began to walk around the barrier, wanting to go around and get closer to the house. When Tang Mo saw this, he dived down, landed directly on the giant's shoulders, and started smashing the small square cover at the back of its neck with the sky-reaching axe in his hand. In a flash of lightning, the small cover was smashed down. The giant's head, which was halfway turning, immediately seemed to be stuck and lost its understanding. His entire body lost the ability to move and turned into a steel sculpture. Sure enough, it's done. Seeing that he finally found the giant's life gate and found a way to defeat the enemy with one move so easily. Tang Mo was also very happy. Soon, she rushed towards the neck of another giant with her spiritual power. The giants quickly realized how much of a threat this woman posed to them, and temporarily gave up the attack, and began to stretch out their hands to grab Tang Mo on the giant next to them. It is said to be a giant, but it is only over two meters tall. It is still a very conspicuous target for them in the late Tang Dynasty. There was no other way. Tang Mo could only use his fastest speed to smash the block on the back of Iron Man's neck and then quickly use his mental power to rise up when the other big hand came over. Sometimes she just lands on the giant's shoulders and has to run away and rise again before she has time to destroy the block. Repeatedly, it was very frustrating for the late Tang Dynasty. Originally, flying into the air required a lot of mental power. In addition, Tang Dynasty had to constantly use mental power to attack. The mental power barrier in front of the house was also a big mental expenditure. Tang Mo's mental power was almost exhausted very quickly. Unfortunately, the barrier could not be removed. Tang Mo could only abandon Tinkong and several mental clones around him and concentrate all the remaining mental power in his own hands. On the axe to the sky. Anyway, the giant is not too tall and he can get their life gate even if he jumps. Coupled with being more flexible and faster, it is not that difficult to avoid their attacks. Chapter 296 The Final Persistence But soon, Tang Mo discovered that although the steel giant was said to have no brains, he was not completely stupid. After more than half of the Iron Man fell down one after another, the remaining Iron Man quickly learned to cover the battery interface at the back of his neck with one hand. The giant's hands were also made of steel. If Tang Dynasty wanted to break the power supply inside, it would no longer be that simple. There was no other way. Opportunism was no longer useful. And Tang Mo could only fight head on. The battery could no longer be removed. So Tang Mo had no choice but to think of other ways. If steel giants like this continue to lose their fatal weaknesses, they will only lose their legs. Abandon their legs. Tang Mo looked at the giant's legs, which were thicker than his own waist, and sighed silently for himself. There is no other way. Just fight. Who just said to the people of the world that he would never admit defeat? Is there any delay in this live broadcast? Who is in charge in this world? Can you please delete it for her? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he held the sky-reaching axe in his hand and rushed into the steel giant. After such a long period of tossing, Tang Mo's mental power was almost exhausted, so he could only go out and fight for a while, then return to the house to absorb the crystal stones as quickly as possible to replenish his mental power. Fortunately, after those giants blocked the back of their necks with one hand, their remaining hand weakened their combat effectiveness a lot. Coupled with Tang Mo's flexible body shape and reactions, he was at a disadvantage. Tired. Just tired and nothing else. From the weavers all over the mountains to the iron men rushing towards us. In addition to mental strength, Tang Dynasty's physical strength was also overdrawn. Now her whole body was struggling to hold on. Looking at the last three or four iron men left in front of her, Tang Mo's legs softened and she almost fell to her knees. Sweat flowed down the arm to the axe, and then dripped down from the axe head and hit the ground. Tang Mo's physical exhaustion was felt by every audience in front of the screen. Seeing Tang Mo staggering, everyone grabbed him. Come on. Don't fall. Never. Living up to expectations. 
Tang Mo finally stood up again. Just kidding. She's not dead yet. As long as she's alive, she can continue fighting. Iron Man had already begun to attack the protective barrier, which was only a hundred meters away from the house behind her. Tang Mo once again clenched the axe in his hand and rushed over. The steel giant's body was extremely hard. If he wanted to make them incapacitated, he could only chop off one of their legs. This means that what Tang Mo is holding now is the heaven-bearing axe, which is a treasure of the orangutan clan. If it were an ordinary axe, it would have been scrapped long ago, let alone cutting off someone's legs. But this time, Tang Mo had obviously fallen behind the iron giant due to the long and exhausting wheel battle. The slowness of her movements meant that she was unable to dodge in time after an attack, and was violently thrown on the back by the giant's arm. That kind of power was not something a mortal body could withstand. He was immediately slapped to the ground and did not recover for two seconds. But fortunately, Tang Mo's reaction was quite clever. After finding that he couldn't get up, he immediately used his mental power to turn into clouds and lift himself up to a position in the sky that the steel giant could not reach. However, after grabbing a few times and finding that he was powerless against the enemy just now, the Iron Man began to continue fighting against the protective barrier. After all, their ultimate goal is to destroy the house and the things inside it. Seeing the three remaining steel giants continuing to move forward, Tang Mo gritted his teeth and stretched himself in the sky. Still can't get up. There was no way. Not to mention there were only three steel giants left. Even if there was only one left, the house could still be easily destroyed and the lives of Teacher Hu, Panyu and Mumu were killed. But now that he was really powerless, Tang Mo could only lie there and frantically absorb the crystals while strengthening the protective barrier in the hope that it could sustain it for a while longer. It's almost. It's almost. There are only 10 minutes left. Tang Mo looked at the time on her ID watch. It was 8 o'clock in 10 minutes. She could just hold on for 10 minutes. But with her current physical and mental strength, 5 minutes would be barely enough. She really wouldn't be able to hold on. The three steel giants continued to attack the mental protection barrier, and everyone in front of the screen kept looking at the time. It will be 8 o'clock in less than 10 minutes. And their votes will take effect by then. Watching the girls fight. They were powerless. But the votes in their hands were like weapons. The only thing that could express their attitude and stance. Don't touch them! Just as everyone was watching the giant destroy the protective barrier, a young man's voice sounded from behind them. Tang Mo followed the voice and looked over. It was Xiao Fei. You're not allowed to touch it! I saw Xiao Fei still breathing heavily bending over and holding his knees with both hands, half squatting there to adjust his breathing. He has been worried since the end of Tang Dynasty and teacher who took Ponyo away. The longer he worried, the more regret he felt. He should be by Ponyo's side, although I may not be able to help. It is clear that Ponyo is in danger now. How can I put its life in the hands of others and hide in the villa like this? Even if it encounters danger, I should face it with it. But obviously it was too late to regret that time. He had no idea where Tang Mo and teacher who would go. Know that the live broadcast of the system has begun. He saw Sister Tang Mo in the live broadcast, saw the house behind her, and even saw Pania's big head looking into the distance behind the window of the house. As if looking for something, he knew that Ponyo must be looking for him. Ponyo must be very scared now. He wants to accompany him. Soon, Fei used the system network to find the location of the house in the live broadcast. But the location was too far away. There is transportation in this world. But the transportation is driven by the preparers. And now all the preparers have gone to the end of Tang Dynasty. And Xiao Fei can't find a car that can take him there at all. There was no way for a car to be delivered directly through the pipes in the room. So Xiao Fei bought an assembled bicycle in the system. Put it together himself. And rushed all the way. Because I was too anxious and the journey was very long. My bicycle broke down before we even got there. With no way to go the rest of the way. Xiao Fei could only rely on his legs to run over, which was the fastest speed in his life. He set out as soon as he saw the live broadcast, but he still didn't arrive until now. But it's not too late. Chapter 297 Fight to the Death to Protect The new instructions those steel men received now were to destroy the house in front of them as quickly as possible. As for the little boy who appeared behind him, he was not within their fear range at all. Xiao Fei hadn't even taken a breath yet. Seeing the giant destroying the last protective barrier with golden light, he couldn't care about himself and rushed over in a hurry. Tang Mo saw that the protective barrier was destroyed. But she was overwhelmed. Her body had reached a limit now. Even if she quickly absorbed the crystal, 
she could not keep up with the speed of mental energy consumption. She simply could not no more supporting that protective barrier. Now at the end of the Tang Dynasty, he himself had lost all his combat effectiveness and could only use the remaining organizers to carry out the final resistance. Although the compiler is just an ant-like existence in front of the steel giant, the giant is only a few dozen meters away from the house now. And there is no other way. All the compilers swarmed forward and were shot flying out one by one. Stop! Xu Fei yelled and rushed forward, hugging the leg of a steel giant in an attempt to stop its progress. But it was obvious that his strength was not as strong as that of a compiler. And he was quickly kicked away by the compiler. Although it did not cause any harm to Iron Man, it still delayed the Iron Giant. After Xiao Fei was thrown out, he quickly got up, rushed to the giant closest to the house, and hugged its thigh again. As expected, Xiao Fei flew out again. Seeing this, Tang Emo tried her best to absorb a crystal stone as fast as she could, then used all her strength to fill the sky-reaching axe in her hand with mental power, and then controlled the mental power cloud to reach above the giant. He threw the axe in his hand that was full of spiritual power with all his strength, and the target was the knee of the first giant. The power of the sky-reaching axe filled with spiritual power was huge, coupled with the acceleration of Tang Emo running down from a high place. It hit the iron giant's knees hard. The first iron giant knelt down on one knee in response. I can no longer stand up and lose my fighting ability. The Babel axe rebounded and fell to the ground dozens of meters away, smashing the ground into a deep pit. Its power was no less than a bomb, and it was a precise strike with a bonus of power. A sort of. Since the Iron Man at the front fell, it undoubtedly caused a lot of trouble for the two Iron Men behind. While trying to get around his partner's collapsed body, he also wanted to shake off the mortal guy on his legs. But no matter how hard he tried, they were getting closer and closer to the house. Only a few dozen meters away. At this time, Xiu Fei's clothes were dyed red with blood from being beaten several times. This child has no attribute value for a long time. So he has no strength or agility. He only relies on his strength to fight. And that encouragement is called fighting to the death to protect the most important thing in oneself. There is the most important being in everyone's heart. And in Xiao Fei's world now, the most important being is Ponyo. Ouch. Inside the house, a howl came out. That was Ponyo's call and response to her master. As soon as Xiao Fei appeared, Ponyo saw her master's arrival from the window. Its tail was wagging excitedly, and it wanted to run out immediately. But Hubin held it tightly. If Ponyo goes out now, she will die. Tangmo has worked hard and persisted for so long just to keep Ponyo alive. Seeing Xiao Fei being thrown to the ground again and again, Ponyo whimpered in the room and kept making crying sounds. Although a dog is an animal, it knows everything in its heart. Teacher who was also looking out the window intently, constantly worried about Xiao Fei. But just because of this distraction, Ponyo slipped out of his hand as soon as he let go. When she came to the door, she pounced with her two front legs, and the door was opened by Ponyo. Ponyo ran out through the crack in the door, came to the giant, let out a squeal and bared her teeth, and threw herself at the giant's knees. Ponyo was so smart that as soon as she saw something hit the giant's knee, the giant in the front fell down. She also saw her master jumping onto the giant's knees every time, probably in Ponyo's mind. Her knees were the enemy's weak point. It's just that Ponyo is just a dog. How can it understand that its strength can compete with the steel giant? Even if the giant stands still, its teeth will never be able to bite the giant. But Ponyo is just a dog. She can't think so much. She just sees her master injured and bleeding. And she wants to protect her master. Ponyo! Go back quickly! Go back quickly! Xiufei was very anxious when he saw Ponyo running out of the house. For fear that the giant would hurt Ponyo. Ponyo heard her master's order. But she didn't stop. Let alone turn around. This is the first time he has disobeyed his master's orders. This time, Ponyo and Xiao Fei were thrown away by the giant at the same time and hit the ground heavily next to them. Only this time the giant stopped, looked at Ponyo who fell aside, and then walked towards it. They knew that the dog was an object in the house and one of their targets, and they wanted to eliminate it. Ponyo! Run! Xiu Fei saw the giant's intention and shouted loudly. Ponyo! Run! Run! Ponyo heard her master's words and stood up tremblingly. However, she did not retreat and run away. Instead, she approached Xiao Fei step by step. It hurt its leg and limped toward Xiao Fei. Animals are the most sensitive species in the world to danger. But at this time Ponyo seemed to have abandoned this nature, ignoring the fear in front of her. 
and kept approaching her master who was lying on the side, making a whimpering sound. Ponyo, run quickly. I beg you. Please, don't come over. Please run quickly. Okay. Xiao Fei was lying on the ground and could not get up. The blood on his back dyed the ground red again. But he just repeated the same words over and over again in his throat. Tears mixed with blood flowed all over his face. And he was in a miserable state. But at this time, no one in the audience in front of the screen laughed at the boy's embarrassment. They all looked at the screen blankly. Their faces already wet. Emotions are the most honest things that humans do not need to learn and should not be abandoned. It makes every individual in the world come alive and gives meaning to people's lives. Xiao Fei's call was of no use. The steel giant still came to Ponyo, stretched out his feet and kicked it away. Tang Emma watched this scene on the clouds and a sudden energy surged in his heart. It was not something that a rational person should have. But at this moment, the energy in her heart suddenly existed. She controlled the cloud of mental power and swooped down, catching Ponyo, who was knocked away without letting it hit the ground heavily. Chapter 298 The time has come. But this height is too low, and it has completely entered the attack range of the giant. The other giant saw that the woman just now was about to fly again with her prey, and without bothering to cover the back of his neck, he reached out and took a photo of Lian Yun and the others. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, there was not much mental energy left. In order to pick up Ponyo, there was almost no way to avoid it. And he was photographed straight away. The moment she fell, Tang Emo hugged Ponyo tightly, hoping to reduce the damage she received. Tang Emo fell heavily to the ground. His chest shook, and the last bit of strength in his body had been used up. He lay there unable to get up. But Ponyo got up. It stood up again, with its whole body trembling, and walked towards the Iron Giant. It didn't walk towards Iron Man, but walked towards Xiao Fei again. Xiao Fei's throat was so hoarse that he could no longer shout. He could only watch Ponyo's figure silently and shed tears. Ponyo could hardly stay standing, but she kept moving forward. Everyone in front of the screen was watching this scene and looking at the time at the top of the screen. There is only one minute left. It will definitely work. They will all survive. But it seems that the protagonist's luck always happens in movies. The distance between Iron Man and Ponyo was too close. And the miracle did not happen. In the last few tens of seconds, Ponyo was kicked away by the Iron Giant with all his strength. Even flying across the sky. Not just Ponyo's figure, but also its blood. 3. 2. 1. The time finally came to 8 o'clock as everyone expected. The whole world seemed to suddenly stop. The wind is no longer blowing. And it seems that even the angle and temperature of the sun shining on people no longer change. The two remaining Iron Men stopped moving. And even the Iron Man who attacked Ponyo stood still and turned into a terrifying statue before he had time to put his feet down. Tang Emo watched helplessly as Ponyo fell to the ground hard for the last time. With blood flowing out of her mouth. Or did it fail? Tang Emo knew how much damage that last blow caused to Ponyo. It was fatal. If I could treat Pona now, maybe Pona would still have a chance of survival. But there is no way. Not to mention that she doesn't have extra mental power in her body now. Even if she does, she can't even crawl over now. Everything in this world seems to be at a standstill. But no, something is quietly changing and blooming quietly. The bud on Mumu's body opened. And a huge colorful flower bloomed little by little under who bends gaze, forming an extremely sharp contrast with this static world. The colorful light that can be seen in the buds becomes more and more abundant as the petals open, and then spreads in the air. The flower has fully bloomed, and each petal has a different color. The only thing that is the same is that they all release light. But the light does not diminish. It flows out continuously, filling the entire room, flowing from inside to outside the door, exposed to the entire in front of the world. The colorful light emitted by the trees spread all over the mountains and plains, spreading to the center of the city and to every corner of the world. Wherever the colorful halo passed, the blood on the earth was washed clean, as if it had never existed. What was left in its place were green buds, which are the unique color of life. It worked. It really worked. Seeing green buds growing on the originally bare wilderness stained red with blood, who been stared blankly, even in disbelief. They really succeeded. The rules for rule day were successfully modified due to the majority of people's choices. More life forms other than humans began to appear in the world. And vibrant scenery began to be seen outside the glass house. The new rules of this world finally allow humans and other life to coexist harmoniously. While Hu Bin was in a daze, Mumu beside him grew taller. Taller. 
and stronger at an extremely fast speed. The original flower pot was quickly broken, and the roots of the wood were exposed and continued to take root downwards into the ground below. The tree trunks that grew taller and taller soon broke through the house. This was not enough. Mumu was still growing at an incredible speed. Three meters, five meters, ten meters. Hubin looked up at Mumu's growth, watching him grow from a small seedling to a position where he had to raise his head to see it. Colorful lights continued to emanate from the tree crowns, drifting down the hillside and to every corner of the city. Just as Mumu continued to grow, Panyu, who was lying on the ground, gradually closed her eyes and lost her last trace of vitality. It was so tired that it couldn't hold on any longer. Xiao Fei's eyes never left Ponyo for a moment. He watched as Ponyo's body slowly dissipated into countless white lights that merged with the colorful lights in the sky and floated away to every corner of the world. In the end, he failed to protect what was most important to him in the world. He worked really hard during the process. But the ending was unacceptable. Xiao Fei closed his eyes. But the tears couldn't stop flowing down and flowed into his mouth, which smelled of grief. Everyone on the screen looked at this colorful streamer and was shocked and speechless. Since they came to this world, they have never seen what it is like to change the rules of this world. They have always followed the rules and even forgotten that they can make decisions that change the entire world. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was lying on the ground, feeling the colorful lights everywhere near. But there was something strongly resonating in the sea of consciousness. It is the pearl of life force. At this moment, the late Tang Dynasty could clearly feel the powerful vitality in this colorful stream of light, which was the powerful vitality of countless plants and animals. And the pearl of life force that has never been integrated in the sea of consciousness is echoing with this colorful stream of light. And something seems to be gushing out. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he did not suppress the bead that was about to move in the sea of consciousness but felt the colorful stream of light more carefully, relaxing every part of his body and letting them bathe in the stream of light. It is to fully accept the life force bathing you instead of resisting it. Boom! A familiar loud sound appeared in Tang Mo's sea of consciousness. The loud noise did not scare Tang Mo, but instead gave her a huge surprise. She knew what the sound was. This was the sound of the pearl of life force in her sea of consciousness being fused. The bead in the sea of consciousness completely collapsed like a flood. At that moment, Countless life force radio and television exploded in the sea of consciousness in the late Tang Dynasty, flooding in all directions. Chapter 299 Everything Returns to Zero Tang Mo's head hurt, and his whole body instantly curled up due to the pain. Fortunately, this was not her first time fusing beads. She had some experience when fusing beads of spiritual power last time, so she did not panic this time. Instead, she followed the power exploding in the bead and guided her as much as possible. That torrent flows through every vein in your body in the right direction. The colorful stream of light outside that was full of vitality also felt the changes in Tang Mo's body. Countless rays of light began to flow into Tang Mo's body, merging with the vitality in the original pearl of vitality, becoming a new force. The wandering nourished every part of Tang Mo's body. Originally, the body of the late Tang dynasty had suffered a lot of damage due to excessive consumption and continuous fighting, whether it was external injuries or damage to the internal meridians. But under the continuous nourishment of the fused colorful vitality, Tang Mo's body gradually recovered. She began to slowly feel that her body was being repaired and strengthened until it reached its peak state. It was a physical state that she had never experienced before. The energy in her body was so abundant, and every muscle contained huge power, waiting for the master sign at any time. The wounds on Tang Mo's body were also repaired bit by bit. Every bleeding point was healing and the injured muscles and bones were gradually being soothed to the most perfect state. Although Tang Mo is now lying on the ground covered in filth, no one knows that Tang Mo's physical condition at this time is a state that she has never reached before. It is the most peak state, and she can face more cruel battles at all times. This colorful stream of light flowed for a full hour before gradually dissipating. Tang Mo and Xiao Fei had already been helped up by Hu Bin, and they were slowly resting against the trees that had grown into towering trees. The reason Tang Mo couldn't move now was because the vitality contained in the colorful streamer this time was too strong. So the fusion of her vitality beads took longer than the last mental power pearl. But now she has reached the late stage of fusion. And it is estimated that in another 20 minutes, she will be back to her most perfect state. Xiao Fei on the other side still closed his eyes tightly. He didn't want to look at the halo floating in the sky. Because he knew that part of the halo was obtained by his ponyo's life. When the world recovers from a state of stasis, 
vibrant vitality begins to appear on the earth. There are patches of green and colorful flowers and plants, which are particularly beautiful against the blue sky and white clouds. Countless baby animals are chasing each other in the green. Bees, butterflies, and birds are freely sharing the joy of freedom with humans in the sky. Everything is in perfect harmony. On every screen in the world, the live broadcast ended and was replaced by a new set of rules. Everyone clicks on the rules. The first of them is that in this new world rule, humans, plants, and animals must live in harmony. This world will no longer prohibit the existence of other life. People can even freely grow crops or flowers and can also keep any non-threatening pets. These rules come into effect from the moment of promulgation. Rules day is finally over. And new rules are finally here. Hey, why did our hero fall down and be unable to stand up? Wasn't he so majestic just now? In the midst of the peace, a discordant voice sounded. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he looked up and saw Wen Qin. Qin Fen stood next to Wen Qin. Qin Fen looked at Tang Mo with his hands in his pockets, but said nothing. On the other side, Zhang Chao and her people also appeared in the open space. It turns out that you are the late Tang Dynasty ranked number one in China. And you are indeed worthy of your reputation. They also came after the live broadcast started. But they stayed in a hidden position and did not show up before the battle was over. Just waiting to see what can be gained from this battle between Snipe and Clam. Baby. Or a chance to get out. Everyone has been here for a long time. But apart from the fact that life is not stressful. We really haven't found any treasures here. The group of people are all people with good skills in the end of the world. In the end of the world, the status of the jungle is strong. They all have a certain status by themselves. In such a peaceful world, they are incompatible and unaccustomed. This time when they saw Tang Mo fighting in the live broadcast, they knew that their chance had come. To Tang Mo's surprise, John Chao's words were sincere and not sarcastic. Who doesn't admire the strong man? Zhang Chao saw the battle with the alien beasts at the S base at the end of the Tang Dynasty. As long as a man saw the battle to protect S base in the late Tang Dynasty, there would be no one who would not respect it. But Wen Qing was extremely happy when she saw Tang Mo lying here covered in blood. In the late Tang Dynasty, weren't you usually so powerful because of your high attribute values? Now that I'm lying here, why are you so crazy? Wen Qing actually didn't know that the loss of her bracelet was related to the late Tang Dynasty. Her resentment towards the late Tang Dynasty was mainly caused by her long-term jealousy. Wen Qing had always felt that she was writing a script for the heroine, but she always failed to do everything as well as Tang Emo, which made her feel very unbalanced. Now seeing Tang Emo finally sitting here helpless, she couldn't be happier. Wen Qing held a dagger in her hand and walked towards Tang Emo, who bit on the side saw that the woman was coming with bad intentions and immediately stood in front of Tang Emo. Put your things away! Qing Fen who was standing aside, grabbed Wen Qing. What's wrong? Don't you always hate Qin Ling? She is a woman from Qin Ling. If you kill her, you can see Qin Ling's pain. Isn't it good? Wen Qing didn't stop, and continued to walk towards the end of Tang Dynasty with the dagger, as if she was crazy. She has always been the green tea image of a little white rabbit in front of Qin Fen. And this is the first time she has lost her composure. Her recent life had been really unsatisfactory. And now she attributed all this unsatisfaction to Tang Emo in order to gain a moment of spiritual comfort. As long as he kills her, he can return to the Wen family and even take her place and live the life of an eldest lady. There is another point that Wen Qing is also very clear about. She is not a very stupid person, but she has not used her mind in the right place. She had already seen from the battle just now that Tang Mo's strength was not that of a space superpower at all. She must have some kind of space treasure disguised as a space superpower like her previous self. As long as he kills her, he can get the rare treasure on her body, have space again, and become a master. Greed and jealousy turned into two venomous snakes, which had already occupied Wen Qin's brain and dominated her thinking. Chapter 300 Touching the Bottom Line Qin Fen still didn't let go of his hand, trying to pull Wen Qin back. It's not that he wasn't moved by what Wen Qin said, he just hated Qin Ling so much that he was naturally happy to see Qin Ling in pain. But Tang Emo was not actually an annoying person to Qin Fen. Even when he first met Tang Emo and didn't know the relationship between Tang Emo and Qin Ling, Qin Fen still admired Tang Emo. The most important thing is that Tang Emo is the treasure of both the Wen family and Qin Ling. After all, he is number one in the Chinese rankings. Even if his physical strength is temporarily exhausted, he is not someone who can be killed casually. 
he always felt that Tang Mo's character would always leave him a backup plan. Once he failed once, others would be the unlucky ones next. Come back, Qin Fen said again, no matter what kind of relationship he had with Wen Qin. At least Wen Qin was the one he brought in now. He didn't want this stupid woman to cause trouble to him. But now Wen Qin looks at Tang Mo's weak appearance, and all she thinks about is Tang Mo's unknown space treasure. She has lost all sense of reason. And even Qin Fen can't stop her. Soon when Qin broke away from Qin Fen and approached the end of Tang Dynasty. Don't come here! Who been stopped in front of Tang Mo. Although he was a person with strength attributes, he was naturally peace-loving and stayed away from disputes. He had never had a conflict with anyone. Not to mention that there was a girl in front of him who was the same age as his student. Why do you hate me so much? Tang Mo asked. The energy on the other side of her body was running accelerating. She didn't care why Wen Qing hated herself. Tang Emo just wanted to delay time. Give her another minute, and she'll regain full mobility. Because you hate it! Wen Qing answered without hesitation. Before she finished speaking, Wen Qing leaned over and said in a voice that only she, Tang Emo, and who'd been standing in the middle could hear, When you die, your space treasure will be mine. Wen Qing's words made Tang Mo's eyes change. It was these words that made Tang Emo have murderous intentions towards Wen Qing for the first time. At the end of Tang Dynasty, it was difficult to hide the fact that he was not a spatial attribute power user as he continued to appear in the public eye. So the fact that he had spatial treasures was also easily guessed by interested people. But now the naked desire in Wen Qing's eyes made Tang Emo understand that this was a poisonous snake. As long as she was given a chance, she would bite his neck without hesitation. This is no longer as simple as jealousy between little girls. This is a battle between adults about survival and interests. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he no longer looked at Wen Qin, but instead looked at Qin Fen. Just playmates! Right! Tang Mo's eyes were too sharp, and the thing in his eyes was very scary. Qin Fen was startled, but he quickly realized what Tang Mo meant and what he wanted to do. It doesn't matter! The words between the two people seemed to have nothing to do with each other, but they understood each other. Tang Mo nodded, and a dagger taken out of space suddenly appeared in his hand. Then he instantly stood up and walked around Hu Bin, passed the dagger across Wen Qing's neck, and returned to his original position. The whole set of movements was smooth and fluid in just three seconds. The aorta was cut, and blood spurted out in an instant. But Wen Qing couldn't even utter the last sentence. Only eyes full of shock and reluctance. How so? How could this be? But a dead man's questions are unanswered and meaningless. Soon, Wen Qing collapsed to the ground, and the blood in her neck continued to gush out turning the newly sprouted green grass red. It's really a pity for these newborn little grasses. I'm sorry to let you see such a bloody scene when you just came into this world. Tang Emo looked at the newly sprouted flowers and plants on the ground and smiled lovingly. He bent down and wiped the dagger at his hand with Wen Qing's clothes. Zhang Chao and others didn't react when they saw the scene. They all froze there. This woman. So cruel. Everyone took a step back silently warning themselves in their hearts not to be enemies with this woman in the future. This was too scary. Qin Fen also took a step back silently, fearing that when Qin's blood would stain his shoes, he was not dissatisfied at all with Tang Mo's operations. Even though when Qin was the one he brought. But I have already warned her that she brought all this on herself and no one else is to blame. Besides, Tang Mo had just asked what he meant. And since he had enough respect in front of outsiders, there was really no need for him to offend Tang Emo for such a toy. Tang Emo greeted Qin Fen before taking action and was really not afraid of him. But just when Wen Qin was about to touch him, Qin Fen stopped him. Giving him face once can be regarded as a reward for stopping him. She wasn't used to owing favors. What's next? How do we go back? A young master like Qin Fen has no heart. So he quickly changed the topic and thought about how they could go back. They have been here for a long time and they haven't found the treasure at all. It would be too bad to be trapped here for the rest of their lives. Aren't the doors all here? Tang Emo turned around and pointed behind Mumu. It turned out that at some point, a small pool of several square meters appeared behind Mumu. Everyone looked towards the pool and realized that it was not a pool, but a mirror. What the mirror reflected was the scene of the cave when they entered. This is the door to go out. That's right. It turns out that only when the rules of the rules day are modified will there be a door for them to go out in this world. And it is obvious that this time it is thanks to the blessings of the late Tang Dynasty that the people can have the opportunity to go out. Otherwise, if we rely on them, it will take a lifetime for the rules of this day to be revised. 
Thank you so much this time. I won't forget it. Let's go! Zhang Chao bowed to the end of Tang Dynasty. And the people with him stepped into the mirror and disappeared. They came here this time to find the treasure. Since the information was wrong and there was no treasure. Of course they had to leave. I hope we will meet again next time and we are not enemies. Qin Fen glanced at Tang and Mo meaningfully. And then walked into the mirror. After seeing Qin Fen step into the mirror. Several people suddenly ran out from that corner and went straight to the mirror. Stepped in and disappeared into the air. Tang Mo recognized them as several people with supernatural attributes who had been recruited before and had been following Qin Fen. They had been hiding to protect themselves. Now that Qin Fen was gone, they hurriedly followed. It's quite pitiful. Not to mention that the trip was for nothing and there was no reward. If Qin Fen didn't follow closely, he wouldn't even be able to go back home. It would really be worse than the cheap labor force defrauded into mining. Chapter 301 Real World Is it okay? After sending the group of people away, Tang Emo walked toward Xiefei, who had been leaning on Mumu Moo Moo with his eyes closed and silent. Xiaofei hasn't said a word since Ponyo turned into countless light spots floating in the air. Tang Emo knelt down and took Xiaofei's hand, using his mental power to treat Xiaofei, because the fused life force speed also absorbed a large amount of colorful life force in the sky. Tang Emo found that his treatment seemed to be more convenient. What is input into the other party's physical treatment is not only mental power but also a part of vitality, making the entire treatment process smoother. Fortunately, although Xiao Fei seemed seriously injured, he did not suffer any serious injuries. In fact, there was bleeding after the internal organs were smashed again and again. But now with Tang Mo's healing skills, he could save him as long as he still had a breath left. The whole treatment process passed very quickly, and Xiao Fei's body became completely intact, except for the blood stains which looked a little scary. The energy of this gate is slowly weakening. I guess it can only last for another hour at most. If you want to stay or leave, you should make a decision as soon as possible. The door appears because of a certain opportunity, but it does not exist forever. It is not easy to wait until the door disappears and then wait for the next door to appear. Now, there is no need for the old people who are with Hubin to ask. The peaceful life here is thousands of times better for them than the bloody and cruel life outside and it is impossible for them to leave. I won't leave. Although this world is not exactly what I expected, at least it can be changed through hard work. As long as it can be changed, there is hope. I believe that through my efforts, the world will change little by little. Get better. World peace enthusiasts like Hubin are not very satisfied with this place. But after experiencing the rules day to day, they have some feelings and hopes for everything here. Tang Emo nodded. It doesn't matter if teacher who stays here, this place is always thousands of times better than the garbage dump in the apocalypse. What about you? Xiaofei? With teacher who's staying here. Tang Emo no longer worries about Xiao Emo. Xiao Emo is a girl and her attributes are not high. The apocalyptic environment is not the best choice for her. But that child is smarter. With her wisdom and teacher who's care. She will definitely live a good life here. And Xiaofei. Ponyo died in this world. And she was not sure whether Xiaofei still wanted to stay in this sad place. If Xiao Fei wanted to leave, she could take her back to his base and hand her over to Lin Yu. Tang Emo, a child who valued love and righteousness, would somewhat appreciate this. Xiao Fei didn't raise his head or speak for a long time. Tang Emo and Hubin didn't worry. They just stayed by his side. They are all people who have experienced what it is like to lose a loved one. And they can naturally understand Xiao Fei's mood at this moment. Just as the three of them were silent, a puppy came running happily with short legs from a distance. The closer he ran, the more happily the puppy's tail waggled, as if he recognized the three people in front of him. And he plunged into Xiao Fei's arms without noticing anything. Only when the puppy got closer did Tang Emo see clearly. Isn't this a golden retriever cub? Ponyo is an adult golden retriever. Could it be? Feeling a small furry ball rubbing against him, Xiao Fei was forced to raise his head. And what he saw was a golden ball. Ponyo? Xiao Fei couldn't believe his eyes and rubbed his eyes again. Ponyo? Xiao Fei cried out in shock. Ponyo is a dog that I have adopted since birth. I know very well what it looked like when it was a child. It is exactly the same as the little golden retriever in front of me. Could it be that Ponyo was reborn? Hearing the word Ponyo, the little golden retriever's tail wagged even more. As if in response, boom, Xiao Fei gestured with a gun with one hand and fired at the puppy. The puppy heard the sound, fell to the ground, rolled around on the ground and then looked sideways at Xiao Fei. It's Ponyo! 
That's right. Ponyo is back. At that moment, Xiao Fei burst into tears and hugged the little golden retriever tightly in front of him. The little golden retriever was also very excited, sticking out his tongue and licking Xiao Fei's face. Tang Emo and Hu Bin looked at each other. No one knew why such a magical thing happened in the world. But no matter how miraculous things are, they have seen it. So what else can surprise them? This may be the best ending. If Ponyo hadn't died, she would have been a teenager this year and wouldn't have lived long. But now that Ponyo has turned into a puppy again, she can stay with Xiufei for more than 10 years, giving the child great warmth and strength. In the end, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he stepped into the door, alone. Xiaofei said that there are not only Ponyo in this world, but also countless small animals transformed by Ponyo. And he cannot leave here. He wants to live well here with Ponyo and them. Actually, I know that when you first came here, you all thought this place was a fantasy. But people here live happily. So what's the difference between it being real and fake? Why do you think that the apocalyptic world is real? What about the world? Perhaps from the moment the heaven and earth suddenly changed. The real world ceased to exist. Before leaving at the end of Tang Dynasty, Xiao Fei said this to her. Tang Mo didn't think too much. She felt that people can only live for a few decades. It didn't matter whether it was true or not. As long as she could live, and live as high a quality as possible. That was enough. There are philosophers only in a desperate world. But not in a cruel world. In a cruel world, there are only people who want to live. When I returned to the cave at the end of Tang Dynasty, there was no one in the cave. Thinking back, Zhang Chao and Qin Fen had already concluded that this place really had no treasures. So they went back early not wanting to waste any more time. After all, they have been out for a long enough time. No baby? A smile appeared on Tang Mo's lips. In this trip to the garbage dump, the most rewarding thing was the end of Tang Dynasty. A tunnel full of high-grade crystals was piled in her space. And it was also fused with the life force beads that had never been able to be fused. She also absorbed the colorful life force in that world. And her healing skills improved by leaps and bounds. Also, this battle was a true all-out battle in the late Tang Dynasty. During the battle, she absorbed countless exotic treasures and crystals, which increased her attribute values almost unimaginably. Of, in other words, when the rankings are updated tonight, Tang Mo's attribute values will definitely shock people all over the world. Counting now, I have fused two beads, and there are still three left. Tang Mo thought about the remaining three beads and was extremely satisfied with this trip to the apocalyptic garbage dump. Chapter 302 Harvest from Qinling Mountains Tang Emo really hasn't decided where to go next. But the only thing that is certain is that it is absolutely impossible for her to return to a space. The beads of spiritual power and the beads of vitality have been fused. And now there are three beads waiting for her. Where should you go next? In this battle, Tang Emo had fully realized that she was lacking in strength. So the pearl of power was crucial to her. But agility is also very important in a fierce battle. Which puts Tang Emo into a dilemma. The Pearl of Space is not so urgent for her now. Because she already has space. Not only a supermarket but also a farm and two warehouses. Even if it is expanded. It seems that the utilization rate for her is not high. So high. But let's leave this issue to think about tomorrow. Her top priority now is to get a good sleep. After staying in that secret space for so long. Tang Emo didn't sleep well at all. Instead, now that she was back in the crisis-ridden apocalypse, Tang Emo felt a lot more at ease. As if this was her home court. She was not in a hurry to get out of the cave. Now everyone who should leave has left. And the door in the secret realm has been closed. This is the safest place. Tang Emo simply took out his sleeping bag. Used wooden boards to lay a layer on the ground and then spread the sleeping bag. He sat on it and took Jingjing to eat and drink. And then began to get in and sleep. Of course. Even in a relatively safe place, Tang Emo still used his mental power to set up sensing points a hundred meters outside. She can wake up immediately if there is any disturbance. Jingjing also got into the sleeping bag. And Tang Emo hugged Jingjing and fell asleep softly and peacefully. The real time and the time in the secret realm do not completely overlap. But there is a certain gap. So it is already late at night in the secret realm. But in real life, it is about three o'clock in the afternoon. Although all parts of Tang Mo's body have been healed. After an overexhausting battle, her body and mental strength still needed sleep for a more complete rest and recovery. The bloodstained clothes on his body had been changed. And he also took a bath for himself in the deserted cave. It can be said that Tang Emo slept extremely peacefully, 
and he slept straight into the next day. Morning. On the other side, Qin Ling was leading his people to finally get the agility attribute pearl after a day of fighting. At the last moment of the battle, Qin Ling finally led everyone to kill the giant beast in the forest. And he also collapsed on the ground. On the ground. Excessive consumption had brought Qin Ling's body to a limit. But he still held on to himself not to fall. As soon as he held it in his hand, the pearl of agility disappeared from Qin Ling's hand and appeared in his sea of consciousness. Qin Ling, whose body was almost empty, fainted quickly after swallowing the pearl of agility, shocking the brothers around him. If Tang Emo were here, she would definitely have mixed feelings in her heart. It took a long time for her to devour and fuse both the life force pearl and the spiritual power pearl. It's really enviable for someone like Qin Ling to complete the integration so quickly. But this was also a coincidence. Who made Qin Ling swallow the beads and trigger the fusion just when his body needed it most? Sometimes this person's luck is really something that can't be explained. Fortunately, Qin Ling, who fainted, was surrounded by a group of brothers. He was directly carried onto the helicopter and returned to their secret base in S base. When he woke up again, a circle of big men had gathered around the bed, each of them looking at him helplessly, pitifully. Qin Ling couldn't help but feel angry and funny, temporarily suppressing the ecstasy in his heart. He laughed and scolded them and asked them to disperse. The period when Qin Ling fainted was like the first time he fused the pearl of spiritual power in the late Tang Dynasty. Although the person lost his ability to move, his consciousness was awake. He can clearly realize what kind of changes are taking place in his body and what kind of state his body has reached after continuous strengthening. Sure enough, this pearl of agility has greatly improved himself. Qin Ling was originally a user of agility attributes, and he has already brought his agility attributes to an extreme state in terms of application in actual combat. And now a large amount of agility power is pouring into his body, making him feel that he will not only improve by a few levels in the future battle. This is a completely crushing improvement. And although this attribute value is divided into five attributes, it is not just these five attributes that are improved. Each bead will strengthen the human body, allowing the human body machine to reach a more perfect state. In this way, the power of attributes in the body can be better exerted. The person who obtains this attribute bead is the chosen one. And Qin Ling cannot even imagine how powerful the person will be after collecting five beads. However, after the huge joy calmed down, Qin Ling felt a little uncomfortable in his heart. Because the huge increase in his attribute values has made him understand the reason why Tang Emo jumped from the bottom of the rankings to the first place last time. She must have fused a bead. Regarding the progress in the late Tang Dynasty, Qin Ling was happier than anyone else. He knew very well that Tang Emo would definitely grow into the best person. So he was not dissatisfied at all that she had surpassed him, but was proud of him as a family member. Look, such an outstanding person is your own treasure. But what made him feel a little uncomfortable was that his treasure was fused with beads, but he didn't tell him. You must know that the first moment he woke up after the fusion was completed, he wanted to tell his MO, MO the good news. Moreover, whether it is to obtain beads or fuse beads, he has already experienced it once and knows very well that it is a too dangerous process and experience. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, a person still didn't know what kind of danger he encountered before he merged into that bead. But he didn't know all this. He didn't appear by her side when Tang Dynasty was in danger. And he didn't protect her. She had to face everything alone. He is so useless. With such frustration, Qin Ling looked at his ID watch again. Her baby still didn't reply to her message. They haven't contacted each other for almost a week. Qin Ling didn't reply to Tang Mo's messages. And Tang Mo didn't answer the video calls he made. Thinking about these Qin Ling mountains, I feel even more aggrieved. Mo Mo must have felt that she was useless. So she didn't tell her anything. Now that I have integrated the Pearl of Agility, I can better protect Momo in the future. Thinking of this, Qin Ling couldn't help but feel a little happy again. Chapter 303 Mentality Change It was already past 11 o'clock in the evening when Qin Ling woke up. He knew how much his attribute values had increased this time. It was basically the same as the increase in attribute values when Tang Dynasty jumped to first place last time. In addition, his original attribute values are much higher than those in the late Tang Dynasty. After integrating the Pearl of Agility this time, he should be able to return to the top of the rankings. He was already prepared to say what he would say when he called MOMO Qin Ling was looking forward to 12 o'clock, when the attribute values of the rankings would be updated again. Second brother. Do you think the boss is really okay? After a group of men were kicked out of the room by Qin Ling. They were worried and didn't want to leave. 
They gathered in front of Qin Ling's door one by one, through the small piece of glass on the door. They watched the boss in the room sitting on the bed after waking up. Sometimes I am happy and sometimes depressed. As if I am schizophrenic. Isn't the boss suffering from mental problems? Su Lao San looked worried. But his second brother dunked him on the head. There's something wrong with your head. Even if you're stupid, there won't be any problem. Although the second brother didn't know what the situation was with the boss. The only thing he could be sure of was that it was related to that bead. The boss said that it was the pearl of agility. He was happy that he could understand it. The confusion and depression on the boss's face were that of Lian Yixiong, the second child in the team, known as Zhuge Liang. Couldn't understand either. That's right. No one can understand the psychological dynamics of people in love. How could this group of grown men imagine that all the boss's anomalies are caused by worries about gains and losses in love? Twelve o'clock finally arrived as promised. Now that the ID watch is completely out of human control, there is no need to doubt the accuracy of the data inside. But when Qin Ling opened the ranking list in his ID watch, he discovered that his ranking had not changed at all. And he was still ranked second in the ranking list. The person ahead of him who firmly occupied the first place was Tang Mo. How so? I clearly feel the huge increase in the attributes in my body. So there is no reason why the attribute value should not increase. Qin Ling looked back and saw that his data had indeed increased by 10,000 points from the previous day. What's going on? Is this ranking wrong? Qin Ling once again focused on the attribute values in the late Tang Dynasty. Could it be that I saw it wrong? Kindness? Why did Mo Mo's attribute value also increase by 10,000 points? Could it be? Thinking with your toes. Qin Ling now understands what everything is going on. On the same day that he fused a bead of agility, Mo Mo also fused a bead. In other words, Mo Mo has now fused two beads. Her attribute value is more than 6,000 points higher than the second on the ranking list and almost 20,000 points higher than everyone after him. 20,000 points. What a terrible gap in strength. It is a gap that cannot be bridged by any methods, skills, or even talent. Qin Ling swallowed all the words he was ready to say, sat on the bed, and fell silent again. Silence is Cambridge tonight. But Tang Mo over there didn't know that so many things had happened at night. When she woke up again, it was already 9 o'clock in the morning the next day. Tang Mo slept very soundly. After getting up, he stretched out and packed his things. He even washed up and had breakfast. After everything was ready, I turned on the ID watch. Tang Emo actually didn't have the habit of looking at the rankings every day. But after all, she integrated a life force pearl yesterday. And the huge changes in her body still wanted her to take a look at her attribute values. The first thing Tang Emo clicked on was his attribute value information. ID, late Tang Dynasty. HP, 11,578. Strength. 648. Agility. 799. Mental power. 11356. Space. 0. Comprehensive strength. 24381. Looking at his attribute values, Tang Mo felt very satisfied. The sense of security that this pearl of vitality brings to oneself is inestimable. It is equivalent to directly adding two health bars to oneself. How can it make people feel uneasy? She opened the ranking list again after a long absence. The first place is still myself with the golden icon on the back. And the second place is still Qin Ling. People after that will often change. So people like the late Tang Dynasty, who haven't looked at the rankings for a long time will definitely not be able to remember them. But, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he took a closer look at Qin Ling's attribute values. The last time she looked at Qin Ling's attribute value, she remembered that Qin Ling's attribute value was more than 7,000 points. But now it suddenly became 18,000. This kind of growth seemed familiar in the late Tang Dynasty. She knew that Qin Ling was not the kind of person who endlessly absorbed exotic treasures and crystals. So the only possibility for such growth was that Qin Ling also found a bead and successfully fused it. Qin Ling also found a bead. Then I won't be able to collect five beads. This was the first thought that arose in the late Tang Dynasty. But she soon shook her head. How could she think so? Qin Ling is her boyfriend. The most important person in the world besides her mother. I should be happy for him that his strength has increased like this. How can he have such selfish thoughts? At that moment, Tang Mo felt very guilty for his subconscious thoughts. Perhaps, it was because I had been too smooth sailing that my mentality became a bit arrogant. Tang Mo sat there in silence. At this moment, her mood was very complicated. She was feeling disappointed, but also happy for Qin Ling. And more importantly, she was reflecting on herself. 
My life has been so smooth since I was reborn in the apocalypse. And I have encountered almost no setbacks. So ever since the ID watch sent that email saying that the five attribute pearls in the world and those who gathered them together could save the world. She never thought that that person was not herself. But why should it be myself? Why did he collect all five beads? Tangimo understood very clearly that in fact he was not a very talented person. Apart from a little talent in mental power. He also took advantage of the information advantage after being reborn. And he had the advantage of being able to be self-sufficient in materials in a small space. In fact, he is just an ordinary person. You must know that in the last life, you were an ordinary person in this world. And Qingling was the one who got the male lead script. He was excellent both in terms of talent and family background. Why was she so arrogant in the late Tang dynasty that as long as there were five beads in the world, all of them would belong to her? Even if there is no Qingling mountains, there are still too many people in this world. There are mountains outside the mountains. And there are people outside the people. Maybe it's time for her to adjust her mentality. She is not the only heroine in this world. If she doesn't work hard, she will soon be eliminated and abandoned by the world. Chapter 304 Sharing Secrets While Tang Emo was still thinking about these things, the ID watch on her wrist rang. Tang Emo lowered his head and saw that it was a video communication from Qin Ling. She hesitated for three seconds before she adjusted her mood and answered the phone. The five-dimensional technology made their faces appear in front of each other. But the two of them maintained the same silence. And neither one spoke. Tang Emo could probably guess what Qin Ling wanted to say when he called. And Qin Ling also understood the reason behind Tang Mo's silence at this time. I fused the agility attribute beads yesterday. So the attribute value increased by 10,000 points. It was Qin Ling who broke the silence first. He didn't ask Tang Emo about the things that Tang Emo didn't want to talk about. Instead, he told everything about himself. He wanted Emo Emo to know everything about himself. Qin Ling knew about the family situation in the late Tang Dynasty. And he could probably understand the reason for the wariness in the late Tang Dynasty. He didn't have to think about how a young mother had lived with a little baby for so many years. Emo Emo had suffered too much over the years. And Qin Ling was not dissatisfied at all that Tang Emo had hidden so many secrets from him. Instead, he was filled with heartache. Congratulations! You're not hurt! Are you? Tang Mo's congratulations were sincere. If someone else would definitely get the other beads. She would certainly prefer Qin Ling to get them. No one in the world knows how much danger it takes to get a bead than Tang Emo. At this time, she was really worried about Qin Ling. She kept looking up and down on Qin Ling's face and anywhere exposed. Looking for anything strange. Seeing the unabashed concern in Tang Mo's eyes. Qin Ling laughed. The last bit of awkwardness in my heart disappeared. Tell me about your business. The awkwardness in his heart was gone. And Qin Ling was able to ask questions naturally. He was curious about Emo Mo's situation. He wanted to know everything about her every move. Beads with vitality attributes and beads with spiritual power attributes. Two beads. 20,000 points. Are you not injured? Qin Ling asked immediately. The expression on his face was exactly the same as that in the late Tang Dynasty. No. Tang Emo said with a smile. I'm fine too. Qin Ling looked at Tang Mo's smiling face. Smiling like a child weighing 150 pounds. It's over. It's over. The boss has really lost his mind and lost his mind. The third child who was passing by the medical room originally wanted to see how the boss was doing. But when he stood outside, he saw the boss grinning like a fool from the village when he was a child. The virtual portrait created by the video call cannot be seen by anyone except the owner of the ID watch. It is no wonder that Su Lao San misunderstood Qin Ling again. It's a pity that the majestic image of Qin Ling Mountains for such a long time completely collapsed in Su Lao San's heart in just these two days. After these words were spoken, the distance between the late Tang Dynasty and the Qin Ling Mountains seemed to become closer. The two took this opportunity to have a good chat about their recent lives. They chatted to each other for a while, as if their fatigue was suddenly dispelled, and what was left in their hearts was full of sweetness and the sourness of longing. While chatting, we talked about each other's views on the development of the current apocalyptic era. Although it seems that the apocalyptic situation has been temporarily suppressed, human beings have relied on their own efforts to find a temporary shelter in the cruel era. The way. But the end of the world is the age of H. L. Even people like Tang Dynasty, who have relived their lives cannot imagine the age of H. L. and what kind of purgatory it will be on earth. But if soldiers come to block it, and water comes to cover it, there will always be a way. Besides, she still has some capital that can allow her to gain a foothold. 
as well as people she loves and people who love her. With these, she was already satisfied. It was enough. And the rest was all up to her. She has to work harder. The conversation they had with Qin Ling afterwards was less like lovers and more like confidants whose souls fit together, telling each other their views on the future development and countermeasures of the world. Both Qin Ling and the late Tang Dynasty agreed that the coming of the Age of H, I was not far away. Now people at the Institute have discovered many phenomena that are even more contrary to the laws of nature. And changes may be coming soon. This world is like a liar. A very cunning one. It only gives humans hope and tells them that there are things in the world that can help them. But it does not leave enough time for humans to obtain those things. If they haven't found all the beads when the age of H, L comes, then human beings will be in an even more passive situation. They can't just sit back and wait for death. The only beads left in the world today are beads with power attributes and beads with space attributes. Although Qin Ling is an agility user, he is not weak at all in terms of strength. But Tang Emo was different. Tang Emo was a person with long-range attack abilities. And women were naturally weak in strength. So Tang Emo had to get this power attribute bead. And Tang Emo also understood that Qin Ling could not sit idle and do nothing. And he must look for the remaining beads. The good news should not flow to outsiders. In order to be more efficient and avoid repeating things, Tang Emo made a decision. I have a map of the remaining two beads. I'll give you the spatial one. Let's split up. Tang Mo's consideration was not entirely for herself. There was not much time left. She took a look at the speed of changes in the world recently. Even if she had a map and clues, it would be difficult for her to have enough time to get the remaining two stars. Got all the beads. But for Qin Ling, who didn't have any clues and could only rely on time and luck to find beads, it was even more difficult to find beads and fuse beads. It is the best way to separate the two beads on the two maps and let each of them get one. Moreover, I already have the space treasure. And the space is enough for my own use. If you are destined to be unable to collect all five beads now, then you might as well give up the space attribute beads for the time being, which is not very cost-effective for you. Moreover, the spatial attribute beads are not very useful to her, but they are of great use to Qin Ling. First of all, beads of any attribute will strengthen the host's body, which is a qualitative improvement. And Qin Ling, as the leader of the alliance, has a team under him. The wealth and treasures he possesses are unimaginable by others. And with the advent of the age of H, L, no one knows whether humans will have a stable place. So for Qin Ling, space attributes are more valuable than any number of space treasures. Chapter 305 The Age of Hell I will give you two addresses now. As Tang Emo spoke, he took out the addresses of the beads of power and the beads of space attributes in the space. But when the address was taken out, Tang Emo was stunned when he saw the words he had written on it. Tang Emo remembered that address. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he met those kind bears there, saved Lin Yu, and got the Pearl of Power. The Pearl of Power. Tang Emo was stunned, turning to look at her own sea of consciousness. The golden color in her sea of consciousness has become even richer since she absorbed so much power of seven colors in the secret realm. So rich that it even made the Pearl of Power that she had already obtained they all became looming. Yes, the Pearl of Life Force is obtained in the deep sea, and the Pearl of Power is obtained in the grassland. At the end of Tang Dynasty, because she had just fused the Pearl of Life Force, she simply forgot that she still had a Pearl of Power. It was embarrassing now. Then, there is only one space pearl left in this world. M.O. M.O. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Qin Ling was very shocked when he heard from the late Tang Dynasty that there was an address of the attribute Pearl. But soon, he saw something was wrong with Tang Emo over there and asked hurriedly, Ai. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she was at a loss for words and she didn't know how to answer Qin Ling. She has now fused two beads and there is still one to be fused in the sea of consciousness. Now there is only one bead of space attribute left outside. It is difficult to say that Tang Emo was completely a bystander and gave it away. Tang Mo's dilemma didn't last long because before Tang Emo could think of an excuse, the sudden change between heaven and earth gave her the answer. Before Qin Ling could wait for Tang Emo to answer, they found that the video signal was suddenly cut off. Hello? Momo? Qin Ling was anxious and immediately wanted to call back, but found that the entire ID watch seemed to be turned off and could no longer be turned on. The entire screen was black. ID watches are manufactured for the end of the world. The energy used is solar energy. As long as there is a little light, it can last for a long time. Even if there is no light for a long time, the built-in battery 
and the watch can still maintain it. How could a black screen and shutdown occur after a year or two? Boss, someone from the Institute just arrived. They said, just when Qin Ling was still competing with the ID watch. The second child came over with a heavy and serious expression on his face. The second child is a very stable person. And generally his emotions don't show on his face so easily. Qin Ling glanced over and knew that things must not be that simple. What did the people at the Institute say? They say that the age of H, L has officially arrived from today. At the end of Tang Dynasty, when the figures in Qin Ling suddenly disappeared, they felt relieved. Tang Mo didn't react much to the black screen of the ID watch. After all, she was still in the cave. The ID watch was also very unsatisfactory when she was in the secret realm. So she was basically used to it. Not long after he relaxed, Tang Mo discovered that the ground beneath his feet seemed to be shaking. And the shaking was getting worse with no sign of stopping. When he obtained the pearl of spiritual power underground in Sand Town before, Tang Mo felt firsthand how terrible it would be to encounter an earthquake while underground. So the first moment she felt the shaking, she immediately rushed towards the tunnel entrance, basically flying and crawling out of the tunnel entrance. The speed was so fast that it was staggering. When Tang Emo rushed out of the tunnel and stood on the ground again, she looked around and finally understood that the matter was not as simple as an earthquake. There are many huge cracks in the middle of this apocalyptic garbage dump, like crustal movements that have redivided the Goodland plates into several pieces. As the cracks continue to expand, the garbage that had been accumulated on them also slipped in along the cracks. Soon, a crack opened at Tang Mo's feet. Tang Mo didn't panic. He controlled his mental power and turned into a cloud. He stepped on the cloud and rose into the air. If those people who were frightened by the cracks and had nowhere to escape now saw Tang Mo leisurely rising into the air, they would probably go crazy with jealousy. The higher you are, the clearer you can overlook the scene below. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, I saw cracks everywhere like centipedes, carving out terrifying patterns on the good land. The apocalyptic garbage dump was basically deserted after who'd been led people into the secret realm. There were only a few strange beasts, and only countless garbage was passively dumped into the huge gap. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she stepped on the clouds and floated all the way in the sky, in order to not attract attention. She flew very high, but she could still clearly see the scenery below. Calling it a view wouldn't be accurate, as it wasn't anything beautiful but rather like a disaster movie playing out. Faced with this sudden change, people screamed and ran away, trying to find a safer place for themselves. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he watched countless people fall straight into the crack because they were too slow to keep up with the speed of the crack's expansion and were never seen again. The survivors have no time to pay attention to this because the next person to fall into the abyss and die may be the distracted themselves. But in this world now, where is there a safe place? Humanity has long lost its home. Where can it escape now? The walls of the base were split due to the movement of land plates. And the people inside began to flee in all directions. The original temporary comfort zone of human beings was ruthlessly torn down by nature. And the people who had finally found a way to survive were reintroduced. Fall into the cruelest world. No wonder it's the age of H, L. It's so cruel. But this time, humans are obviously much more skilled than the first time they faced the apocalypse even though they were screaming and scared. It did not affect their escape speed at all. Such subconscious proficiency in the face of survival is simply heartbreaking. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he felt indifferent when he looked at the scene below. No matter how strong the fortifications were repaired, they could not stop the destruction of nature. Small bases are like this. Even S base cannot escape the fate of being destroyed. This great change is still going on. And it is possible that after today, there will no longer be the concept of a base. You must know that many bases were repaired long in advance by the country before the end of the world. Now that everything has been destroyed, it may no longer be possible to muster the manpower and material resources to spend a year and a half doing something like that in a cruel natural environment. Humanity's last chance to escape this world has been taken away. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he was suddenly a little grateful for the choice who been and the others made at that time. They found a paradise for themselves before the age of H, L came. What a lucky thing it was. Chapter 306 It's Freezing Cold At the end of Tang Dynasty, he used his mental power to check the crack. It was bottomless. Whether it was a human or a beast, there would be no chance of survival if it fell. The only thing she wants to do now is go home and see her mother and brother. In the current situation, even as base is not a safe place, and everyone is unable to protect themselves, 
she is not worried about Qin Ling and can still take care of herself. But she must return to her mother and brother. When a change like this happens, people are often most at a loss at the beginning and are also the most dangerous. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he controlled the clouds to fly very fast in the sky. Even now, there is no ID watch. So it is difficult to control this direction. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he could only try his best to distinguish some of the remaining iconic landmarks to determine the direction and move closer to the location of the S base as quickly as possible. The higher you go, the more obvious you become aware of certain changes, especially the temperature. At the end of Tang Dynasty, I was sitting on the clouds and felt chilly on my body. Could it be because of the low temperature in the high altitude air? But it didn't seem so cold just now. Tang Emo originally thought that there was a mistake in her perception. But as time went by, the coldness became more obvious. And she gradually felt that she could hardly bear it. It was obvious that she only wore a single piece of clothing before. But slowly she realized that it wasn't her fault. The weather was really getting colder. Tang Emo, who couldn't hold it anymore, took out a thick coat from the space for herself to wear. On. Tang Emo put on a warm coat and felt more comfortable floating in the high altitude. He stretched out his hand to feel the cool air. A few drops of water fell on Tang Mo's palm. Before she could shake the water droplets away, she felt more comfortable. It turned into frost on the palm of my hand. The cold weather was really inexplicable. And Tang Emo was sure it had nothing to do with her flying high in the sky. Tang Emo looked up at the sky again. Was she too tired? Her eyesight was bad. Why was the sky getting darker? The cracks on the ground are still expanding. And some cracks are so wide that the entire building above them has collapsed. Many small bases simply disappeared into the cracks. No, this is just the beginning. And more terrifying things will definitely happen later. Tang Emo couldn't help but speed up. This H. L era was far more terrifying than she and Qin Ling had expected. They originally thought that the Hell Age might be a time when the strength of the alien beasts would be greatly enhanced. Or some more terrifying monsters would appear. If this is the case, if humans work together to strengthen defense and improve their strength, they will still be able to fight. But now it is obvious that their thinking is too simple. At least for now. The Hell Age has made the world's environment even worse. If the temperature is getting colder, then all the progress the Institute has made in planting will be invalidated. Whether growing on existing soil or without soil, cold weather and freezing temperatures are not a conducive environment for plants to grow well. Nowadays, the source of food for most ordinary people is to hunt and eat the meat of exotic animals. But, at the end of Tang Dynasty, he was very worried because the temperature continued to drop and strange animals would hide and not come out. Attacked by both cold and hunger, the situation faced by mankind will only become more and more difficult. This time of H, L is indeed more deadly than the first apocalypse. Tang Emo was worried, and the speed became faster and faster. Fortunately, the distance to the S base was getting closer, and she was more familiar with the road. It wasn't until he flew over base S that Tang Emo discovered that compared to the small base. Base S, which covered a larger area, might be the place to worry about more. Because base S was prepared early and well managed. It is almost the same as the city before the apocalypse. Most people are on the right track. Even if they don't go out to hunt exotic beasts and take the risk of life and death, they sell things or repair in the base. Going down the fence and doing other work can always keep oneself from starving. But now the sudden movement of the tectonic plates suddenly caused the entire wall of the originally impregnable S base to crack. And the base instantly fell apart and was divided into several different plates. The places that countless people had put their efforts and hopes and fell into the cracks. Those houses collapsed one by one. The familiar mission centers in the late Tang Dynasty. The Colosseum. The Auction House. And the Exchange. The construction of those places requires too much people's time and energy and countless of the most precious treasures for the end of the world. But the disappearance happened in an instant. Almost in an instant. Those places were destroyed in front of everyone's eyes. Everyone knows that you should not stay in a house when an earthquake strikes. The vast flat land is the safest place. But the area in the base is small to begin with. And where will the flat land come from if the buildings are densely packed? So everyone could only run out of the base in a swarm. They didn't care about the strange beasts now. Surviving first was the most important thing. Tang Emo quickly found the Wen family's villa. The Wen family's villa had a large basement. But the cracks were still continuing. And she was not sure whether her mother and the others would still stay in the basement. The Wen family's villa is still in good condition. Fortunately, the huge crack did not affect the villa. 
there was a large open space in front of the villa. When Tang Mo landed in a relatively secluded place and came near the villa, he saw Uncle Wen and his mother standing in the center of the open space. The other servants had fled in all directions, and only a few of Wen Jianchu's close confidants were still guarding Wen Jianchu with weapons. The group of people came out of the house in a hurry without bringing anything with them. They did not dare to enter the house again while the earthquake was still going on. The temperature has dropped to a terrible level, even colder than the coldest days of winter. Lenny was shivering while holding the sheep, while Wen Jianchu put his coat on his wife and children, and hugged Lin Yi and the children, trying to make them feel warmer. Several close friends gathered around the three of them and tried their best to block the cold air, but everyone was still shivering from the cold. Mom, I want to go back to the room and get under the quilt. Mom, it's so cold. The little sheep couldn't bear the cold. His face turned purple from the cold, and he started crying. Everyone was wearing single clothes. Even the few cronies who ran out wearing vests could only grit their teeth and hold on. Mom! Uncle Wan! Tang Mo saw these people shivering from the cold when he was still far away, and hurriedly ran over. Sister! Give me a hug! It's cold! The little Yang Yang saw her sister and hurriedly stretched out her hand for Tang Mo to hug her. In Yang Yang's heart, her sister was omnipotent. Chapter 307 Like a God Tang Mo immediately reached out and hugged Yang Yang into his arms. Even though the little person was wearing an adult's coat, he was still cold. Even adults can't bear this temperature, let alone children of several years old. If the late Tang Dynasty had come a little later, I'm afraid the sheep would really get cold. Tang Mo immediately used energy that combined mental power and vitality to be transferred into Yang Yang's body to transfer heat to him. Sister, you are so warm. The effect of this heat was naturally immediate, and Yang Yang soon felt his body getting warmer, burying his head in his sister's arms, and never coming out again. Sister, give Yang Yang's coat to mom. Yang Yang is not cold anymore. After she could no longer feel the cold and regain consciousness, Yang Yang was about to give her mother the clothes she was wearing. The little baby, who was less than three years old, was already very sensible. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he felt warm in his heart when he saw that Yang Yang had grown so well during his absence. But in the late Tang Dynasty, there was no need to wear Yang Yang's coat. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he took out several large down jackets from the space and gave them to Lin Yi and Wen Jianchu. Even the close associates, who accompanied Wen Jianchu also gave one to each of them. When the disaster comes, they all fly away. Although the Wen family, the Li family, and the Qin Ling family are both leaders of the base. Their situations are completely different. Qi Ling's team confidants are all brothers who have been with him through life and death. The most important thing is that in the end of the world, Qi Ling's strength has won everyone. Respect and recognition. So such a team is more united and can withstand hardships. Although people like Wen Jianchu and Li Xian have deep foundations, they ultimately only have wealth and political power. In the past two years, many capable and righteous people have been cultivated. But after all, this is the end of the world and people are selfish. Temporary interests can temporarily tie someone down, but they cannot completely conquer anyone. Especially now, natural disasters have struck and the base has been torn apart. Anyone with eyes can see that even if this base is completely destroyed today, it is still unclear how to proceed in the future. Under such conditions, those wealth and high political positions suddenly became worthless, even worth less than a cotton coat. Without asylum, both leaders and civilians are suddenly on an equal footing. No one will give you anything in the face of survival because of your great power. The fact that these close confidants of Wen Jianchu can still protect Wen Jianchu at this time is so heartfelt that it is touching. Several people put on down jackets and immediately felt a lot warmer. But even down jackets could not withstand such a sudden cold. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he used his mental power to create a protective shield around several people, blocking out the cold air. It wasn't until a few people were completely inside the protective shield that they slowly felt that their bodies had recovered. Those Wen Jianchu's cronies were extremely glad that they were still standing by Wen Jianchu's side and did not run away to find a way out like the others. And at the same time, he became more determined to follow Wen Jianchu well. They all knew that the girl in front of them was Wen Jianchu's stepdaughter, the number one woman in China's rankings. With her here, no matter how big the disaster is, I will feel confident. Such a few square meters of mental power protection shield is completely a drop in the bucket for the current Tang Dynasty. And she can barely feel the consumption of mental power. But the only bad thing is that her spiritual power is golden. Especially after fused with the Pearl of Life Force. The golden color is particularly obvious. 
at this time. The golden protective shield was particularly dazzling among the panicked and trembling crowd. At this time, the cracks on the ground had basically formed and stopped expanding. But the earthquake continued, and houses continued to collapse. No matter how cold it was, no one would dare to go into that crumbling house to take shelter from the cold, because they might be buried underneath at some point. The current situation is different from that in peaceful times. If you are buried, no matter whether you live or die, there will be one less mouth to eat in the world. But no one will save you. But the weather was getting colder and colder. The temperature at this time had reached over 40 degrees below zero. And everyone came out in a hurry wearing only single clothes. If not for the fact that everyone's bodies had been strengthened to varying degrees in the last days. Like the current temperature, a large number of people would have froze to death long ago if they stayed outside in single clothes for so long. The cold weather made everyone keep getting closer to the protective cover of Tang Mo's family. When they got closer, everyone was surprised to find that the protective cover radiated heat. Even outside, as long as they were close enough, they could get some energy. After discovering this, almost everyone nearby rushed over and stuck to Tang Mo's protective shield. Tang Mo was really helpless. At this time, they in the protective cover seemed like gorillas in a cage being watched. You must know that it is a very scary scene to have countless eyes staring at you. And you will have nightmares this night. In order to prevent those people from getting too close to him, Tang Mo could only expand the protective shield to an area of more than 10 square meters, forcing those people to squeeze out a large distance. In fact, the protective shields in the late Tang dynasty were mainly used to prevent cold. They only used a small amount of mental power and basically had no defensive capabilities. Anyone with a slightly higher attribute value can do it if they want to force their way in. However, that was the late Tang dynasty. That is the woman who has always occupied the first place in the Chinese rankings. She is a woman whose attribute value is more than 20,000 points higher than theirs. During the last alien beast siege, even people who were not present at the scene had heard about the heroic deeds in the late Tang dynasty. How could they dare to act wantonly at this moment? After the protective shield expanded to an area of more than 10 square meters, more people came around, and some even climbed to the top of the protective shield to feel the faint temperature with their entire bodies. Everyone didn't have any objections to Tang Mo if he was next to him. But it was too scary if he had it lying on top of his head. Helpless, Tang Mo could only use his mental power to drive away the people on top. After a few times, no one climbed up anymore. Tang Mo, please let us in too. Yes, it's such a big place inside. Let us go in too. It's really unbearably cold outside. I beg you. Tang Mo, please dot save our lives. I don't know when. Snowflakes started to fall in the sky. The cold weather made everyone unable to hold on any longer and began to pray loudly for the end of Tang Dynasty. No one dared to break through because everyone saw how those who tried to climb onto the protective cover were easily shot down by Tang Mo. They didn't even see Tang Mo take action. And those few people fell down wailing. This woman is so terrible. So terrible that no one can feel jealous or angry. At this moment, they can only pray and pray that she can save him. At this time, people treated the late Tang Dynasty like gods. Chapter 308 The Light of Humanity Tang Mo looked at the pairs of pleading eyes outside the protective shield. The cruelty of the apocalypse had left many marks on their faces and bodies. Whether they are young or old, their faces are full of vicissitudes of life, and they no longer have hope for their existence. At the end of Tang Dynasty, there was no sound for a long time. And when Jianchu and Lin Yi didn't speak either, when Jianchu and Lin Yi are both very clear-minded people, they can see the situation in front of them very clearly. They are not frozen in the envious eyes of others now. All this is because of the end of Tang Dynasty. Therefore, they unconditionally support any decision made in the late Tang Dynasty. And it is even less likely that they will make arbitrary decisions. At the end of Tang Dynasty, when he was silent, a woman outside rushed into the protective circle, put down something in her arms, and immediately stepped back. Then she knelt on the outside of the protective circle and kowtowed to the inside. Kowtowing non-stop. There was a man next to the woman. He was stunned for a moment after seeing the woman's actions. And then immediately knelt down and kowtowed with the woman. The man knocked loudly and hard. And every sound hit everyone's heart. Especially in the silence. At this time, a layer of white snow had accumulated on the ground. And the blood stains on the man's head quickly stained the snow red. But the man still did not stop. Everyone's eyes were focused on what the woman was desperately trying to put into the protective cover. What the woman desperately brought in was a swaddling baby. 
The baby's face was slightly purple from the cold, and his body was still wrapped in men's and women's clothes. The woman outside was still cowdowing her head and not saying a word. She didn't have to say anything. Everyone understood what she meant. That is the determination of a mother who is willing to give everything, even her life, for her child to survive. Soon the people around him followed suit and rushed in one by one, sending the child at his arms into the protective shield. Then he retreated and followed the example of the couple, kneeling on the outside of the protective shield and kowtow. Tang Emo stood there and looked at the people who were sent in. Most of them were babies and children of several years old. Some children could not walk yet and were crying and crawling outside the protective circle, trying to find their mother. Among the people who were sent in were several elderly people in their 70s or 80s. The wrinkles on their faces were already very deep, but their bodies were still very clean. It was obvious that they were well cared for. This is not an easy thing in the last days. There was an old woman whose legs and feet were not flexible. After being brought in by her children, she watched her children count how hard for her outside. She wanted to struggle to get out, but she had no choice but to look at her with tears and silence. Children, this world of cannibalism is really, really difficult for everyone who is still alive. Children and the elderly are not as healthy as strong adults. If they are frozen for a while longer, they will really die. Lin Yi is a mother and a daughter. Seeing such a scene, Lenny couldn't help but burst into tears. She looked away and couldn't bear to watch it anymore. Tang Emo looked at the children and old people, and at the people outside who were constantly kowtowing and fighting for a chance of survival for their children and parents. His eyes were sore and swollen. She believed that when she was reborn, she would no longer be bound by the world, and she would just work hard to live a good life for herself and the people she loved. But what she saw in front of her still made her unable to hold back. She raised her head and let the liquid that was about to burst out of her eyes flow back. In peacetime, there is a term called a community with a shared future for mankind. At that time, people could not really understand the meaning of this word. Everyone lived in peace and harmony, never feeling happy or sad about the fate of others. But until today, when Tang Emo looked at everything in front of her, she seemed to truly understand the meaning of a community of destiny. That's why she, as a person, looked at the children in front of her and felt that they were the last inheritance of mankind in a cruel era, the last bit of fire in a dark world. She looked at those old people. Their wrinkles were filled with stories of history and time. They were the common ancestors of mankind. And that was the path that mankind took in the long history of mankind. She knew clearly that the people outside were using moral kidnapping to get her to save those children and the elderly. However, at this moment, no matter how rational Tang Emo was and how clear his moral ideals were, there was really no way to save those children and the elderly. Throw those children and old people out like this. She is a human being, and she cannot forget the way humans came. Nor can she extinguish the last remaining light in the darkness. Yang Yang is only two years old this year, and he still doesn't understand what those people outside mean. So he wasn't afraid. He just watched it all with his eyes wide open. Suddenly, Yang Yang got out of Tang Mo's arms and ran towards the edge of the protective circle with his short legs. Yang Yang! Come back! It's cold outside! Tang Emo shouted immediately. But Yang Yang didn't seem to hear it and walked on his short legs until he ran to the old lady with weak legs and feet. Yang Yang stopped and squatted down. He held Grandma's hand with one hand and wiped her face randomly with the other hand. Grandma! What's wrong with you? Don't cry! Not only Lin Yi, but also when Jian Chu and the other men in the protective cover couldn't help crying anymore when they saw the scene in front of them. Tang Emo wiped her eyes with her hands, her emotions overwhelming. At this moment, she made a decision. Jingjing has always been in Tang Mo's backpack. It signed a contract with Tang Emo and is the best able to sense any changes in Tang Emo. At this time, it was sniffing back and forth on Tang Mo's body because it found that the energy in Tang Mo's body seemed to have changed in some way. Just where Jingjing couldn't see it, in Tang Mo's sea of consciousness, there was an energy quietly condensing due to the decision Tang Emo had made in his heart, and slowly condensed into a body that had not yet merged with the one that had not yet merged. A bead as big as the Pearl of Power lay quietly in the sea of consciousness in the late Tang Dynasty. Everyone, stop for a moment and listen to what I have to say. Tang Mo's words were spoken with mental strength, and his voice was extremely penetrating. Immediately, everyone stopped and listened carefully to Tang Mo's speech. The era of H, L is coming. As a community, we humans should naturally unite to face natural disasters. Since I, the late Tang Dynasty, can contribute at this moment, 
I will do my part for everyone. It is my duty to do so. At this time, the snow outside had fallen to the depth of people's ankles, submerging the knees of those kneeling. When everyone heard Tang Mo's words, they all raised their heads and opened their eyes wide. They looked at Tang Mo's figure in the protective shield in disbelief. The light of the protective shield reflected Tang Mo's body. It was so warm inside, and the woman standing there was glowing. That was the light of humanity. Everyone has only one thought in their minds at this moment. Chapter 309 Collecting Tickets However, if I contribute, you can't do nothing. There are conditions for entering, except for children under 14 years old and elderly people over 60 years old. All others who want to enter the Protective Shield people must hand over one-third of your property. Whether it's crystals, exotic treasures, or food. Anything of value will do. I don't know how much property you have. And I won't check it. It's all based on my own conscience. But if I find out that anyone is trying to be clever, then I'm sorry. You and your family will no longer be welcome here. Anyone who wants to come in now should consciously line up in three rows. Tang Mo did this after careful consideration. This protective shield was too easy for her. But to those outside, it was life-threatening. She wanted to save this person. But she couldn't save him in vain. She has not forgotten how Wen Qing was treated in the end for her selfless dedication in school. People just have to pay something to appreciate it more. And what they get for free means they have to make every effort. Moreover, even if Tang Dynasty went against his own principles and made a Virgin Mary this time, it couldn't be in vain. The Virgin Mary shining and heat would cause some electricity. In the apocalypse, people are all displaced. Even if they have a place to live in the base, no one will regard that place as their home. Therefore, everyone carries the most valuable things with them forever. If there is room for rare treasures, they can be put into their own space. If not, the backpack on their body is like growing on their bodies. Even when they sleep, they have to put it away. At hand, the Wen family is in the villa area. At this time, except for some people who came from other places, most of the people around are from the villa area. They are either rich or noble, have some wealth, and most of them have space treasures. The fee charged in the late Tang Dynasty was one-third of one's own property, which was a psychological price that most people could accept in order to survive. Those who have money can pay more, and those who have no money can pay less to ensure their survival in the future. Uncle Wen, do you have many spatial treasures? Tang Mo turned to look at Wen Jianchu. Yes, yes, there are many. Wen Jianchu hurriedly took out another ring from his space ring. As the leader of the base and at the top of the wealth list, when Jianxu can't do anything else now, the only thing left for the poor is money and treasures. The space inside his ring is very large, containing almost all of his personal wealth and part of the Wen family's wealth. Space treasures are really not a problem for him. These rings are 100 square meters. Are they enough? Not enough. At this moment, when Jianxu's anxious tone sounded like a nouveau riche, but there was nothing he could do. He was too anxious. Looking at those people outside, he couldn't stay still for a long time. After finally making a decision, why didn't he support it quickly? Enough is enough? Can you three please stand at the edge of the protected circle with the rings and collect the tickets? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he gave each of the three cronies a ring and then commanded them. No trouble. No trouble. The three tough men wrapped in down jackets wiped away the tears from the corners of their eyes, quickly took the rings and walked to the front of the team. After hearing Tang Mo's words, the people outside spontaneously stood in three rows without anyone stopping them, watching eagerly, waiting for others to collect tickets. Due to the cracks, there was not much open space on the ground. So the team circled around several times. But it was very orderly, and no one made any noise. The admission fee is really reasonable, and there is not much required. So even the poorest people can come in, even if you only have three crystal nuclei. You can come in if you hand over one. Pay attention to the tickets. Those who are too bad will not be allowed in. Not even their family members. Tang Mo said this at a higher volume so that everyone could hear it. Those who originally thought of taking chances have given up. It's a life or death situation. So don't be clever. Otherwise your whole family will be killed by you. The earthquake is still going on. And the houses have almost collapsed. Now they have no place to shelter from the cold. If the weather had been like this, most of them would not have been able to make it through this night. So at this time, the protective circle in the late Tang Dynasty was their last place to save lives. After the three guards stood up, those people reached out one by one and handed over their own crystal cores and exotic treasures. 
precious parts of the exotic beasts, as well as food and other valuable things. There were too many people. And even though the three guards were moving very quickly, the progress was still very slow. Not only these people, but more and more people came to ask when they saw the crowd gathering here. Then they became ecstatic, and finally stood at the end of the line and looked forward eagerly. When Jianchu and Lin Yi could not stand for a long time, one of them took a space ring and went to help. The team instantly changed from three rows to five rows, and the progress was much faster. The area of more than 10 square meters was actually not that big, so Tang Emo quickly expanded his protective cover. It's not used for defense, but if it's just used to keep out the cold, it doesn't actually use much mental energy. The cracks had stopped a long time ago. Tang Emo took a quick look and found that although the length and depth of the cracks were scary, the number was actually not too many. She first used her mental power to expand the protective shield to an area of more than 100 square meters, which just covered a smaller crack. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she used wooden boards to build a simple bridge across the crack. She had already planned that the crack would be divided into two areas. The smaller one would be for her family, while the larger area on the other side would be for those who wanted to stay. A person who keeps out the cold. The space is limited, because there are too many people. So we can only sit as close to each other as possible. But it is lucky to have a warm place at this time, let alone sitting. Even if they are allowed to stand on tiptoes, I was also very happy, seeing that the protective aperture grew larger again. The people who were still standing outside suddenly felt their hearts drop, and their respect and admiration for Tang Mo increased a little more. At this time, the screen of the ID watch has been completely black. No one can get any information at all. And they can't contact other people. After the S-Base fell apart, everyone was running around aimlessly like wandering animals. In the end, they all attracted by the crowd or the increasingly wider aperture. I joined the queue. Tang Mo's thoughts were so simple. She didn't expect that everyone was really shocked by her. They were all so sincere and took out the family property without feeling any distress at all. As if it wasn't theirs. When Jianchu, Lin Yi, and the three guards who collected the tickets unknowingly collected all five rings and replaced them with new ones. Those were five rings with a space of 100 cubic meters. Chapter 3 Tin Lin Yu Shout Out In fact, it's not that there weren't people who cheated and cheated. It's just that the late Tang Dynasty didn't see them. At the very beginning, the guard caught an unruly man. The man was well dressed. But he just wanted to throw in two crystal coins. Later, the guard discovered the space ring on his hand and began to cry bitterly. But it's too late now. Even the man's wife and daughter were refused entry. Only then did the man realize the seriousness of the problem. At this time, it was too late to start crying with his wife and children outside the protective shield. Everyone saw the man crying outside with tears streaming down his face. And the alarm sounded in their hearts. With such a lesson learned, they naturally did not dare to fool him again. In addition, at this time, people were almost unconscious due to the cold so there was no need for him to do so. I feel sorry for those things outside my body, and I just want to regain warmth as soon as possible. At the beginning, Tang Emo actually didn't really want to get a third of it. She just wanted to collect the ticket symbolically, and even if there were some sneaky people, she would turn a blind eye. Unexpectedly, a strange combination of circumstances made her. A person who originally wanted to do good things, earn a lot of money. Tang Emo looked at the five space rings already filled in his hands, and couldn't help but laugh or cry. Is she considered a profiteer who is trying to make money for the country? This was not what she meant in the beginning. She was so wronged. The team at the end of Tang Dynasty currently only has two people. Xiao Tao and Lin Yu. And their villa is next to the Qin Ling team. Tang Emo knew Xiao Tao and Lin Yu so well that she was not worried at all. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, the queue outside the protective circle became longer and more winding. And at the end of the Tang Dynasty, he became more and more helpless. The scope of her protective circle is getting wider and wider, and it won't eventually cover the entire space. Although it is not that difficult for the current Tang Dynasty to expand the scope of the protection circle to the entire space. But this was too ostentatious and completely inconsistent with her original intention. Tang Emo did not want to do such a thing. And that is not necessarily a good thing for human beings. It makes everyone enter the comfort zone. Return to the previous life state and relaxed their vigilance about the current apocalypse of H. L. Tang Emo was not their parents. So he could not stay here like a stone all his life. The favor of rice rises. And the hatred of rice rises. If Tang Emo no longer wants to support this protective shield, wouldn't he become a sinner in everyone's heart? 
The late Tang Dynasty thought very clearly about human nature. So the space could accommodate hundreds of people. After using the cracks to divide it into three areas, the late Tang Dynasty stopped expanding the space and maintained it like this. At this time, Lin Yu and Xiao Tao, along with Xian Xian, also saw this very eye-catching golden spiritual light mask. And they all showed understanding expressions after seeing the people at the front of the queue selling tickets. Those were their eldest's parents. So it was obvious who was responsible for all this. Well, it's like their boss's style. Xin Ling and his team originally came out with Lin Yu Xiao Tao and the others. But they split into two groups after coming out. Qin Ling took people back to the Qin family to deal with things. While Lin Yu and Xiao Tao went straight to the Wen family. They knew that the ID watch had lost its signal and Tang Emo should not be able to contact her home. Her mother and brother were still here. So they would naturally rush back as soon as possible. They wanted to meet Tang Emo here. Also, they have to help the boss protect his family before Tang Emo comes back. The lives of Lin Yu, his sister, and Xiao Tao were all saved by Tang Emo. From the bottom of their hearts, they had long regarded themselves as Tang Mo's people, and regarded Tang Emo as their boss in their hearts. What's more, Xiao Tao also lived in the Wen family for a period of time. During that time, Lin Yi treated Xiao Tao as kindly as a goddaughter. Neither Lin Yi nor Wen Jianchu's own attribute values are high. Now that the world is in such chaos, even the Wen family may not necessarily become what they are. Naturally, they have to rush back immediately. However, what they didn't expect was that when Jianchu and Lin Yi had lived a pampered life in the beginning of the apocalypse. Now, as soon as the world changes, they can immediately change their mentality, which is not something ordinary people can do. In fact, for Lin Yi, she had come through hard times. Even if she married into the Wen family, even if she gave birth to a son, even if her daughter became the number one in the Chinese rankings, she never forgot her roots. In her heart, Lin Yi is still the strong woman who endures hardships and can raise her daughter by herself. As for Wen Jianchu, he has never been a person who cares about other people's thoughts. If he were, he would not have resisted the pressure of his family not to get married for so many years. Money, power, status, everything is no longer so important in the face of the end of the world and in the face of life. Before the end of the world, their family businesses spread all over the country and even internationally. When the end of the world just came, they got a little news in advance. Save materials and preserve some strength. At the beginning of the end of the world, they established a new social order and once again got gained a little power. But when the age of H, L comes, when countless cracks that swallow people appear on the earth, when all the remaining civilization relics in the world are destroyed, when the air becomes bone chillingly cold, Snowflakes began to float in the sky. With Wen Jianchu's pattern, he immediately figured out that the world had been reshuffled. Although Wen Jianchu's attribute values are not good, all kinds of supplies and life saving things in the ring are well prepared. So now that the age of H, L is suddenly coming, I have been mentally prepared for it. And naturally, I won't be in a hurry. It's just that he never thought before that in this era of H, L, in addition to earthquakes, there would also be sudden drops in temperature. There was simply no way for people to survive. And they just wanted to force everyone to death. Lin Yu and Xiao Tao didn't want to jump in line. But Lin Yu was still holding Xian Xian in his arms. Xian Xian was too cold to speak. At this moment, she didn't care about anything and went straight past the crowd through the protective barrier. It doesn't matter even if he gets scolded by the boss. The most important thing is to get Xian Xian warmed up quickly. Who are you? You don't want to live anymore? You're cutting in line. Don't you know whose territory this is? Don't you know Tang Emo? Everyone waiting in line outside had been frozen for a long time. And they all waited obediently. At this moment, when they saw someone jumping in line, they were naturally very dissatisfied. Tang Emo held Yang Yang and stood next to Lin Yi. When he heard the commotion, he looked up, seeing that the people who caused the commotion were Lin Yu and Xiao Tao. They hurried over. Come in quickly. Contrary to what Lin Yu thought. The boss did not blame them for not obeying the rules and not taking the lead for everyone, but asked them to go in quickly. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he saw Xian Xian, whose face was purple from the cold. He stuffed the sheep into Xiao Tao's arms and took Xian Xian, and then used his mental power to warm Xian Xian. This is a little girl. Something big will happen if she gets frozen. Yang Yang was staying comfortably in her sister's arms, but was suddenly thrust into a cold place, just as she was about to cry out. She saw Sister Xiao Tao's face. When Xiao Tao stayed at Wen's house, 
She played with this little guy every day. And the relationship was very good. Yang Yang looked at her sister again and saw a little girl who was about to freeze in her arms. She probably understood what it meant and held back the tears she was about to cry. In Sister Xiao Tao's arms, I found a comfortable position and fell asleep again. If it's colder, be colder. At least Sister Xiao Tao's embrace will be much softer. If Tang Emo knew that his younger brother had begun to dislike her figure when he was only two years old, he still didn't know what he was thinking. Chapter 311 Teach Him How to Fish Yang An was staying comfortably in her sister's arms, but was suddenly thrust into a cold place. Just as she was about to cry out, she saw Sister Xiao Tao's face. When Xiao Tao stayed at Wen's house, she played with this little guy every day, and the relationship was very good. Yang An looked at her sister again and saw a little girl who was about to freeze in her arms. She probably understood what it meant and held back the tears she was about to cry. In Sister Xiao Tao's arms, I found a comfortable position and fell asleep again. If it's colder, be colder. At least Sister Xiao Tao's embrace will be much softer. If Tang Emo knew that his younger brother had begun to dislike her figure when he was only two years old, he still didn't know what he was thinking. Lin Yu felt warm in his heart when he saw Tang Mo's reaction, seeing his only sister's expression slowly improving in Tang Mo's arms. He became more determined to follow Tang Emo to the death. They are my partners. Do you have any objections? Looking at the people outside, they still glanced at Lin Yu and Xiao Tao with dissatisfied eyes. Tang Emo straightened his face and used his mental power to convey his voice to the outside. After hearing Tang Mo's words, the people outside lowered their heads one by one and no longer dared to show their dissatisfied expressions. That was a friend from the late Tang Dynasty. Perhaps it was because the late Tang Dynasty never acted like a great sage and always operated the protective circle as its own commodity like a businessman. Therefore, everyone was still in awe of the late Tang Dynasty and could not afford to be promoted at all. In the late Tang Dynasty, he felt dissatisfied, and he was begging for help. Everyone was afraid that Tang Emo would put his eyes on his face and prevent him and his family from entering the protective circle. The snow was falling heavier and heavier, and it had already covered an adult's calf. The family that previously despised the authority of the late Tang Dynasty is still freezing outside. The lessons learned from the past are there, and everyone is in awe and dare not make mistakes. Tang Mo's combination of kindness and power was so effective that he turned his gaze back to Lin Yu and Xiao Tao's faces with satisfaction and asked about their situation. After learning that everything was going well in Qin Ling and taking the people back to the Qin family, Tang Emo nodded. The Qin family is a much bigger existence than the Wen family. So naturally they cannot survive without her protective circle. She wasn't even worried about Lin Yu and Xiao Tao at the end of the Tang dynasty, let alone the situation in Qin Ling. Lin Yu had arrived and replaced Wen Jianshu and Lin Yi. The protective circle in the late Tang dynasty was divided into three areas with cracks. The smallest area was reserved for his family and friends alone. Several tents had been placed. Boards and quilts were laid out for Wen Jianshu and Lin Yi to live in. Wen Jianshu and Lin Yi, one holding Yang Yang and the other holding Xian Xian, sat in the tent warmly and alive. Compared to the comfort of this area, the other two larger areas are not so comfortable. Since the late Tang dynasty no longer expanded her protective circle, at first people could take out their luggage and lie down on the ground. Later, they could only sit in their own small area on the ground. Finally, the area was compressed more and more. Small, most people can only sit on their luggage. Now, not only the people outside the protective circle were nervous, but also the people who had already entered were getting anxious. More and more people are coming in. And who knows if they will be squeezed out in the end. Even if they are not squeezed out, there will be so many people that there will not be enough living space. Not even enough air to breathe. Looking at this situation, Tang Emo felt that it was not okay to continue like this. She looked around at the people inside and outside the protective shield. There were many people with high attributes inside. They do not lack courage and perseverance. If more terrifying beasts appear in this age, L era, Tang Emo believes that many people will face them bravely and do not need their own protection. But now no one knows how to face this severe cold. She has a solution. Looking at it, Tang Emo quickly thought of a way. She stepped on a small spiritual cloud and rose into the air to shout to everyone with her spiritual power. Everyone, listen to what I have to say. Many of you here are people with mental attributes. Now there is a way for you to leave the protective shield and survive outside. I wonder if you are willing to try it. This was the first time Tang Emo used her mental power to fly into the air in front of everyone. 
when she used this trick before. She felt it was too ostentatious and had to avoid people. And now perhaps it is time for people to better understand the gifts that this era of mutation has given them as humans. Facing the era of H, L, there is no longer a need to hide one's strength. The people in the protective shield were so densely packed that Tang Emo felt dizzy and almost suffered from trypophobia when he looked up there. There were countless long queues outside the protective shield. Hearing the sound, everyone raised their heads and looked at Tang Emo flying in the air. They said, This woman is a god. She must be a god. Not only can she create such a magical protective circle, but she can also fly. How could such a woman be an ordinary person? Because they have great admiration for Tang Emo. These people are not too surprised that Tang Emo can fly. It seems that everything is as it should be. Even if Tang Emo suddenly grows wings in front of them, they will only be surprised. You would think that at the end of the Tang Dynasty, he had a part-time job as an angel. But what Tang Emo just said, when they heard that there was a way to go out and survive on their own, everyone was not excited at all. Everyone was silent. Everyone was wondering if they were going to be kicked out because the space in the protective shield was running out. Especially those who were poorer and paid less tickets hugged their children tightly and shrank down. Trying to make the space they occupied smaller and smaller. Don't worry. Since I, Tang Emo, have collected your tickets to let you in, I will naturally let you spend tonight safely. What Tang Emo said was very scheming. Although she had collected the tickets, they were only for tonight. It was up to her to decide when to remove the protective cover in the future. She didn't just want to protect her after she collected the tickets. These people are for life. But now you have another option. That is, for those with mental attributes who have already come in, I can give you a method to use mental power to create a protective shield. The size of the protective shield is completely determined based on your mental attribute value. But what I can guarantee is that as long as the psychic attribute value is above 200, there is absolutely no problem in releasing a protective shield to protect yourself. If the mental attribute value is higher, the range can be larger, and you can also protect your family and friends. If anyone wants to go out and build a protective shield by themselves, you can come and line up here. Your entrance ticket will be used as tuition. This is a loss-making business, and it is definitely a good deal. If you miss it today, it will be gone. Chapter 312 Learn to Get Out of the Circle It is better to teach someone to fish than to accept someone to fish. It was impossible for Tang Emo to protect them all his life. He could collect some tuition fees, and let them go out without occupying the place in his protection circle. It was simply killing two birds with one stone. 200 is a value that is neither high nor low for people with mental attributes. Although it is not low, there are still many people who can meet the requirements. Even if you don't meet the requirements, you can still stand on tiptoe and still have room for improvement. Establish your own protective aperture. And as your attribute value increases, the range of the aperture can be enlarged. Everyone is thinking about what Tang Emo just said. Is it true? But she was from the late Tang Dynasty. So how could she lie to them? After all, they are now within the sphere of influence of the late Tang Dynasty. And they have paid a lot of money for tickets. There is really nothing to cheat. To be honest, their lives are now focused on Tang Emo. Even if she wants everything for herself, she has to give it to her. There is no need to lie. Are they worthy? All the houses outside were killed in the earthquake. The snow outside has reached everyone's calves and the temperature has dropped to almost 50 degrees below zero. This is a person who has not been physically strengthened before the end of the world and will definitely not survive outside for three years. Temperature for 10 minutes. Everyone knows in their hearts that the world will only get worse, not better. If you can also establish your own protective circle at this time, no one with spiritual attributes would not be tempted by such a condition. After slowly digesting the news, a long queue formed in front of Tangamo who was standing on the edge of the protective circle. I promised you that you would let me out after you finish studying. So you can't waste any more space in my protective circle. Do you understand me? Tang Emo looked at the long line of people with no head that could be squeezed out due to the narrow space in front of him and felt a headache. Clear. He answered neatly and resoundingly. Almost all mental attribute users were lined up in this team. And even some people with mental attribute values less than 200 were queued up. Just kidding. My attribute value will continue to increase. One day it will reach 200. There is only one chance to learn the protective shield. If you miss it, you will never get it again. Even if they learn it, it doesn't matter if they can't let it go for the time being. There will only be a long time to come. After leaving the protective circle at the end of the Tang Dynasty, wouldn't there be other people with high attribute values? 
spend some money to hide in others' places, and then increase your mental attribute value as soon as possible so that it reaches 200 as soon as possible. Everyone has his own account book in his heart, and he can calculate his gains and losses very clearly. People outside also heard what Tang Emo said, and after a brief silence, they suddenly became excited. The people inside can actually learn this protective shield. What kind of magical opportunity is this? The mental attributes users all slap their thighs in annoyance. Don't ask. If you ask, you will regret it. If they had known that they would have such an opportunity if they went in early, they should have risked their lives and shamelessly jumped in line to get in earlier. People outside, don't worry. If you come in after paying your tickets and want to learn, wait in line at the back. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, she naturally wanted to teach the method of this protective shield. So she would not limit the number of people. The more people who learned it, the less burden she would have. Naturally, the more, the better. When people outside the protective circle heard Tang Mo's words, they all became quiet and began to work harder to calculate how much one third of their property was. Don't give less to teacher Tang. Otherwise something would go wrong before you study. Regarding the use of mental power, Tang Dynasty probably knows the most tricks now. Mental power bonus. Mental power materialization. Mental power healing. Mental power vacating. Mental power exploration. In fact, regarding the attribute value, Tang Emil always felt that it was like a shapeless tool. How to use it, and how much it could be used depended on the user. There is no textbook template to teach you what is correct. No matter what kind of attribute, there is no absolute formula. Especially regarding the mental attribute. It can be transformed in many ways. Even at the end of the Tang Dynasty, he felt that he had not innovated enough and needed to think more about it in the future. In fact, each method of use not only requires the power of attributes, but also requires continuous experimentation by oneself to try out a method that suits the direction of attribute energy in one's own meridians. Now those with mental attributes already know that this mental aperture is supported by mental power. But how to use it? If you just rely on yourself to figure it out, you may be frozen solid and haven't figured it out yet. However, for people like Tang Emo who already regard mental power as a part of their body and can use it freely, it is too easy to teach them this trick. She didn't need to say anything. She just transferred a bit of her mental power into the other person's body, leading the other person's mental power to swim around in the body according to a certain route, and finally found an exit at a certain meridian. The different techniques are actually just different patterns on the routes traveling through the body. If you remember the route and find the exit, you can naturally use this trick in the future. Go out and try it yourself. Don't take up any space. If it doesn't work, come back to me. In five seconds, Tang Emo solved one person and then kicked that person out mercilessly. The person who was kicked out was not upset, but was ecstatic in his heart. He hurriedly stood outside and tried it on his own in the way Tang Emo had just led him. A protective circle of about three square meters appeared, but this man's protective circle had a faint white light, unlike the high-profile golden light in the late Tang Dynasty. It's done! The man shouted while clearing away the snow within his protective circle. Daughter-in-law, please come out quickly. You and the baby don't have to squeeze in there anymore. Our family has its own protective circle. The man was ecstatic while shouting to his wife and son who had entered the protective circle. The woman in the protective circle naturally watched her husband's every move intently. When she saw a space of about three square meters appearing next to her husband, she couldn't help but feel happy. She immediately squeezed out of the crowd with her child in her arms and ran over. If people who have already paid their tickets go out and come in again, they will have to pay their tickets again. Please think about this. Tang Emo was really hoping that the people inside could go out and not take up space. But she couldn't refund the tickets she had collected. Otherwise, she wouldn't have to do anything else for a day. And she would just be a full-time conductor. Okay. Okay. Wife. Come out quickly. The man outside nodded repeatedly and still called his wife. Without any hesitation, the woman and her child squeezed out of Tang Mo's protective circle and entered the man's protective circle. Chapter 313 New Order Like the protective circle in the late Tang Dynasty, although the space of the men's protective circle is small, the temperature inside is completely controlled by the men themselves, which means that they no longer have to suffer from the cold. This space is relatively small. Now in the late Tang Dynasty, Several people have to stand in one square meter of the protective circle. However, the man's protective circle is only three square meters. But there are only two of them. His wife and their children. What's more, 
The scope of the protective circle will expand as his mental power increases. This is their home. In the past, it was thought that only those with spatial powers would have a home because they could take all their things with them. But now everyone feels that only those with spiritual powers would have a home. There is no doubt about it. At this moment, everyone looked at Tangamo, who was still floating in the sky. And they all had only one thought in their minds. That is, spiritual power is the most powerful attribute in the world. Bar none. Seeing that the first man learned it immediately after Tangmo's guidance, the people behind him were even more eager to try it. But now the people who are upset are the people inside. If I had known that there were people among my relatives and friends who could learn how to protect the circle, I would have paid the ticket in vain. And I would still have to leave when the time comes. Leaving all the money for outsiders. I feel so sad. Why were you in such a hurry to come in? You won't die if you wait a little longer. Oh. No. You may still freeze to death. Just spend the money. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he also started the road of fast discipleship. Consuming the team at the speed of one person in five seconds. People outside the protective circle also lined up more seriously. Hoping to be able to queue up as soon as possible. The number of people queuing outside the protective circle has also been greatly reduced. Everyone is waiting for their family and friends to learn it. So that they no longer have to pay tickets to Tang Mo. Under such a virtuous cycle. In the late Tang dynasty. There were fewer and fewer people in the protection circle and the queues for people outside the protection circle became shorter and shorter. Out of the same tacit understanding, those with spiritual attributes, who had learned to use the spiritual aperture did not choose a new place after leaving the protective circle at the end of Tang Dynasty. Instead, they settled next to the protective circle at the end of Tang Dynasty. The ground is the camp. They still don't know what the world will be like in the future. Staying next to Tang Mo will always make them feel safer. I don't know since when. Tang Mo has become a leader-like existence in everyone's mind. Although this leader has to collect money. On the other side, Qin Ling led people to settle down the Qin family and rush to the Wen family villa. Even if the foundation of the Qin family was facing the age of H, L. How could it not be prepared at all? The moment the age of H, L arrived, he escaped from the house with his family members and took out the rare treasure that had been prepared and refined by countless masters. A tent-shaped house that looks very hard and is made of an unknown material. This exotic treasure is not only extremely strong and has strong defensive capabilities, but it also incorporates many spatial exotic treasures. Therefore, although it does not look big from the outside, the space inside is enough to accommodate everyone in the Qin family. After the crack had formed and stopped expanding, the Qin family placed the rare treasure on the ground and hid in it with all the family members. The special material blocked the cold air outside very well. When Qin Ling rushed over, Grandpa had already led everyone to arrange everything properly. In fact, rare treasures like this were not created by the Qin family alone, but by the three families in the base and several wealthy giants to jointly develop them. After everyone's common precious materials were gathered together, eight such armored tents were finally developed. The spaces inside were still different in size. This is why when Jianchu is not worried about the situation of Mr. Wen's family, the armored tent was built by everyone to resist the age of H, L. At the beginning, our purpose was very simple, which was to prepare the armor tent to resist the alien beasts that became more powerful when the base collapsed. No one thought that this H, L era was a change of environment, but it was just right to take out this ironclad house at this time. Therefore, in this as base, the really richest group of people do not need to rely on Tangamo at all. In addition to armored tents, they also have many other life-saving treasures. Qin Ling and Lin Yushao Ao thought the same. Even if Tang Mo was not at the base and his ID watch lost contact. At this moment of sudden change in times, Tang Mo would rush home immediately. It would be right to wait for her here. The look on Qin Ling's face when he was rushing to Wen's house with his people was much more nervous than when he was rushing back to his home. The people following him couldn't help but complain about the boss as they hurried on. Second brother, why are you so panicked? My sister-in-law is so powerful. Why should others worry? In Su Lao San's heart. The image of his sister-in-law has always been very glorious and great. So there is no need for a boss to be a hero to save the beauty. The brothers behind him also nodded. In their hearts, the sister-in-law was more powerful than the boss. She was so powerful that they could not imagine. And she was extraordinary than ordinary people. Shut up! You don't want to see your little peach? The second brother was indeed the second brother. And what he said was so engrossing that Su Lao San, who talked a lot, immediately shut his mouth. 
threw up his arms, and ran harder than anyone else. Although his Xiaotao is an iron-blooded Lolita and has made great achievements in terms of strength, now even he can't knock her down easily. But after all, she is still a little girl. He had to hurry over to protect her. Without him, what would Tao Tao do if she was scared? Sure enough, love makes people lose their minds. If Xiao Tao, who was sweating profusely and busy collecting tickets on the other side, heard Su Laosan's disgusting inner monologue, he would probably have been slapped in the face. The villas of the Qin family and the Wen family were not that far away after all. And with a group of people traveling quickly, they arrived very quickly. Second brother, that dot isn't it also the sister-in-law who did it? Su Laosan looked at the scene in front of him with his mouth wide open. The scenery was very spectacular, with cracks dividing large and small land plates. And on the still intact ground there were countless crystal clear semicircles of different sizes, like bubbles. Inside the semicircles were people talking and laughing. It was as if the cold posed no threat to them at all. In the middle of these apertures of different sizes, a huge golden aperture towered high, with countless people standing or sitting inside, looking relaxed, and there were several queues waiting to enter outside the huge golden aperture. All of this is as if mankind has established a new order in a moment. No one is in a panic, and everyone is arranging what they want to do next in a good and orderly manner. Sister-in-law really saved the entire base this time. Even though he had always been as calm as the second child, he couldn't help but let out a long sigh when he saw such a scene at this moment. Chapter 314 Finally Meet Judging from the strength of Qin Ling and his team, the blizzard outside and the increasingly lower temperature do not pose a live threat to them. Lao Wu, look at this protective shield. Do you have any ideas? Can you use it? Although Qin Ling is not a spiritual attribute user, he can still see that the large and small protective rings in front of him are supported by spiritual power. And the one with the strongest spiritual power in their team is Lao Wu, who is ranked in the Chinese rankings ranked 21st. Qi Ling originally had the worst plan in mind. That is, in such a sudden harsh environment, most of the people in base S were unprepared and feared that most of them would die. Unexpectedly, the use of Imomo's spiritual aura now gave humans a chance to survive. As long as there is a temporary buffer opportunity, then the next thing will be much easier to handle. This is the first time Qin Ling has seen someone use this protective aperture supported by mental power. He can't help but wonder if Lao Wu, who has the strongest mental attribute in his team, can do it. I never thought that this mental attribute could be used like this before. But now I have seen it with my own eyes. If I figure it out by myself, I can do it in about half a month. But if I am lucky enough to be taught by my sister-in-law, I can learn it in three seconds. If it were me, the mental the attribute value is probably enough to support a protective circle of about 100 square meters. As a person with mental attributes, no one is not greedy when they see such a wonderful use of mental power. At this time, Lao Wu was also staring feverishly at the figure of his sister-in-law in the huge protective circle, wishing he could immediately join the learning queue. Without even asking, a group of people in Qin Ling already knew what the situation was like from just a few words from the crowd nearby. If you want to learn, just go and line up. Qin Ling looked at Lao Wu's eyes and couldn't understand what he meant. Remember to pay the ticket. Don't even think about using the back door. Okay, boss, I'm going then. Your boss has already spoken. So what are you waiting for? Lao Wu immediately joined the queue without hesitation. Not to mention one third of the property. Even the entire property is worth a lot. You must know that in the current environment of the H.L. era, anyone with eyes can see how powerful this protective circle is. Then he can protect his boss and brothers. This is something money can't buy. If he misses it, this village will not have this shop. Qin Ling and his brothers had no intention of going in and fighting for position with these freezing people. They folded their hands in front of their chests and watched the little teacher Tang Imo patiently teach his disciples. Qin Ling was already physically strong and with the addition of a bead with an agility attribute, he was naturally able to cope calmly in the cold weather. The remaining brothers were not so relaxed, although they could not freeze to death for a while. The snow was already close to their thighs, and they were not so comfortable. They all wrapped up their cotton clothes tightly, looking forward to their babies. Brother, hurry up and come back from your studies. However, Qin Ling and the others had no intention of going in, but the people inside were sharp-eyed. Honey! Isn't that Qin Ling? He's not here to cause trouble for us. Lin Yi was the first to see the group of people in Qin Ling. She asked when Jianchu worriedly. Although her daughter is very capable, Lin Yi is still worried that Qin Ling will cause trouble for Mo now 
that this matter has caused such a big fuss. After all, Lin Yi has been staying at the base since the end of the world. Although she only takes care of the children at home, she still knows everything about the base. What is the status of Qinling Mountains? That person was someone even the old man of the Wen family could not compare to. And he had absolute prestige in the base. Although she had not heard Qian Chu say that Qinling had any issues with them during this period of time. The fact that such a person appeared here at such a juncture and refused to leave made people worry that he was looking for trouble. Compared to Lin Yi, when Jian Chu has a certain understanding of the relationship between Qin Ling and the late Tang Dynasty, how could he come here to cause trouble? He is the one who wants to abduct your precious daughter. However, when Jian Chu would not say this just like that, rather than being hugged and beaten by Lin Yi, you must know that since his wife gave birth to a child, her temper has become more and more violent and she is no longer gentle and pleasant at all. It seemed like he didn't dare to provoke her at all. How can ordinary people understand the pain of strict wife control? Don't worry. Jean Ling and M.O.M.O. are college classmates. They have a good relationship at school. Do we need to worry? Hey, we're still classmates in college. I've never heard M.O.M.O. mention this. That's fine. That's fine. After listening to Wen Jianchu's words, Lenny immediately put her heart back in her stomach. We are all college classmates. So why don't we welcome them in quickly and let them stand outside waiting? Lin Yi touched Wen Jianchu with her arm and signaled him to get the person in quickly. Wen Jianchu couldn't make any objections. So he had no choice but to do as he was told. With Wen Jianchu going out to greet him in person, Qin Ling and his brothers naturally followed Wen Jianchu into the protective circle of the late Tang Dynasty. Everyone saw that the person who walked in was Qin Ling. They didn't have any objections. They just lined up anxiously, hoping to get their turn as soon as possible. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she saw Uncle Wen leading Qin Ling and the others in. However, at this time, she had already been tortured by this group of people who were very thirsty for knowledge and tireless. She was not in the mood to have anyone. So she had to take the time to get Qin Ling a helpless expression to express one's anger. Qin Ling smiled lovingly at Tang Emo clearly, and then walked straight over. Tired? It's okay. Is everything okay over there at your home? I prepared it a long time ago. It's okay. Are you okay? Do you think I'm okay? Tang Emo looked at the endless queue that he could not see and leaned directly on Qin Ling's body when he was tired. Feeling Emomo's warm body temperature, Qin Ling couldn't help but raise the corners of his mouth, lowered his head, and quietly leaned against Tang Mo's ear. What? Are you not avoiding suspicion now? Are you finally going to make it public? The warm breath hit his ears and Tang Emo was startled to react. It seemed that I was really exhausted. There were so many people lined up in front of me. So why did I fall directly on top of Qin Ling? But now that the stalls were all spread out, she had no intention of getting up again. How long has this happened? Who is still in the mood to pay attention to other people's love affairs? She is too lazy to hide anything anymore. Just let nature take its course. But obviously, Tang Emo still underestimated everyone's desire for gossip. Perhaps the environment she provided for everyone was too comfortable. Everyone fell silent when they saw the top female boss on the list cuddling with the leader of the base. Silence is Cambridge at this time. What did they see? Is this real? Could it be that he was hallucinating from the cold? Chapter 315 Official Match CP Tang Emo turned his head and saw the expressions of this group of people. Don't you want to learn? If you don't want to learn, just leave. Everyone, aren't you busy talking about love? Blame us now? But I can only think about this in my heart. No one dares to say it out loud. When Qin Ling saw that Tang Dynasty was getting busy, he hurriedly evacuated. After all, there were still so many people freezing outside. One more person who learned this protective shield meant one more family could survive. Now that Mo Mo admitted himself, Qin Ling naturally took people to the area that was designated by Tang Mo alone. Hello, aunt. Qin Ling's attitude towards Lin Yi was completely different from his usual attitude towards Wen Jianchu. You should know that Qin Ling's name was always Wen Jianchu. And he never had such a gentle smile. Hello! H. Lo! You are Momo's college classmate! And he just found out today. If she had known earlier, she should have invited you to my house for dinner. This was Lin Yi's first time dealing with Qin Ling looking at the boy's well-behaved and polite appearance. He just thought that the previous rumors from the outside world were filled with water. How did she know that the cute little boy in front of her had two faces? It was also the first time that when Jianchu saw Qin Ling like this, he was shocked and felt that they were really powerful. It was scary that someone like Qin Ling could turn into such a little sheep for her. 
Auntie, let me introduce myself. My name is Qin Ling. I am Tang Mo's college classmate and Mo Mo's boyfriend. What Tang Mo did just now seemed to have given Qin Ling some signal. Naturally, he would not waste this opportunity and quickly made it public before Mo Mo regretted it. This means that the ID watch has no signal. Otherwise, he would be ready to send a message to officially announce his relationship because of the crowd separated by them. Lin Yi didn't see Qin Ling and Tang Mo's little moves just now. Now when Qin Ling said this, she was petrified and speechless. The news was too shocking and she had to digest it. Qin Ling was not surprised by his future mother-in-law's reaction. He had been prepared to face this situation from the day he and Tang Mo were together. On the other hand, Xiao Yanjiang was very private. But she liked Qin Ling very much when she saw him for the first time. And when Jianchu's arms, he stretched out his little hand and clamored for his brother to hold him. Naturally, Qin Ling would not let go of this opportunity to quickly penetrate into the family at the end of the Tang Dynasty. After hugging Yang Nong, he took out many delicious and fun things from the rare treasures in space and coaxed Yang Nong from ear to ear. Over there, Lenny also digested the news. They were of the right age, and they were college classmates with a strong relationship. The two were equally matched in appearance and strength. What else could she be dissatisfied with? To put it another way, besides Qin Ling, she really couldn't think of anyone else who could be worthy of her daughter. Since accepting this setting, Lin Yi sees Qin Ling as her mother-in-law sees her son-in-law. Seeing Yang Yang kissing her brother-in-law again, she feels a little more satisfied with Qin Ling. But it's fun here. But it's rainy over when Jian Chu sighed. Originally, my daughter was going to run away with this kid. But now even my wife and son are so satisfied with Qin Ling. And he is standing alone. Looking a little miserable. It's not easy being a middle-aged man. When Jian Chu sat aside in despair, his jealousy almost overflowing. Fortunately, Lin Yu's sister Xian Xian was still nearby. Seeing her uncle looking a little sad, the little girl patted Wen Jianchu's hand empathetically. It's better to be Xian Xian. Wen Jianchu, who felt warm at this moment, was moved in his heart. Xian Xian, uncle and brother Qin Ling. You like uncle more? Right. In the days when they were not at home in the late Tang Dynasty, Xiao Tao and Lin Yu were considered frequent visitors to the Wen family. Naturally, Xian Xian was very familiar with Wen Jianchu and Lin Yi. I like brother Qin Ling. Don't guess what the girl is thinking. Who knows that the person sitting next to you comforting you at this moment prefers another brother. When Jianchu felt even more miserable. Brother Qin Ling is more handsome. Another critical hit. When Jianchu okay. I understand. Leave me alone. As more and more people with psychic abilities learn to protect the circle. Fewer and fewer people line up outside. Just after Tang Dynasty finally taught all the people with psychic powers who came to Q. The Q outside finally disappeared. Countless spiritual apertures of different sizes emerged around the huge golden aperture in the late Tang Dynasty. Inside were small groups based on family, friends or interests, maintaining their own warmth in an orderly manner in the blizzard. I don't know how long it took, but the earthquake stopped. All that was left were countless ruins and no standing buildings. The blizzard also gradually stopped, and the height remained at about above a person's knees. The temperature seems to have not changed anymore. The temperature of more than 50 degrees below zero has made the earth a place unsuitable for human habitation. After returning to his home area at the end of Tang Dynasty, he found that Qin Ling and Yang Yang were having fun. Lin Yi looked at them with an old mother's smile, while Wen Jianchu and Xian Xian sat aside and looked at the sky wordlessly. Mo Mo, why didn't you tell mom about the matter between you and Xiao Qin for so long? If Xiao Qin hadn't told me today, mom would still be in the dark. This is a good thing. Mom raised her hands and agreed. Seeing Mo Mo coming back, Lenny pulled Tang Mo aside and said, In just a short while, Qin Ling had been promoted to son-in-law Xiao Qin in Lin Yi's heart. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he knew something was wrong when he saw his mother coming to pull him. When he heard Lin Yi's words again, he immediately knew what had happened. Qin Ling! Tang Mo's angry voice was surrounded by a 3D sound inside the protective cover. Suddenly everyone heard the roar and everyone paused what they were busy doing. Baby, I'm here. Qin Ling did not panic, but responded loudly. After hearing Qin Ling's answer, everyone understood and continued busy with their own affairs. It turned out that it was a young couple who was quarreling. This is the time of H, L. The two of them still have such a good relationship. They are worthy of being the first and second big guys on the rankings. Fairy love is nothing more than this. At this moment, Qin Ling's wish finally came true. 
and he and Tang Emo became the official couple in everyone's hearts. As for Emo Mo's anger, Qin Ling silently hugged the sheep in his arms tighter. He had to get hold of this amulet. Otherwise his ability to withstand beatings would not be as fast as Tang Mo's strength. Sister, don't be fierce. Brother be afraid. After just a while, Yang Yang's heart was already leaning towards brother Qin Ling who gave her delicious food and fun. She hugged Qin Ling and started talking about the late Tang dynasty. Yang Yang is so good. But don't call me brother. Call me brother-in-law. Do you know? Qin Ling continued to coax Yang Yang. Yeah. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Seeing this scene, Tang Emo was so angry that he ran away. Sat down next to Qin Ling. Touched the inside of Qin Ling's arm and pinched him. Ah! The cry of Qin Ling surrounded him. And when Jian Xu finally felt balanced. We both have strict wives. Why should we be in a hurry when we are trying to quarrel with each other? Chapter 316 Darkness Comes Brother, do you think we are all going to die? Xianxian asked Lin Yu, who had just finished his work and sat down next to her. The little girl's childish voice was still very innocent. But the words she said were inconsistent with innocence. Of course not. Xianxian is so good. God would not let such a good child die. Lin Yu patiently picked up Xianxian. Xianxian must have been frightened just now. This child's life is really hard. At such a young age, he has gone through such life and death tests several times. And every time he survived. But brother, you told me the story of dinosaurs before. You said that dinosaurs became extinct because Mother Earth thought they were not good and refused to let them live. Now! Does Mother Earth also think that we are not good and does not let us live? Of? The child's immature words made people don't know how to answer for a moment. Maybe CNCN is right. Mother Earth really thinks that humans are not good enough. So she is punished like this. Because countless light circles were built outside. It was no longer so crowded in the late Tang Dynasty. Everyone took out their luggage. Laid out their bedding. And sat on it to eat. The sky gradually darkened and night fell. Everyone felt like camping in the wild when they were lying on the ground. Although the protective cover was warm. It was still very wonderful to see the starry sky when they opened their eyes and to be surrounded by white snow. Everyone was frozen and exhausted that day. As soon as it got dark, everyone fell into a deep sleep. Many small tents were set up in the area of Tang Mo's home. When Jian Xu, Lenny and Yang Yang had one tent. Xiao Tao had Xian Xian in one tent. And Lin Yu and several brothers from Qin Ling crowded into several tents. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, Qin Ling originally shared a tent. Who knew that after everyone fell asleep, Qin Ling sneaked over and squeezed into the tent at the end of the Tang Dynasty. What are you doing here? Tang Emo asked angrily. Obviously still angry that Qin Ling had told everyone about them just now. I am cold. There was no sleeping bag inside Tang Mo's tent. In order to be comfortable, Tang Emo used wooden boards to build a bed board, which was covered with a thick mattress. He was covered with a warm duvet, which was extremely comfortable. After Qin Ling got in, he hugged Tang Emo with his arms rested his head on Tang Mo's shoulder, and closed his eyes. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he felt Qin Ling's cold face leaning against him. But he didn't say anything else. Forget it. At this time, why are you still stubborn? So what if everyone knows about it? She has done well enough. And she no longer has to worry about others gossiping. Right. Today she also heard many people discussing the gossip between her and Qin Ling. Everyone said that they were a good match. And no one said that they were not worthy of Qin Ling anymore. No one said that she was not worthy of Qin Ling anymore. The knot in my heart from the previous life was finally solved until today. At the end of Tang Dynasty. In the darkness, Tang Emo let out a long sigh of relief. She has been pushing herself. She knows that she works hard and has done her best. She forced herself to break into those dragon and tiger dens. Forcing herself to leave her comfort zone and venture into a wider world alone. In order to make faster progress. I really used all my strength. Everyone praised her for being powerful, brave, and not an ordinary person. But at the end of Tang Dynasty, he understood in his heart that he was actually not as powerful as everyone said. Until now, he could not swallow the breath of his previous life. And he had to work hard to live with the same spirit. If I were really a powerful person, my previous life would not have ended like that. Somewhere in Tang Mo's heart, there was actually the shadow of the little girl with low self-esteem in her previous life. She never dared to stop because she was afraid of repeating the same mistakes of her previous life. But today, after she heard what everyone said, 
she really felt that everything had changed. She has grown to a high enough level and has become a shining person in the eyes of everyone. If you're tired, it doesn't matter if you don't think about anything or do anything. And I'm here. No matter what you look like, I will protect you. You can do what you want. And I will support you. I don't know if it's a serious confession or a murmur in sleep. When Qin Ling said these words with his eyes closed, Tang Mo couldn't help but shed tears. You do what you want to do. And I'll support you. This is probably the most beautiful love sentence in the world. At the end of Tang Dynasty, she felt relieved and closed her eyes, feeling the warm embrace of Qin Ling. This comfortable warmth made her fall asleep quickly. Darkness is sometimes not exclusive to the night. At certain moments, even during the day, it will also be shrouded in darkness. Just like now. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he slept very well. When he woke up again, Qin Ling beside him was no longer there. After she changed her clothes and washed herself, she walked out and found that the sky outside the protective circle was still black. Although there is no display on the ID watch, everyone who has slept well knows that it is already morning. But the sky has no intention of fading to black. This can't help but put everyone into panic. You must know that the role of the sun is not just to provide everyone with light. There is also the necessary heat and sense of security. The ID watch still had a black screen. And everyone was in the dark. They were no longer interested in talking. They all had their mouths closed tightly. And their eyes didn't know where to look. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he searched around but didn't see Qin Ling. He probably guessed that if there was such a strange phenomenon, Qin Ling should have taken someone out to check it out. Lin Yu and Xiao Tao followed Tang Mo when she came out. They waited for Tang Mo's order and then acted according to Tang Mo's instructions. Hour after hour passed, and the sky still didn't light up. Under such an environment, the people in the protective circle gradually began to become anxious. Some people couldn't help but pace, and some even quarreled with the people around them because of their uneasiness. This can't go on like this. The protective circle was created by Tang Mo's mental power, and every move within it was naturally under Tang Mo's attention. If this continues, the order in the protection circle will be chaotic. If so many people are chaotic, something will really happen. Tang Mo's spiritual power formed a new pattern in his body, and then slowly flowed out and poured into the protective shield. This time, Tang Ma Jia's mental power was not to let the protective shield continue to expand, but to make the originally light golden color of the protective shield continue to become richer and shine. The light is getting bigger and bigger, gradually illuminating everything in the protective shield. And even the small protective shields outside can feel the power of this light. The white snow and ruins outside returned to everyone's sight again. But this desolate scene did not make people uncomfortable. But the light gave everyone more firm strength. Chapter 317 The Vortex of Frustration At this time, Xin Ling and his people had been out for several hours. They didn't know how far they had walked in the darkness. They only knew that everything around them, when illuminated by flashlights seemed to be different from the previous environment. Base S is their territory. Logically speaking, they should be extremely familiar with this place. But now every place feels so strange. There are no buildings to refer to. And the plants have grown wildly into something different. The originally prosperous city turned into another desolate one in just one night. As if it had been abandoned for decades. Boss, we have come so far. If we go any further, we will not be able to find our way back. Cut the crap. Like now you can find your way back. Qin Ling only brought a few brothers with the strength attribute this time. After all, it was freezing outside, and the bodies of those with strength attributes were better strengthened and would be more resistant to freezing. But what they didn't expect was that the darkness outside and the change in the environment caused them to get lost in the darkness after walking for several hours. It would be great if Lao Wu was here at this time. People with mental attributes can find their way back through perception. Unfortunately, except for Qin Ling, the few people here this time are all power users, although everyone is resisting the cold. After all, they have been out for a few hours. If they continue to wander outside like this, even their iron bodies will be frozen into ice. Qin Ling's handsome face also had a stern expression. It was really difficult to tell the way back with only the dim light of the flashlight. The ID watch has no signal at all. Even if I ask for help, I can't contact anyone else now. Just when a few people were confused and helpless in the darkness and almost helpless, a golden light lit up in the distance. That was the color of the protective circle in the late Tang Dynasty. This light was more like a light leading several people in Qin Ling back home, allowing these men who were walking in circles in the darkness to find their way back and put their hearts back in their stomachs. 
It's not easy to freeze outside for several hours. After seeing the protective circle light up, several people ran faster than the other and rushed back towards the protective circle. At this time, Tang Imo, who was playing with the sheep and slender people in Nuanyuan, had no idea that his act of protecting the people in the circle would inadvertently pull several people in Qin Ling back from the hands of death. Xiao Tao, have you noticed that the protective circle is much quieter today than last night? The light rose, and everyone's faces appeared more clearly in front of Tang Mo's eyes. Everyone was sitting there quietly doing their own thing. No one even spoke loudly. Compared to last night's panic, everyone today was obviously much more well-behaved. This made Tang Mo feel uncomfortable. Mo Mo, you said yesterday that the tickets they paid were only for last night. And now it has expired. They are not careful about their behavior. Just because they are afraid that you will remember this and kick them out. This snowy and dark place. If I get out, I can survive for a few hours. When Tang Mo heard what Xiao Tao said, he remembered what he said yesterday. I'm really smart. I didn't expect that my sudden idea yesterday would have such a good effect. It's pitch dark now, and we don't know what's going on outside. Naturally, Tang Mo will not really drive them out right now and send them to die. Just when Tang Dynasty was enjoying the rare silence here, Qin Ling and his men rushed in from outside. How's it going? What's going on outside now? Tang Mo stood up and reached out to take off Qin Ling's coat, which was stiff from the cold, and put on a new soft and warm coat for him. Then he held Qin Ling's cold hand with his hand and helped him warm it. Qin Ling had been freezing outside for a while. At this time, he put on a warm coat and had a beautiful woman warm his hands, which made him feel much warmer at once. Outside? It's not very optimistic. Qin Ling thought about the outside environment they had seen in the past few hours. The age of H. I was indeed a more terrifying existence than the apocalypse. We walked a long way and didn't see a single strange beast. There wasn't even a single strange beast. This was Qin Ling's biggest discovery this time. Isn't it because it's been refrigerated? Although Qin Ling and the others are within the scope of the S base, those defenses have long since disappeared. With so many people gathered here, it is impossible that there is not a strange beast around. The body structure of alien beasts is different from that of humans. The cold is not fatal to them. But hunger is fatal. No! Qin Ling shook his head. He looked carefully for a long time. Not only did he not see any strange beast, there was not even a trace. He didn't even feel the breath of a strange beast. It was as if overnight, all the strange beasts that originally lived by eating humans had disappeared. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he fell silent. Under the current circumstances, not being able to see alien beasts is not a good thing for humans. This means they lose their most important food source. In such weather, even soilless cultivation has become a luxury. If no more exotic animals can provide enough meat, then human survival will really be in jeopardy. Don't think about this now. Just drink some soup. Tang Emo pulled Qin Ling to sit down, and Xiao Tao handed over the soup that Tang Emo had cooked long ago, including the few people who had just gone out with Qin Ling. Everyone had a bowl of hot soup in their hands. Now that they could drink a bowl of hot soup, they were moved to tears. For the next time, Everyone sat blankly in the protective circle, looking up at the protective circle that emitted golden light, not knowing what they were thinking. They are probably thinking about their fate tomorrow, but they don't know what the world will be like tomorrow. So how can they think about it? Everyone just feels that they are so insignificant and don't even have the strength to fight back against fate. Fortunately, the end of Tang Dynasty has brought a little light into their world. Otherwise most people might collapse. Emotion is something that is contagious. Tang Mo leaned on Qin Ling's shoulder and looked at everyone's numb faces. Everyone's emotion does not seem to be sadness. After experiencing so many joys and sorrows, life and death, everyone has long been desensitized to the emotion of sadness. But beneath their numb faces, there was only emptiness. It was a kind of self-exile after being powerless, leaving oneself to drift in the torrent of H.L., letting fate arrange an ending for oneself. Tang Mo hated this feeling of everyone falling into a whirlpool of depression as if they were in a pool of stagnant water. In the end of Tang Dynasty, weren't they still alive? As long as you are alive, there is hope, and living represents infinite possibilities. If you give up on yourself, wouldn't you throw your still-breathing self into a crack and bury it in the soil in advance? Chapter 318 Watch Restart This won't work, Tang Mo murmured. Do you have any idea? Qin Ling looked at Tang Mo's face and knew what she was thinking. Let me try. A living person cannot suffocate to death. When encountering difficulties, 
You must always think about the ending first. And you cannot give up just by spreading your hands. Tang Mo found a projector from the space. This projector was used by Tang Mo before. There were many movies in it. All of which were Tang Mo's favorite. Now that there is no electricity here, the projector cannot operate. Tang Mo took a primary crystal stone and used his mental power to link it to the instrument. In this era, since energy crystals like crystals have emerged, maybe they can be useful. Right? Tang Mo just wanted to give it a try and use the crystal to drive the projector. Unexpectedly, when Tang Mo's mental power connected the crystal to the instrument, the projector actually worked. There was no blank screen. So Tang Mo simply spread a thick white cloth on the blank ground in front of him, and then put the movie directly on the white cloth. Naturally, the small white cloth could not accommodate everyone's viewing. So Tang Mo used her mental power to connect the video on the white cloth to her protective aperture. The huge golden aperture was divided into four huge screens from four directions, on which Tang Mo's favorite movie began to be shown. That's Stephen Chow's movie, a very old and classic movie. Tang Mo likes Stephen Chow not only because of his good acting skills, but also because behind Stephen Chow's humor is the bitterness and persistence of a villain. In his movies, no matter how ordinary people are, they shine brightly and never give up no matter what kind of blow they encounter. What people who are like trapped animals need most at this moment is such a spirit. Tang Mo just gave it a try at first. She had never really used crystals as energy sources. Nor had she used mental power in this way. She didn't expect it to actually succeed. When Master Xing's slightly funny voice sounded, all the people with dull eyes stared at the video playing above them, as if they had come back to their senses. Actually, I'm an actor. Sometimes it's hard to tell what rich people have taste. I'm sorry, Brother Sonny. I was taking a shit just now. So I didn't keep an eye on him. Shit. You are a piece of shit. Your life is cheaper than an ant. I should win the Oscar for Best Actor. No. It will be beautiful at dawn. The movie is an old one. But everyone looked as focused as if they were seeing it for the first time. Even reluctant to blink. Not only the people in the protective circle at the end of the Tang Dynasty. But also the territories of those with spiritual attributes outside the protective circle were watching intently. At this time, Tang Mo was not afraid that the noisy sound and light would attract some scary things. After listening to Qin Ling's description of the situation outside, Tang Mo instead hoped to attract some strange beasts, so that she would have some peace of mind. As soon as the movie started playing, Tang Mo could clearly feel that the atmosphere here had become much better. Maybe it was because everyone had something to distract themselves from. Or maybe it was because Master Xing's movie was so inspiring that people could regroup. A positive. It seems that everyone is still too idle. It's easy to think too much when people are idle. Sister-in-law, you still have a way. Su Lao San watched the protective circle turn into a big screen. And he was so full of admiration for his sister-in-law that he could hardly contain it. When watching the third part of the movie, everyone clearly felt that the characters on the screen were becoming increasingly unclear. But no one complained. Instead, there was a look of expectation and joy on their faces because the screen is becoming less and less clear. It means that it is getting dark. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he simply turned off the projector and watched the rising sun with everyone. What could be more inspiring than watching the sun rise? At the moment when the sun completely rose, everyone's ID watches, which had turned black, suddenly lit up at the same moment. The ID watch works. The restoration of ID watches represents the way people can communicate with each other again, and people have channels to obtain information. The ID watches that have long been out of control represent everyone's connection with the world. And are their connection in the end of the world. One of the sources of dependence is also an important source of security. Tang Mo also stared at his watch. Watching it gradually light up. The interface is not much different from before. And the subtle difference is like the watch automatically updating the system. At this moment, everyone is carefully looking at the difference between this watch upgrade and the previous one. Everyone has not forgotten what kind of news was brought to them after the last watch upgrade. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he discovered that the upgraded watch seemed to be further away from the original human world. It seemed to be controlled by a mysterious force. And a lot of information that appeared in it was unknown to people. For example, the description of the Age of Hell is very detailed. The Age of Hell is also called restarting the Ice Age in the watch. As the name suggests, everyone knows what the Ice Age means. So restarting the Ice Age may mean that the world's temperature is far from the current temperature and will continue to decline until the entire world returns to the original glacier. Everyone shuddered when they saw the name restarting the Ice Age. At the end of Tang Dynasty, 
he continued to read. In this era, not only the sudden drop in temperature poses a threat to human beings, but there is also another problem that is very serious for human beings. That's hunger. As we all know, in an increasingly cold environment, no matter what kind of soil or technology plants are, they cannot grow. There are also increasingly rare exotic beasts, which also make people lose the source of hunting and relying on strength to obtain food. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he thought a little more about this. The information provided in the watch said that the strange beasts had become rare, but it did not say that they had completely disappeared. So where are the few remaining exotic beasts now? Has its strength increased significantly? And does it pose a huge threat to humanity? These questions should be kept firmly in mind and remind yourself not to let down your guard at all times. In addition to the information about the age of hell, the most increased information is about the five pearls. Here, almost all the information about the five beads is clearly written, whether it is the energy contained in it or various matters related to the fusion. There is a picture of five beads of different colors, three of which have been lit. Another one is in a semi-bright and semi-dark state, and the last one is completely gray. The meaning is very clear. That is, three beads have been fused, and one has been found, but has not been fused. Only the one in space is still wandering outside, waiting for human discovery. Chapter 319 God's Chosen Space Regarding the description of this attribute bead, everyone just sighed that it was so magical after seeing it, but no one was curious about the ownership of the four beads that had been found. Just kidding. There are no fools among us who can survive till now. One attribute pearl has 10,000 attribute values. Now the top two attribute values in the rankings are clearly displayed. But there is still one bead missing. I don't know who has not been fused. But now that it has been found, integration will be a matter of time. There is no hope for other people, and there is no need to worry about it. Even now that there is still the last bead with space attributes left, I can still fight for it. But can I really get my turn? There is such a question mark in everyone's mind. But soon they found the answer they were looking for in the following information. It turns out that the remaining space attribute pearl was originally hidden in a corner of this world. But it had not been discovered by humans before the restart of the Ice Age. So at the moment when the Age of H, L came and the world suddenly changed, the energy of the space attribute beads inspired another terrible thing, which was the God's chosen space. The four words, Divine chosen space, made Tangamo dizzy. The world she knew now was increasingly different from the one she knew before. It seemed more fantasy. Is this still a real world? The divinely chosen space is a parallel space inspired by space energy. In fact, there are countless parallel spaces in this universe. And the different changes that occur between this second and the previous second are all different parallel spaces. But although humans have always had the concept of parallel spaces, no one has been able to find the entrance to parallel spaces. And now what that space power inspires is the door to the parallel space. As for the parallel spaces inspired this time, due to the energy brought by the coming of the age of H, L, each parallel space is related to the end of the world and is a parallel space under the background of the end of the world. Later information also said that if you want to prevent the ice age from restarting, you must collect five attribute beads. And the one who collects and fuses five attribute beads can restore the world to its original state. The only way to obtain the last attribute pearl, the space pearl, is to pass the test of the divine selection space. Everyone clicked on the detailed information about the God's chosen space. It introduced in detail that if you want to obtain the space attribute pearl, you must enter three parallel spaces and complete the tasks in that space respectively. The first person to complete the three space tasks can obtain the space pearl and fuse it directly. Because all parallel spaces have an apocalyptic background, the risks are still very high even more deadly than the current cold climate. Once you die in the parallel space, it is also a real death, and both the body and the spirit disappear. If you fail to complete the task, you will be trapped in that parallel space for the rest of your life. The way to enter the trial space is also very simple. Just use some energy crystals and stand in according to the pattern given on the God's Choice Space page, and you can randomly enter a trial space. Under the God's Choice Space page, everyone's ID watch has their own name and there is a 0 slash 3 mark after the name. This is not difficult to understand, but it is only different in the late Tang Dynasty. On the page in the late Tang Dynasty, there is a one-third logo. This means that Tang Mo has completed a space trial mission. Tang Mo looked at that one and quickly understood what was going on. Parallel space? Isn't that the space that I entered in the apocalyptic garbage dump before? There she also completed her mission of changing the world. 
thinking of this, Tang Emo, who was a little depressed because the bead map in his hand was useless, instantly became happy again. Being one step ahead of others means seizing the opportunity. There is still great hope to be the first to complete three tasks. However, a lot of information was given. But Tang Emo still discovered a bug. That is, the watch information gave that the person who collects and fuses five attribute beads can restore the world to its original appearance. So what if the five beads are not collected by one person, but by different people? So can this also change the restart of Ice Age? Although there is no answer to this question yet. But the Space Pearl has not been obtained yet. Spending time and energy thinking about this problem is obviously a waste of life. Time is precious. So Tang Emo quickly put this problem behind him. In addition to the information about the Age of Hell and the God's Chosen Space, there is also information about the various ways to use energy crystals. Most people at the end of Tang Dynasty also guessed that it was nothing more than being able to replace energy use and so on. This crystal can indeed replace energy. But high-grade crystals are very rare. And not everyone can afford to use them to generate heat. The amount of information brought by the updated watch is huge. And everyone is silently digesting this information. Although it is the age of H, L now. There is no threat of alien beasts in the protective circle of the late Tang Dynasty. For many people, apart from hunger, it can be said to be a safer paradise. There are more unknown dangers in the parallel space under the background of the apocalypse. Can you really get out of there alive with your own strength? But if you don't go to the parallel space to beg for food, how long can the food in your hands last? How long can Tang Dynasty protect them? Restart the Ice Age. If you don't collect the five pearls, the world will only become worse and worse. Not better. Besides, at the end of Tang Dynasty, she must be going to the trial space. If she goes and this protective circle disappears, what will they do? How to survive? But does it prevent Tang Dynasty from going there? Can they stop it? If they can't get the Space Pearl, will they be able to survive if the Ice Age restarts? There are countless questions in everyone's mind that no one has answered. Entering the God's chosen space is to die, and staying outside is to wait for death. It seems that this world does not leave any way for ordinary people to survive. Unconsciously, everyone's eyes were focused on Tang Emo. At this moment, Tang Emo was still holding Jingjing and was carefully studying the page of the God's chosen space trying to analyze what kind of tasks there would be in that space. If they were all missions like the space encountered in the apocalyptic garbage dump, I would be really exhausted. Another thing is that she has had the Pearl of Power for a long time, and has not yet fused it. Should she fuse the Pearl of Power first, and then go to the Divine Selection space, so that she can feel more relaxed? Or should she find a chance to fuse it in the Divine Selection space? Tang Emo fell into deep thought, thinking while touching Jingjing's soft fur. Chapter 320 Holy Doctor Village Even if Tang Emo was lost in thought at this time, he still couldn't stand the gaze of countless hot eyes. Tang Emo raised his head and was startled when he saw countless pairs of eyes looking at him. What's wrong? Why are you suddenly looking at yourself? It's so scary. Emo Emo, you must go to the God's chosen space in the future. Right. It was Xiao Tao, Tang Mo's exclusive secretary, who asked what everyone wanted to ask the most. Yes. After all, the world will become better only if we get that space attribute bead. Right. For Tang Emo, this question was nothing to hesitate about. She had always fought alone. And going to other parallel apocalypses was no different to her current or previous life. If you go, the people here may not survive a day. Xiao Tao sighed. She followed Tang Emo and had some crystal stones in her hand. It would not be difficult to find a protective circle for people with mental powers to enter. But there are so many people here. Almost the entire S base is here. The size of the protective shield for those with mental attributes is limited and cannot accommodate so many people. After all, not all mental attribute users in the world are here in S base. Xiao Tao's words reminded Tang Emo. And she quickly turned on her watch and posted the scene here to the public forum. Then she attached the method of the protective shield below. Although there was no personal teaching from her, it took those superpowers a little longer to learn. But there will always be some people who can get here before freezing to death or who can learn how to use a mental protective shield. In the face of disaster, human beings are all one. And the late Tang Dynasty will naturally not be stingy with this method. It is good for one more person to live at this time. There are too many people in this world. And the news from the end of Tang Dynasty can at least give them some hope of survival. Restarting the Ice Age. Since this age, L Age is called this name. The weather will definitely become colder and colder in the future. Tang Emo had entered a parallel space last time. 
she knew that when entering a parallel space, her body would actually follow it. Then the protective shield currently held up by Tang Yimou alone will disappear. Without the end of Tang Dynasty, everyone here would die. Compared to the people inside in the late Tang Dynasty, the people outside were in a much more relaxed mood. Because people with mental powers outside don't have the same abilities as those in the late Tang Dynasty. In the current apocalypse, they can not only use their spiritual power to keep themselves warm, but they can also protect others and collect a certain amount of food and fees. It can be said that it is even better than in the previous apocalypse. Comfortable. There is no need to take risks. And these superpowers will not go to the gods' chosen space. So the people in the protection circle of these superpowers will be safe for the time being. Tang Emo stood up and walked in circles around the protective shield she had built. She also held several pieces of richly colored high-grade crystal stones in her hands, placing one on the ground from time to time. Everyone was watching Tang Mo's movements. At this time, Tang Mo's every move affected everyone's hearts. Many people who have seen Tang Mo's movements can probably guess what Tang Emo means. The spar watch has begun to explain that it can be used as an energy source. So Tang Emo is now trying. If she leaves, will the spar watch be used? Can maintain this protective shield and allow it to continue to exist. Unfortunately, everyone watched as the high-grade crystal stone that Tang Emo placed on the ground was quickly consumed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Not even the dregs were left. Tang Emo shook his head when he saw this. The idea of crystal supporting the protective cover is still feasible. But if such a large protective cover is not supported by human control, relying solely on crystals will be too costly. Not to mention other people. Even the richest man in the late Tang Dynasty could not afford such consumption. After all, she won't be leaving for a while. It's likely to be a year or two. When everyone saw Tang Emo shaking his head and sighing, they felt even more sad. There was really nothing they could do. It would be great if the Holy Doctor Village was here at this time. Yes, it would be nice if the Holy Doctor Village was here. Is there really a Holy Doctor Village? Isn't that just a legend? Of course it's true. I was injured nearby, and people from the Holy Doctor Village passed by and saved me. They are all kind-hearted people there and they are all spiritual attribute users. Then you are really in luck. I heard that there are usually many people who go to the Holy Doctor Village to seek medical treatment. But not everyone can be welcomed in. It's useless to beg Grandpa or Grandma. Yes, if you want to bring the dead back to life, wouldn't that mean that each of them is a god? But they have to be worshipped? Since the hope of survival was so slim, everyone simply let go and chatted. Are all of them mentally capable? When Tang Emo heard these words, he remembered a place? Couldn't the Holy Doctor Village they were talking about be the Wuxi village she went to before? After picking up Shout Out last time, she, Aju, never paid attention to the affairs of Wuxi Village. However, the new clan leader Guimingi is a very sensible person. He often sends some words of thanks and concern to Tangemo, and also talks about the current situation of Wuxi Village. However, in the late Tang Dynasty, he was very busy outside in the Dragon Pond and Tiger's Den and rarely responded. It was not annoying to leave Guimingi alone to sing a one-man show in the dialogue box. Now after listening to everyone's words, Tang Emo remembered this matter. He clicked on the dialogue box with Guimingi and dialed the phone number. Soon, the person over there answered the phone. Hello, Grandmaster. Over there, Guimingi answered the phone flattered. From the beginning, Wuxi Village was occupied by evil people and was about to be exterminated. Now it is respected as the Holy Doctor Village by the outside world and is able to survive in the apocalypse. All this is because of the late Tang Dynasty. Guimingi has always maintained a very respectful attitude toward the late Tang Dynasty. He had never received a reply from Tang Emo before. But this time the patriarch called directly. He was not flattered. Once again hearing Guimingi, a middle-aged man, call him Grandmaster, Tang Emo couldn't help but have a dark look on his face. She had long told him not to scream like that. But this man refused to listen. It must be said that the healing skills in his village were taught by the late Tang Dynasty. In the future, they would be passed down to the ancestors. So naturally they would be called Grand Master. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had no choice but to let him go. How are you doing over there? This Ice Age is not a problem for you. Right. Almost everyone in Wuxi Village is a spiritual genius and studies spiritual power every day. Tang Emo is not worried that they will not use spiritual power to protect him. Thank you for your concern. Grandmaster, thanks to your blessing, everyone in the village has not slacked off. They have been thinking about spiritual power since you left. 
Although it has not been a big deal, everyone has made some progress and used spiritual power to keep warm. Still not a problem. Chapter 321 Saved This is actually Guomingi's modesty. In fact, long before the advent of the Hell Age, Guomingi and his village had already developed various uses of spiritual power, which were deeper and broader than the innovations in the late Tang Dynasty. After all, everyone is a psychic attribute person who gathers together every day to study which is much faster than the rules that one person occasionally summed up in actual combat in the late Tang Dynasty. Moreover, there are many ways of mental power that only groups can use, which individuals in the late Tang Dynasty would never know. I just heard today that Watsi Village was renamed Holy Doctor Village. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he had never cared much about things other than himself. It was true that he only heard about such a big thing today. Don't dare! Don't dare! I just saved a few people with the skills taught by my ancestor. How can I get such a big name? It's just a false name given by people outside. I can't support it. Guimingi couldn't understand the meaning of Tang Mo's words for a while, and could only deal with it in fear. I'm afraid that the patriarch blamed himself for leading the villagers outside to be too arrogant and came to ask him for help. At the end of Tang Dynasty, seeing Guimingi's cautious look, he didn't dare to make fun of him. So he had to talk about business. Compared with the information on the ID watch, you should have read it. You can cope with the Ice Age on your own, but the Famine Age is also a big hurdle for you. People outside call you the Holy Doctor Village. You have done a lot to save people and earn blessings. And everyone is kind-hearted. Come out with all of you. Now is the time when humanity needs you. Wuxi Village has been secluded from the world for generations. But now the background is different. The crisis is a crisis for the whole world and people who want to escape from the world are also part of humanity. At this critical moment of survival, whether for themselves or for the overall situation, it is time for them to be born. Tang Mo's words were naturally like an imperial edict to Guimingi. After all, given Tang Mo's position in Wuxi village, even if Guimingi died, he would not be willing to do so. What's more, now that the Ice Age has restarted, there is no way they will starve to death in that remote village, where there is life. There is hope. The distance between Wuxi Village and S-Base is actually not that close. Especially at this moment when the weather is freezing and freezing. It would not take a day or two for ordinary people to get there on their own. But it's different for people with mental attributes. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, when people here were still immersed in the emotion of their own death, I don't know when, I saw the sky was dark and dense. As if something was rushing towards me quickly. No, it's not some mutated beast. Right. No one has ever seen the birds and beasts. But that doesn't stop them from being an extra, bonus, cruel gift given to them in the Hell Age. Even ordinary people could enter the protective shield in the late Tang Dynasty. And everyone knew whether it had defensive capabilities or not. At this time, looking at the darkness in the sky, one by one struggled to stand up and crowded together. I don't know who screamed first. And the entire protective circle was almost in chaos. Panic and unwillingness and fear in the face of death threats. It's freezing outside, but staying here feels like a turtle in a urn. When the black thing gradually got closer and closer, and then got lower and lower, until it landed on the ground, people saw that those were not strange beasts that wanted their lives. But a group of people. Falling from the sky is not the only thing that surprises people. The most surprising thing is that almost everyone in the group of people falling from the sky has a protective aperture, including teenagers. This group of people are all spiritual attribute users. This group of people is Holy Doctor Village. The people from the Holy Doctor Village are here. The people from the Holy Doctor Village must be here to save them. They are saved. The deathly gray eyes were lit up again. Tang Mo couldn't help but feel satisfied when he saw that these people under his protection seemed to be bursting with hope of life again. You see, human beings are such contented creatures. As long as you give them a little light in the darkness, they can continue to support themselves. She couldn't be the one to save them. But she could give this little bit of light. And she could afford it. Just when he was satisfied at the end of Tang Dynasty, all the people in the Holy Doctor Village suddenly knelt down and shouted loudly, Meet the Patriarch! Meet the Patriarch! Meet the Patriarch! This deafening sound was particularly inspiring in this quiet atmosphere. Tang Mo buried her head deeply, not wanting to go out to meet anyone at all. At this moment, she regretted her decision to ask them to come. People are really afraid of being famous, and pigs are afraid of being strong. She just wants to keep a low profile. Why is it so difficult? But no matter how low Tang Mo buried his head, 
people still moved their eyes to her little by little. It came again and again. And the feeling of being on pins and needles under the gaze of everyone just now came again. In fact, even if the people from the Holy Doctor Village didn't name him, everyone knew who they were looking for. All of these are mental attribute users. They can fly and protect the aperture. Who did they learn from? The biggest golden circle of protection was right here, leaving Tang Mo no chance to refute. Get up! Get up! I asked you to come here to do business! Not to count out to me! Seeing that he couldn't hide anymore, Tang Mo could only bite the bullet and walk out, quickly letting them get up. Seeing the patriarch coming out, everyone stood up and looked at her with bright eyes. The words and teachings taught in Wuxi village at the end of Tang Dynasty can be said to have changed the fate of all of them. And the more they researched, the more they discovered that this spiritual power was far more powerful than they imagined. It was only at the end of Tang Dynasty that they truly understood the charm and true strength of spiritual power. The small village that was originally a secluded village began to study spiritual power. And everyone became a fan of spiritual power. And the huge golden aperture of spiritual power in front of them made them look even more fashionable and admiring. This is the first time they have seen the golden spiritual power. Seeing Tang Emo coming out, everyone closed their mental apertures and replaced them with a large mental aperture and then welcomed Tang Emo in. Tang Emo was not polite and walked directly in, ready to discuss with them the purpose of calling them here this time. When people outside saw Tang Emo walking in and talking to the people in the Holy Doctor Village, they felt a lot more at ease. It seemed that the godlike woman in the late Tang Dynasty would not completely abandon them. She was still actively thinking of ways for them. Otherwise, she wouldn't have called the people from the Holy Doctor Village over. Chapter 322 Pearl of Power At the end of Tang Dynasty, he chatted with the people in Xingyi Village for a long time and talked about many things. There are things that people in Xingyi Village don't know. And there are things that the late Tang Dynasty didn't know about. Tang Emo is the one who is destined to go to the God's chosen space. Before she enters, she must sell things outside as much as possible. She did so much for her mother and brother, not for those who were irrelevant. Tang Emo said this to herself in her heart. But only she knew the truth. After chatting for so long, we did get a lot of results. Guamingi and Tang Emo said that the energy of mental attribute users can overlap when they release a protective circle, which means that a group of mental attribute users can combine to release a circle of light. The most important thing is that the protective circle created by everyone working together is many times larger than the individual protective circles combined. This means that although her protective shield will disappear after Tang Emo leaves, as long as the psychic powers here work together, they can still create a protective shield that can protect everyone. It might have been a bit reluctant before, but now that all the spiritual powerhouses from Wuxi Village are here, all this has become no problem. After the problem of cold is solved, there is the problem of hunger. Because the range of the protective cover of the spiritual superpowers in Wuxi Village is generally very large, there is an extra part beyond what is necessary for human life. In this part, planting can be carried out. Psychic superpowers can completely control the indoor temperature to ensure that plants grow at the fastest speed. This is simply a more advanced agricultural facility than a greenhouse. Of course, there is no need to worry about the problem of seeds. There is a lot of space in the late Tang Dynasty. As for what everyone ate before the first crops were grown, Tang Emo took out a dozen space rings. These are collected from everyone's ticket money, one third of everyone's wealth, which adds up to a large amount of money. Zong Zong! These things are handed over to you, except for a small part of them containing some strange things. The remaining half is food, and the other half is things like crystal cores and rare treasures that can provide energy. Master Patriarch, what are you doing? This is such a huge fortune. Guamingi doesn't even dare to think about where he can get these things. And he doesn't dare to pick them up at all. Take it. I know that the people in Wuxi Village have no idea of entering the God's chosen space. So that's fine. You can help these people for me during my absence. If you distribute this food bit by bit in batches, it should be enough to sustain these people until the plants grow. You hold these crystal energy in case you need them in case of emergencies. Crystals can now be used as energy and are used in many places. Through Guamingi's performance during this period and the conversation just now, Tang Emo knew very well that Guamingi was a person who was very suitable to be a leader. And most importantly, he is empathetic and very kind. Only such people can help mankind. Needless to say, Qin Ling was definitely going to enter the divine selection space. As for Wen Jianshu, Tang Emo knew clearly that the wealth and power of the Wen family would not be able to use such a small thing in her hands. In this current situation, 
Power is the most useless thing. From just now to now. She can clearly see that Uncle Wood is preparing to preserve his strength to protect his family and will not participate in those power disputes anymore. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, Uncle Wood admired Uncle Wood's approach very much. In troubled times, he was the smartest person to do this. So since that is the smart thing to do, what are you doing? Probably because he thought those space rings were hot to the touch. Tang Imo shook his head with a smile on his face. After Tang Imo went out, he announced the news to everyone and immediately summoned all space power users inside and outside the protective circle to gather together to build a new protective circle. At this time, everyone's only goal is to survive. So naturally there is no need to hide anything. All the space power users consciously stood up and followed Guomingi's command. Everyone worked together to build a larger protective circle. It was a place three times larger than the protective circle built in the late Tang Dynasty. It can accommodate everyone currently. And it can even be bigger. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he watched the new protective circle being built. He put away his golden protective cover with satisfaction. And then walked into the new protective cover. It feels so good to be protected by everyone. Now that we have a place, we can naturally plant. Until we grow enough food. The tickets you paid before should be able to support everyone until then. I want to talk about three things now. First, for all those with space powers who have contributed to the protection of the circle. Your hard work will not be in vain. You can get more food now and in the future. And you can also get some crystals for replenishment to improve your mental attributes. Second, other people cannot eat and drink for free in the fortress built by others. Everyone must do something within their ability, such as rebuilding fortifications around the protection circle, planting, etc. The more work, the more reward. Third, in the future, everyone will obey the command of Wimingi the patriarch of Xingyi village, on all matters big and small. If you are not willing to obey, you can just leave the protection circle to make a living on your own. Any objections? No. What greeted the end of Tang Dynasty was a deafening reply. They are really completely meaningless. In this context of loss of hope, how much everyone hopes that someone can lead them out of a way to survive. What's more, Tang Mo's request was really very reasonable. And both those with mental attributes and others were very satisfied. Let's talk about the leader. If it were another person, everyone might still be a little unconvinced. But if it was the patriarch of the holy medical village, it would be highly anticipated. That was the holy doctor village. The biggest contributor to the current protection circle. And the person who could save everyone's life when they were in danger. How could there be any objections? In this way, with everyone's unanimous consent, Tang Emo solved everyone's most worrying issues. Tang Emo also sat back on his own small territory with satisfaction. Although it was a new protective circle, everyone was still very sensible and divided a separate area for Tang Emo and his people. Tang Emo has decided that she will fuse the Pearl of Power outside before entering the Divine Selection space. After all, she had already completed a space earlier than others. So she was completely in time. So she still had to be more prudent. As for how to stimulate the power of the Pearl of Power, Tang Emo already had an idea in his mind. In this case, she could only use the most primitive method. Chapter 323 Special Training Guimingi soon began to take over the large and small affairs here. Although no one can go out now, and the space inside is not large, chaos tends to occur in places with many people. So a methodical manager is still very necessary. In today's age, Lish era, managers can hardly make any profit at all, but only selfless dedication. In the late Tang Dynasty, Guomingi was not mistaken. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was always a lone ranger. He had no choice before. But now that he finally got rid of this big burden, he felt relaxed and returned to his tent leisurely. Because there was enough space, the area left for everyone in the late Tang Dynasty was very large. And there was still a lot of distance between tents. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he returned to his tent and found Lin Yu standing at the door of the tent, waiting for him. What's wrong? Is something wrong? Lin Yu has been doing things for himself these two days. And Tang Mo sees his hard work. I. Lin Yu hesitated and didn't know how to speak. Speak. I have few words to begin with. If I don't speak, I will become mute. I know that you taught them the healing techniques in the Holy Doctor Village. Can you teach them to me? Lin Yu finally plucked up the courage to speak. He has been passively accepting Tang Mo's help all this time. Even though he had already thought about it, and devoted himself to helping Tang Emo. But in fact, 
even though he had been doing what he could for the Wynn family and Lin Yi since entering the base. He had to admit that there was nothing he could do to help Tang Emo. Yesterday, he had learned the protective circle from Tang Emo. But as a person with spiritual powers, he could not suppress the enthusiasm in his heart when he saw the miraculous treatment method of using spiritual power in the Holy Doctor Village. If he could, he was willing to do anything for Tang Emo. On the premise of settling his sister, he was even willing to use his own life to repay what he owed Tang Emo. But he had no chance. And now he had to go to Tang Emo to ask for it. As a man of flesh and blood, it was hard for him to say it. That's it. When I went to Waxi Village before, I gave them some by chance. And they studied most of them themselves. But there are some things I can tell you about mental power. For example, do you want to fly? Tang Emo certainly understood Lin Yu's mood now. If Lin Yu was an unmotivated person, then she would feel that she had saved him in vain. At first, she did have the idea of recruiting Xiao Tao and Lin Yu as her own, in preparation for forming a team like Qin Ling in the future. But later she discovered that she was still more suitable to fight alone. Most of her methods of facing those difficulties are through brain rather than tough face-to-face -face combat. Sometimes it is much more convenient to be alone than to have teammates. Especially now that you have to go to the gods' chosen space to do missions. Even if you want to bring your teammates, you can't. Although she was not at the base. She did not know what Lin Yu and Xiao Tao did for her at the base. And she also knew what they were thinking. Now is the time of survival and death between man and hunter. The enemies of mankind are common and not each other. What does she have to hide? Lin Yu's eyes lit up after hearing Tang Mo's words. It's not that he didn't see the way Tang Mo was flying in the air before. He also secretly tried many times with his mental power, but always failed. It would be great if we could really get Tang Mo's guidance. But you have to do me a favor. Tang Mo looked at Lin Yu slyly. You said, as long as I can do it, anything will do. Five days later. Lin Yu, you really went too far. Brother, you really went too far. Excessive. Excessive. Xiao Ao. Xian Xian and Yang Yang. One big. Two small. Sat on the edge of the protective circle. Looking at the world outside. There. Tang Emo built a protective circle for herself alone. She only stayed there for one purpose. Which was to get beaten. This is what Tang Emo asked Lin Yu to do for him. Which was to find five people with high strength attributes to fight with him every day. This is also the method that Tang Emo came up with to integrate the Pearl of Power in the outside world as quickly as possible. She has fused two beads before. And she knows what conditions are needed to fuse beads. The fastest way to integrate the Pearl of Power is to abandon mental power. Put down weapons. And fight with your own physical strength with bare hands. Tang Emo was a spiritual power user. Although his actual combat ability was very strong and his body was well strengthened. He still couldn't stand against five big men with strength attributes. If we can suppress it at the beginning of every day, we can be even at noon. But we can only be beaten in the afternoon. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he did not use crystal stones to replenish his energy, and just let his body be constantly being tempered and consumed. And after Xiao Ao and Xian Xian knew that the person who fought with Tang Emo every day was found by Lin Yu. They glared at Lin Yu every day, and they never looked good. Lin Yu felt sad. He was wronged, and he didn't want to do this. But how could he not listen to what Tang Emo told him? Tang Emo also specifically told him that he must find someone with the highest strength attribute value. Someone who looks very fierce and powerful. God knows that he doesn't dare to wander around the base now. Wherever he goes, he will be glared at by diehard fans of the late Tang Dynasty. Xiao Tao and Xian Tian were okay. They were considered relatively close people. And they just cursed each other. The people in the Holy Doctor Village almost wanted to eat themselves when they saw him. As for the Qinling Mountains, Lin Yu had already released his mental power to detect the surroundings. As soon as he noticed Qin Ling was beside him, he immediately hid far away. How dare he see Qin Ling now? Even the little sheep used to like him very much. But now they hug his arms and bite him when they see him. Lin Yu shed tears silently in his heart. It was really not easy for him to survive. And he would become a sinner for the ages. Tang Emo on the other side didn't know this. She was very satisfied with the level of training every day although her body would be bruised to varying degrees throughout the day. She could clearly feel that the pearl of power in her sea of consciousness was beginning to move. It is estimated that the day of integration is not far away. Now some people have entered the divine chosen space. But no one has come out yet. It seems that the task in the god's chosen space is not simple at all. She must be fully prepared to fuse the pearl of power. 
The actual combat these days is not just for integrating the Pearl of Power. She is a psychic and has poor melee abilities. After fighting against so many masters in the past few days, she has also learned a lot. Whether it is physical prediction and coordination, or judgment of the opponent's strength and her own attack methods, she has gradually formed a set of skills. System. This is something she has always ignored before. Now it is equivalent to making up for her shortcomings. Chapter 324 Meeting Familiar Things Again Tang Emo already had a hunch that as long as he continued training like this, he would be able to completely fuse the pearl of power within a week. Even in prosperous times, life is not always smooth sailing, let alone the end of the world, which is full of disasters and unpredictable. Just as Tang Emo was exercising in the protective circle he had set up next to him as usual, an abnormal sound suddenly appeared in the large protective circle behind him. No! Something happened at the base! At the end of Tang Dynasty, she felt a huge, strange and mysterious force appear in the base's protective circle. When she looked back, she found something rising from a huge crack in the base's protective circle. That is! Everyone looked at the huge alien beast entrenched above their heads. It seemed like a dragon. From the beginning of the Hell Age to now, they haven't seen any strange beasts for a long time. And this time, the alien beasts ran out from the cracks in the ground. Could it be that all the disappeared alien beasts were hidden under this crack? People who were close to the crack retreated a few meters, wanting to get further away from the dangerous place. Mommy, mommy! Suddenly there was a sound of children crying from the alien beast. Everyone looked up and saw when Jianchi's youngest son, the younger brother of the late Tang Dynasty, being wrapped up in the arms of the strange beast and crying loudly in fear from high in the air. It's my younger brother! At this time, Tang Emo had already stood back in the base's protective circle, seeing the fighting brother crying in fear from high in the air. He couldn't help but clenched his fists. Fu Fin, what do you want to do? When Tang Emo saw the strange beast for the first time, he immediately recognized it. That was an old acquaintance he met underground in Sha Town before. At that time, he was still trapped there with no way to get out. Now there was probably a change in the Earth's crust, which allowed this support Fin to find an opportunity to escape to them. At the end of Tang Dynasty, we met again. When the world suddenly changed, Fu Fin used the strength he had accumulated for a long time to escape. It relied on its brute force to open up a passage underground, but accidentally arrived at the base in the late Tang Dynasty. The severe cold environment does not actually pose a threat to the Fin, but it is too uncomfortable to have no food to eat. So after feeling a crowd gathering, it settled down here. I originally wanted to find an opportunity to come out again. But today there were a few little dolls playing near the crack. The milky smell made Fu Fin not be able to hold back the temptation and rushed out. It had been a long time since it had eaten a baby that still smelled like milk. It smelled the baby's smell and felt very good. What do you want to do? Tang Emo clenched his fists and asked again. What do you want to do? Tang Emo, you are a smart man. How about we make a deal? As long as you find someone to eat with me every week, I won't kill you. How about that? Without waiting for Tang Emo to answer, Fu Fin said to himself, It has been trapped for too long. In its world, human beings are still as panicked and weak as they have just entered the end of the world. He, he. At the end of Tang Dynasty, people were almost laughed out of anger. Should I say whether this big snake is naive or stupid? Boss, I'm ready. Lin Yu used his mental power to convey messages to Tang Emo. The moment Fu Fin appeared in the base's protective circle, Tang Emo notified Lin Yu, and asked him to cooperate with him to save his younger brother. Tang Emo looked at the support fin. After being trapped for a long time, this huge creature looked weaker than before. Tang Emo was not worried about dealing with it. But at this moment, there was a sheep on the fin. So Tang Emo didn't care. She had to make sure everything was safe before she dared to do anything. Lin Yu, I can control this guy for three seconds. Within three seconds, you must carry the sheep down to me safely. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he communicated with Lin Yu mentally. No problem. Lin Yu had done nothing these days. He was just thinking about the tricks that Tang Emo taught him. It didn't take him three seconds to fly up and pick up the sheep. Just two seconds. Okay. I'll count down to one and we'll start taking action. Three. Two. One. Just when Tang Emo counted to one, Tang Mo's mental power directly hit Fu Fin. Using a method of mental control over Fu Fin's sea of consciousness. For a behemoth like Fu Fin, who has been trained to speak human words, it is very difficult to completely use mental power to control it in the late Tang Dynasty. If the operation is not done properly, 
it will easily cause backlash. And then it will become the fool is the end of Tang Dynasty. But if he could control the opponent's brain for 5 seconds regardless of the consequences, Tang Emo could still do it. The moment Tang Emo counted to 1, Lin Yu also took action. He rushed forward at an extremely fast speed. While the huge alien beast fell into a daze, it fell back to the ground with a sheep in its arms. The moment Lin Yu stepped on the ground and hid back in the crowd, Tang Emo withdrew his mental power, and the Finns regained their ability to move. Tang Emo felt relieved when he saw that Yang Yang was back in his mother's arms. There was nothing serious other than being frightened. As he stepped up, countless mental powers turned into chains and trapped the fin tightly into a rice dumpling. Tang Emo grabbed one of the chains not far away and dragged the big guy out of the protective cover. The base protection circle is too small and densely populated. It is not very convenient to fight here, and it is easy to hurt innocent people. Fu Fin felt himself being entangled by the golden power and struggled hard, rolling in the sky. But Tang Emo remained unmoved, holding on to the chain tightly. Although her strength is not as strong as that of Fu Finch, the control of her mental power chain is no joke. Coupled with the training in the past few days at the end of Tang Dynasty, she has gained a new understanding of actual combat and control of strength. She is very comfortable facing such a behemoth who far exceeds her in strength. Tang Emo took out his pafong and chopped off the fin that had been wrapped into a rice dumpling. She was worried that she had no one to practice with now. Didn't this sandbag just come to her door now? How dare you catch your own brother? She thought that this Fu Fin thought his lifespan was too long and wanted to return to the west as soon as possible. Tang Emo used all his strength to hold pafong in the air and slash at the fin. The fin has rough skin and thick flesh. But Tang Mo's movements are also clean and sharp. And the sword is bloody. Soon, the helper fin, which was entangled and had no resistance, was already dying, barely keeping itself in the sky and not falling. This beating was also a strenuous job. And Tang Emo was panting from exhaustion and sat on the clouds transformed by his mental power to wipe his sweat. But at this time, a change occurred. Chapter 325 An Unexpected Surprise Just when everyone thought that the strange beast was about to die, they were relieved. The trap bee suddenly produced a burst of brute force and seemed to use all its strength to sprint towards Tang Mo's position. The speed was so fast that Tang Mo couldn't predict it. This was the strongest blow after returning to the light. And this was the only one left. Tang Mo's reaction was also very quick. He immediately turned over his hand and raised the broken wind in his hand, injecting mental power to deal with the dying struggle. But after all, he was unprepared. And Tang Mo still couldn't withstand that huge power for a while. Fu Fin pressed his body against Tang Emo and dived down quickly. At such a speed and height, once a person or an animal fell to the ground, there would be no chance of survival. Not to mention that Fu Fin was still pressing on Tang Mo's body. Everyone in the base protection circle obviously noticed this phenomenon. Qin Ling reacted quickly and shouted loudly. All those with mental powers! Use their mental power to lift the end of Tang Dynasty with all their strength. Qin Ling shouted, and all the spiritual superpowers there moved. Needless to say, the people from Qin Ling, Lin Yu, and those with spiritual powers from the Holy Doctor Village. Each of the other superpowers in the base protection circle also inherited Tang Mo's kindness. Tang Mo was their benefactor. Now that they finally had the opportunity to repay, they naturally went all out. Everyone even temporarily stopped the transmission of protective shield energy and sent all the energy to the falling figure in the sky. The mental power is strong. If you just catch the end of Tang Dynasty, it will naturally not be a problem. But the problem is that at this time, there is still someone who is holding against the falling Fin in the late Tang Dynasty with the mood of perishing together. Fu Fin hated Tang Emo so much, knowing that there was absolutely no possibility of him surviving. And he would not let Tang Emo live well even if they died together. After feeling the huge power under his body, Fu Fin let out a roar and increased his strength. At this moment, there was only one thought in its mind, and that was to let Tang Emo die. Under the counterbalance of these two forces, Tang Emo still fell heavily to the ground. With Fu Fin's big head pressed on his body, Tang Emo didn't do nothing. The moment he landed, he mobilized his mental power to form a protective shield around himself. Then before falling to the ground, he took out a huge mattress and spread it under him, hoping to reduce some damage. However, even so, the moment Tang Emo landed on his back, a mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth, and when the huge head of the support fan collapsed on him, Tang Emo spat out another mouthful of blood, could no longer hold on, and fainted. 
She doesn't know what happened next. While in coma, she felt different energy changes in her body. At this time, she seemed to have turned into a particle of energy and entered her sea of consciousness. Although I can usually observe the situation in the sea of consciousness, it is a bit fuzzy after all, and it is not as clear and intuitive as it is now. She felt that the beat of power was melting, and the energy emitted was pouring into the beat of her body from all directions. The pearl of power is fused. Tang Emo was overjoyed. She did not expect that the appearance of Fu Fen would trigger the fusion of her power beads earlier. This is a good thing for her. But as the bead of power gradually fused, Tang Emo discovered that there was an unknown bead in a hidden corner of his sea of consciousness. What's this? Because he had learned from the past that he had forgotten the beads he got. Tang Emo tried hard to recall whether he had forgotten something. She has already obtained and fused the pearl of space, the pearl of life, and the pearl of power. Qin Ling, the agility attribute bead, has been integrated. There is still one last space attribute bead left that no one has gotten yet. So, what is this one of my own? Tang Emo tried hard to think back, and she probably had some sense. When those people first begged her to enter their protective circle, and the moment she softened her heart, there seemed to be some energy fluctuations in her body. But at that time, she just thought it was because she was too emotionally excited. After all, she hadn't cried for a long time, and she didn't think about anything else at all. Could it be that the beads were produced at that time? What is the use of these beads? All this raises a question mark. Just when Tang Emo was still thinking hard, she suddenly felt a warm current, a familiar warm current flowing through her body. Someone must have used spiritual power to heal himself. Just when the warm current flowed more and more, Tang Emo suddenly lost consciousness again. When she opened her eyes again, she was already lying in her own tent, surrounded by Qin Ling, Lin Yu and Guomingyi. Lin Yi shout I was originally here, but was persuaded by Qin Ling to leave and have a good rest. After all, they can't help much by staying here. But Lin Yu didn't listen. He had to stand here and wait for Tang Emo to wake up. Because he was a person with spiritual attributes and might be able to help. Qin Ling didn't say anything else. Emo Emo, you're awake. Seeing Tang Emo open her eyes, Qin Ling came up and held her hand. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Chief. Tang Emo turned to look at Guomingyi and thanked him. Although Lin Yu has just learned the healing technique. After all, Guimingi has more experience. Even Lin Yu himself should not volunteer at this time. And will definitely leave the healing position to Guimingi. Then the fin. The final huge power of Fu Fin was indeed something that Tang Emo had not expected. If he hadn't bound it with mental chains from the very beginning, it would be hard to say who would win in this battle. Grandmaster, don't worry. That alien beast must have died a long time ago. We have divided it into several parts and put them into space exotic treasures that can be kept fresh. This much meat is enough for the people in the base to eat for a long time. Guimingi was overjoyed to see that his master had woken up and was no longer seriously injured, and thought of the meat on that strange beast. Meat. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he had forgotten that Fufin was a strange beast and its flesh was edible, even though it looked a bit ugly. But nowadays, who cares about whether it is ugly or not? That much meat is really enough for the entire base to eat for a long time. Okay. Don't talk too much. Just rest first, and we won't disturb you. Seeing that Emo looked concerned about base affairs, Qin Ling quickly pushed Guomingyi out. Why are you so ignorant? Emo is still weak. After Lin Yu and Guomingyi left, Qin Ling reluctantly went out, closing the door and letting Tang Emo rest alone in the tent. Chapter 326 Ready to Go As luck would have it, the emergence of Fufin actually solved two big troubles in the late Tang Dynasty. One was the food problem. And the other, most importantly, was the problem of the fusion of the Pearl of Power. Now that the Pearl of Power has been successfully fused, Tang Mo's strength has skyrocketed again, facing the unknown divine chosen space. He is no longer so panicked. The God's chosen space is a personal battle, where you are alone in an unfamiliar environment. This is very unfriendly to many attribute users who have always relied on teamwork, especially those who play support in the team. They simply have no intention of entering the God's choice space. Instead of going in and dying, it's better to live a simple life outside peacefully, waiting for the big guys to collect the five beads to complete the mission of saving the world. But this didn't matter to Tang Emo, because she had always been used to being alone. If she was paired with teammates, she would feel a little constrained. Because of the existence of the late Tang Dynasty, this H. L. era makes people feel better than the original apocalyptic era. So in fact, 
There are not many people who decide to take risks in the God's chosen space. Most people have the self-knowledge and decide to give up. So what does the God's chosen space look like? Tang Emo was lying on the bed, letting his body rest well while looking at the information about the God's chosen space on his ID watch over and over again. Tang Emo read these few lines of text over and over again, looking at them very carefully, hoping to get some more useful information from them. First of all, what she can determine is the background of the apocalypse because it is a parallel time and space. It may be a gentler existence than the apocalypse she has experienced. Or it may be more cruel. However, the late Tang Dynasty did not think it mattered about this. The soldiers came to cover up the water and the earth. What she cares about most is whether everything will return to zero after she enters the divine selection space. Or whether she will enter as she is now without any change. Whether her attribute values can be used and whether her space can be used are the key. If she loses her two trump cards of mental attribute value in space, her situation will be much more difficult. But it was obviously useless to think about it now, since no information was given and the people who entered had not returned. Tang Mo decided that he could not wait any longer and had to go and see everything in person. As for the extra bead in the body, Tang Mo didn't feel that the bead was harmful to him for the time being. So he simply ignored it for the time being. She doesn't have much time to think about these issues now. Tang Mo's execution ability always comes first. As long as he makes a decision, he won't hesitate too much. The next day, she greeted her family and friends and prepared to go into the God's chosen space that day. Okay, it just so happens that I'm going to go today too. Let's compete to see who can complete the tasks in the three dimensions first. Qin Ling had been preparing to enter the divine selection space in the past few days. His pearl of agility had been integrated for some time. After seeing the innovative moves about mental power in the late Tang Dynasty, he suddenly had some other ideas. In addition to mental power, wouldn't other attribute values also allow for some innovative moves? This attempt really allowed him to find some ways, which delayed him for some time. It's almost ready now, and it's just right to go in with MOMO. Tang MO knew that Qin Ling was the one who must enter the god's chosen space. So he didn't say anything more. He just told him to pay attention to safety and see them again when they came out. What Tang Emo didn't expect was that when he heard that she was going in, Lin Yu also decided to leave today. In fact, Lin Yu learned the moves from her not long ago, and they should be consolidated. But Lin Yu had a stubborn temper and strong self-esteem, and she couldn't persuade him to do anything. So she simply didn't say anything else. When talking to Xiao Tao, Tang Emo was already mentally prepared. If Xiao Tao also said that she wanted to go in now, then she would say anything to stop it. After all, Apart from her high attribute value in terms of strength, Xiao Tao really has no other strengths. She got shout out from Xiao Tao's parents. And she has to be responsible for the child's safety. But what I didn't expect was that Xiao Tao didn't have to worry about it at all. And she didn't even think about entering the space. There is only one pearl of space. It's enough for you to go. Why should I go? Besides, I'm not smart and I don't have any strength. It's best to stay with my uncle and aunt as a bodyguard or something. Besides, if I leave, Xian Xian and Yang An will both miss me. During these days, the simple-minded Xiao Tao and Xian Xin Yang An had the best time, hanging out with the children every day and becoming the kings of children. Xiao Tao's words sounded the smartest in the late Tang Dynasty. Smart people want to make the best choice for themselves. Moreover, from a selfish point of view, Tang Emo felt a lot more at ease with Xiao Tao staying at home. The world is in chaos but you still need to be prepared to feel at ease. The Qin Ling team basically unanimously agreed not to go. It's enough for the boss to get the beats. Why are they going in there to grab things from the boss? Besides, there are two perverts, the sister-in-law and the boss, who they can't rob. Isn't it unhealthy to risk their lives? Very good. They are all very sensible people. But Su Lao San was not that smart and had to go in and take a look. Qin Ling didn't bother to talk to him and called Xiao Tao over directly. Soon, Su Laosan became honest. The old saying that one thing brings another down is really not a lie. After everything was explained, Tang Emo took out the spar and walked outside the base's protective circle. According to the pattern given on the God's Choice Space page, he used the spar to form a corresponding pattern. When the last crystal was placed, with the crystal as the edge, a space of about one square meter lit up, emitting a dazzling white light. Tang Emo stood in the white light without hesitation. His vision went dark, and he lost consciousness again. When he woke up again at the end of Tang Dynasty, 
he found himself lying on a big rock beside the stream. Opening your eyes and looking to the side. There are mountains everywhere. Tangemo did not get up in a hurry, but sighed deeply. This is not teleporting to a parallel space. This is simply traveling to another time and space. If it was teleportation, how could she be attached to someone else's body now? Tangemo raised his hand and brought it to his eyes. The pale and slender fingers were completely different from his callous fingers that had held too many knives. In fact, from the first moment, she regained consciousness. Tangemo knew in her heart that she had definitely traveled through time into someone else's body. And it was definitely not her own body. Her body has been strengthened and transformed many times. And every muscle is just right to ensure that the body can explode with maximum strength. But this body now. Chapter 327 So that's it. Tangemo didn't even need to look at it to know how fragile this body was. Especially the burning discomfort in his stomach. Which should be caused by not eating for several days. Tangemo stood up. Took out a mirror and carefully observed his current body. He is not tall, very white and thin, and is wearing a large pink sweatshirt without a logo. This pink sweatshirt was familiar to Tang Mo. She had seen it before at a street stall owned by a big star. But the star also said that she bought this dress from abroad after spending tens of thousands and waiting for three months. This little girl should be very rich. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he came to a conclusion. The girl looks a little timid and looks like a little white rabbit. Very handsome, but not what Tang Emo liked. In the apocalypse, girls like this often die the fastest. There was a backpack on him. Tang Emo opened it and found a sketchbook inside. There were many paintings in it. Although Tang Emo didn't know much about art, he could still tell that each painting was painted with his own ideas and thoughts. Attitude. At least she could feel something else from the paintings. Each painting was marked with a date and name. The name of each painting is Chiao Jin. It seems that this girl studies art and her name is Chiao Jin. In addition to a sketchbook and a box of colored pencils, there were some miscellaneous items in the bag. Probably girls' things. Tang Emo also found a mobile phone in his bag. When he turned it on, there was only a dialogue box on the WeChat page. With a note, Dad. Tang Emo clicked on the message. And there was only one WeChat message in it, which was sent by Xiao Jin's father. Xiao Jin. Your mother is sick again. Sugui. This body could only give her so much information. Tang Emo sighed. No matter how dissatisfied she was with this body, this was all she could do. After the body has been changed, the body enhancement is definitely gone, and there is no need to think about it anymore. I just don't know those attribute values. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he felt his sea of consciousness. The sea of consciousness is still there. Although the body has been changed, the sea of consciousness seems to have been transferred at the same time. Tang Emo was overjoyed. What did this mean? It meant that her attributes were all there. If this attribute value is not there, wouldn't the fusion of these attribute beads of mind be in vain? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was satisfied with using his mental power to make various shapes. The attribute values are still there. But what about the space? Tang Emo subconsciously touched the necklace around his neck. Fortunately. Okay. The necklace is still there. Oh. No. Why is this necklace not in the shape of a jade pendant? Tang Emo lowered his head and saw that the pendant in his hand was obviously not her cute little jade pendant, but a small pendant. When he opened it, he saw a still painting the size of the belly of his finger. The painting is of a family of three. I don't know what kind of paint and many brushes were used to paint it. It is extremely delicate. The little girl in the middle smiled happily, and Tang Emo could tell that she was Xiao Jin. The two people next to him should be Xiao Jin's father and mother. This should have been painted by Xiao Jin. The three of them, as a family can tell they are very happy just by looking at the expressions on the painting. What about my pendant? Tang Emo was a little panicked. Seeing how hungry her body was now, she knew that this apocalypse must be related to hunger. If she didn't have the materials in her own space, even a clever woman would be in trouble. But, when Tang Emo was looking down at the unique pendant in his hand, he suddenly noticed a small tattoo under his collarbone. Tattoo? Why doesn't she remember when she got a tattoo? Take a closer look. Isn't this the pattern of your own little pendant? Not only the small pendant, but also the few space objects absorbed later were completely tattooed on his body as patterns. Could it be? Tang Emo tried to connect to his own space. Done! It seems that because I went to other parallel dimensions and changed my body, all the decorations on my body became tattoos and were tattooed on my body. Don't tell me. This little tattoo is quite pretty. Knowing that the space could still be used, 
Tang Emo put his heart back in his stomach and began to admire his new tattoo. She had long felt that it was too unsafe to make the pendant into a necklace. But now it has become a tattoo. And she is really satisfied. But the pendant has become a tattoo. But what about the ID watch? It's not like she has a watch tattooed on her wrist. Tang Emo looked at his wrist again. Fortunately, the girl was originally wearing an Apple watch on her hand. But the ID watch had disappeared. Can you please load Xiao Jin's memory? In the last three seconds. Three. Suddenly a voice appeared in Tang Mo's mind. But before Tang Emo could figure out what the sound was, the countdown had already begun. Load. Is there anything else you need to hesitate at this time? She is willing to sacrifice for others. But she has to agree to whatever the other party says at this time. Then, a memory appeared in Tang Mo's mind. It seems inappropriate to use it too much. As if part of the previously sealed memories were suddenly unsealed. It turns out that Xiao Jin is originally a rich second generation with a very good family background. He can be said to be powerful in the local area. And his family is also very harmonious and happy. Originally, Xiao Jin was a lively and cheerful little girl who loved to laugh and be playful. But unfortunately, she was kidnapped when she was seven years old. Although she was successfully rescued later, those three dark days still left a deep psychological shadow on the little girl. Since then, the child has become less talkative and only likes to stay alone in the room. I only draw pictures when I am with my parents. In order to protect their precious daughter, Chiao's parents decided to let their child hide her identity as much as possible from now on. But education is a big issue. Just because they thought too much, Chiao's parents made an incorrect decision. That was to send Chiao Jin to a super aristocratic school. Originally, according to their family's status, it was the perfect place for Chiao Jin to go there. And even there, there were few people who could surpass her. But Chiao Jin couldn't reveal her family background under disguise. And this kid didn't like to show off. How would a child from an ordinary family be treated in an aristocratic school? I've seen these in those youth idol dramas in the late Tang Dynasty. Not to mention a girl like Xiao Jin who doesn't laugh, doesn't talk, and can only draw. Later, she suffered too many grievances in this school and could not tolerate it. The last time, and the only time that Xiao Jin cared about, was when the painting she had been thinking about for a long time was secretly copied by a girl who pretended to be her friend and won the prize. So the painting Xiao Jin handed in without knowing it turned into a joke. Even though her painting skills were better, the two paintings with the same pattern, Color and structure still made Xiao Jin the laughing stock of everyone. Chapter 328 Xiao Jin's Wish Later, the school organized a large-scale sketching activity in the mountains. In addition to the seniors who were about to take the college entrance examination, many children came. The location we visited this time was a very remote scenic spot in China. Although it was remote, the scenery was very beautiful. This environment without anyone disturbing it was especially suitable for children to sketch. In order to allow the children to make good use of this opportunity, the school informed the people above in advance and built several temporary foam board houses here for the children to sketch for a month. Because it was so remote, there was only one path up the mountain, and someone sent them a batch of food every three days. All of this is not a small expense. But after all, it is an aristocratic school, not an ordinary aristocratic school. Neither the power of the school nor the power of the student's parents is worth mentioning. This time the team was led by the principal, some teachers and more than a hundred children, including Xiao Jin, who loves painting as his life. Everything was calm in the first week after arriving here, but in the second week, it suddenly became dark and there were earthquakes everywhere. This place was originally a mountainous area, with towering mountains in all directions. An earthquake in this place is an unimaginably terrible thing. Fortunately, the mountain did not collapse on a large scale. At least the area within a few hundred meters where the students were staying was safe. The place where they stay is halfway up the largest mountain here. If the mountain collapses, none of them will survive. But after daybreak, everyone found that the only road down the mountain was blocked. It is not particularly accurate to say that it was blocked. It should be considered that it had disappeared. Completely disappeared. Even if you wanted to dig it out. There was no way to do it. There were big rocks everywhere. Piece of stone. The mobile phone signal also lost. And they were completely trapped here. Before the mobile phone signal disappeared. Xiao Jin received the last WeChat message from her father. Xiao Jin. Your mother is sick again. Su Gui. Tang Emo sighed silently. Wasn't this going to force this child to death? Although the road is blocked. The more than 100 people trapped here. Whether teachers or students. Are not ordinary people. 
Soon the parents showed off their skills. Digging the road was a big project. But at least they could pass on the information first and send some food to the babies trapped here. In the first few days, countless planes hovered over the mountains, dropping things down as if they were free of charge. The helicopter cannot land in such terrain and can only temporarily rescue in this way. However, Xiao Jin and the others were located halfway up the mountain. It was difficult for the helicopter to drop the items from a safe height accurately to where Xiao Jin and the others were. Most of the supplies hung on the mountain or fell to the bottom of the mountain. Only a very small part reached their hands. However, from this small amount of material information, they also learned about the situation outside. That is because for some unknown reason, starting from that night when the landslide and the earth collapsed, the plants in the world gradually withered and the poultry died one after another. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he was heartbroken when he saw this. This beginning was just like his own world. It was another era of famine. But, Tang Emo carefully searched this memory for a long time, but still did not see any description of the strange beast. However, I soon realized that this is a parallel world and everything is unknown. Besides, this world has just begun and everything is still early. Because of the last WeChat message she received, Xiao Jin was eager to know information about her family and her mother's condition. So every time a package dropped, she would be the first to rush forward to see if it was given to her by her father. She knew in her heart that with her popularity, if her package was picked up by others, they would not tell her any information inside, and she could only rely on herself. However, Xiao Jin's behavior also angered the students here even more. At this time, materials are life. The current materials are all distributed by the principal and teachers after everyone has agreed. Why are you so active in getting them? Although Xiao Jin never took anything in the package, her behavior of rushing to find the package and open it still made everyone hate her even more. But even so, Xiao Jin still couldn't find the package her father sent her. It has been three weeks since the end of the world began. And this time Xiao Jin fainted because he was looking for a package and found this place. Then, he was exhausted and fainted from hunger. Seeing this, this memory is completely over. From this point of view, this end of the world is quite easy. If it is just to survive hunger, it will be easy for Tang Mo. After all, she has tried, and her own space can still be opened. Then what is the mission of this space? Tang Mo asked in his heart. She knew that she could only get out of here if she completed the task. If she just wanted to survive, how much money would she have to live on? The mission is to fulfill Xu Jin's two wishes. Since the theme of this world is hunger, for the sake of fairness, all players entering the space cannot use their own space attributes and any space treasures. Once used, the mission will fail. If you fail the mission, you will be wiped out from this world. Tang Emo knows. However, if you can't use it, you can just seal it. Now you put these things here and don't let her use them. What a cruel setting. Tang Emo couldn't help but curse. But no matter what Tang Emo said, the voice stopped speaking and seemed to disappear. But there are helicopters dropping food. So it shouldn't be difficult to find some food here. Generally speaking, Tang Mo's mentality is relatively optimistic. After all, she is someone who has seen strong winds and waves. This small difficulty is nothing to her. Two wishes. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he thought carefully about everything about Xiao Jin. The first wish must be related to her family. She loves her family so much. And she must be desperate to not get information about her seriously ill mother. And the second wish is to get out from here. No. Xiao Jin hasn't been trapped here for too long. So wanting to get out of here shouldn't be considered her obsession. Moreover, the principal also received information that people outside have begun to dig the road again. And it is expected that they will be able to go out in three months. So what is Xiao Jin's other wish? At the end of Tang Dynasty, he recalled the memory just now. The memory talked about one thing for a long time. That is, Xiao Jin's replaced painting. It just being plagiarized is nothing. The important point is that the person who plagiarized her paintings is the only friend in Xiao Jin's heart in this life. When betrayal, plagiarism, criticism, and ridicule all come at you like a little girl. Yes, it's about that painting. Chapter 329 I have my own way. If Tang Emo guessed correctly, Xiao Jin's two wishes were actually not difficult. At least it's much simpler than the mission that I struggled to complete in the apocalyptic garbage dump. As long as I don't starve to death here, there shouldn't be much danger. But now that the space in the late Tang Dynasty can no longer be used, the most important task of filling one's stomach does not seem to be that easy. In fact, 
The students now agree with the teacher to distribute the parcels that are dropped now. However, because Xujin's previous behavior made many people hate her, some students told the teacher that they did not agree to give their parcels to Xiao Jin. Although the teachers also feel sorry for Xiao Jin. After all, it is not the school's own thing. And there is often nothing they can do about it. Xiao Jin is also a child with backbone. She won't eat anything unless given. She doesn't know how to explain anything to others. And she doesn't know how to show her misery to gain sympathy. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he shook his head. This child is really stupid. The first batch of people who will starve to death in the end of the world will be people like this who don't give up for five buckets of rice. His stomach was already growling. Reminding Tang Emo that his already weak body would become incapacitated if he didn't replenish some energy. Tang Emo looked through Xia Jin's bag again and made sure there was no food at all. She raised her head and looked at the surrounding wild mountains. Even if she ate the leaves, those strange plants would probably kill her at any time. The creek next to it is crystal clear. Although there is no fish in it, it does not affect its gurgling flow. Tang Emo held up a handful of water with his hands and observed it carefully. After making sure that the water was non-toxic and drinkable, he drank it in big gulps. Since there is no food for the time being, it is also good to fill up with water first. After drinking a lot of water, Tang Emo began to think carefully about his current situation. The top priority is not to put your wishes first, but to survive. It's not impossible to go back and beg them to give him something to eat. In terms of thick skin, Tang Emo was at least 10 times thicker than Xiao Jin. However, this is a last resort and it can only barely keep you alive. You still have to rely on yourself if you want to eat enough. Although there is no edible fruit on this mountain now, there are still packages. Only a small part of the packages fell halfway up the mountain, and most of them were at the bottom of the mountain. The winding road down the mountain has been ruined, and the vertical height is daunting. But this was not a difficult matter for the late Tang Dynasty. She still has mental power. The space cannot be used, but it does not mean that the mental power cannot be used. Although Tang Emo was too hungry at this time, controlling his mental power was still as familiar as instinct. He quickly climbed up a cloud of mental power that he had condensed, and then controlled the cloud to float downward. The height of this mountain is so high that even descending from halfway down the mountain took a long time. But when Tang Emo landed smoothly on the pile of packages at the bottom of the mountain, she felt from the bottom of her heart that this little time was really nothing. Because there are so many good things in the mountains. There are mountains next to the mountains and the gap between the two mountains has become a small canyon-like space, with countless packages piled up layer after layer. This is what those aristocratic rich people who love their children throw down on their children. It's just that the children didn't receive it. So now they're all taking advantage of her. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, he couldn't care less about things, so he just picked up a package and opened it. Sure enough, it was full of food and a few clean clothes. Judging from the style of the clothes, they should be those of a boy. Tang Emo casually took the biscuits and milk from the package and ate them hungrily. After eating one package was not enough. Tang Emo opened another package and ate three cans of cans before he was satisfied and finally felt like his stomach was full. Patting his already swollen belly, Tang Emo was in the mood for the huge wealth that belonged entirely to him in this small canyon. She can't use the space now. She can't carry too many of these things. So she can only come down frequently. This is a minor problem for her. Tang Emo opened a few more packages, picked some biscuits, instant noodles, sausages and chocolate, and stuffed them into his backpack. There is no need to bring water. There is a lot of running water halfway up the mountain. It is completely sufficient for drinking and domestic water. There was no need to worry about food for the time being. At the end of the Tang Dynasty, the terrain began to be explored again. The mountains were connected to each other and separated from the outside world. It was impossible to leave here from below. From below you can only climb another mountain, and another mountain, and another mountain. It goes on and on, and it's impossible to get home. What about from above? Although it was possible to rise into the air in the late Tang Dynasty, the height of the mountain was too high. If you fly at low altitude, it is a trivial matter to be seen by others. The main thing is that it is surrounded by mountains and blocks you from all directions. There is nothing you can do about it. If you can avoid these mountains at high altitude, this is simply impossible. Even if Tang Emo can fly so high, Tang Emo cannot solve the problem of hypoxia. She had already tried it in her own world. At a place where the altitude was too high, she could not even use her mental power as a protective shield due to internal and external pressure problems. After flying at high altitude for too long, lack of oxygen was a problem 
she couldn't solve it all. If you want to leave here, don't think about it for now. Let's solve the immediate problem first. After all, there is another wish that needs to be solved here. And these packages. Tangemo looked at the packages at his feet. Among them, there must be more than one package sent to her by Xiaojin's father. But now it's getting a little dark. And she's going back. During the day, she must look through it carefully. And she will definitely get more useful information there. After eating and drinking, Tang Emo quickly flew up again with a bag of food. And then used Xiaojin's memory to find the place where they gathered. There are lots of houses there. All made of movable foam board materials. What Tang Emo didn't expect was that the school was so wealthy that each of the students had a room in this deep mountain and forest. Although the room is small and pitiful. It can barely accommodate a bed and room for one person to turn around. But this is an independent space after all. This is what the late Tang Dynasty needs most at this moment. For safety reasons, the school teachers did not allow fires to be lit at night for fear of attracting wild animals. Everyone didn't eat enough throughout the day. So as soon as it got dark, they all went back to their rooms and lay down to save energy. When Tang Emo returned, there were only a few teachers outside who were still keeping vigil and students who couldn't sleep and were ready to come out to look at the stars and feed the mosquitoes. Seeing Tang Emo coming back, a female teacher smiled and nodded at her. Tang Emo also smiled back. Good evening. Teacher Shaochen. Chapter 330 Teacher Shaochen. In Shiojin's memory, Teacher Shaochen is the only person here who treats her well. Teacher Shaochen is the most talented painter in this school. He has won many awards at home and abroad at the age of only 25. This is why, as a girl from a rural area, Teacher Shaochen can successfully come to this school to teach. In this aristocratic school, many teachers are either from prominent families who come to play for money or they are big names in various professional fields. Teacher Xiaoqin is obviously the latter. If many artists pursue a higher artistic level when they are young, they actually do not make money. This school can give these people a freer environment and stable financial security to support them in realizing their dreams. When we were at school, Teacher Xiaoqin had a special preference for Xiao Jin. First, she felt that Xiao Jin had a very high talent for art. This child had a promising future and must be nurtured well. Secondly, Xiaojin's disguised identity as a civilian made teacher Xiaojin very sympathetic. She felt that this introverted little girl was very similar to herself when she was a child. And she wanted to protect her even more. After the plagiarism incident, teacher Xiaochen was the only person in the school who believed in Xiaojin. She knew that this matter would be a permanent thorn in the child's mind. So she had been investigating the matter. But unfortunately the surveillance in the school had been destroyed. The family of the girl named Zhang Xiang who was close to Xiao Jin was not an ordinary person. So naturally, she would not let outsiders discover the disgraceful things her child had done. In fact, a large part of this matter is also due to Xiao Jin's character. If she is willing to tell her family about this matter and complain to her parents, it will not be difficult to find out the truth with Xiao Jin's family's ability. At least it is much more effective than teacher Xiao Qin's efforts alone. Xiao Jin has no friends in this school. And her favorite teacher is also teacher Xiao Qin. Xiao Jin, you are in a good mood today. Teacher Xiao Chen was sincerely happy to see the child Xiao Jin showing her long lost smile. During these days of being trapped, she was worried about the child's condition. Every time he secretly stuffed her with something to eat, she would run away quickly. This stubbornness made Teacher Chen see the shadow of her former self in Xiao Jin even more. Teacher, here you go. Tang Yimou approached Teacher Xiao Chen, took two pieces of chocolate from his pocket, and stuffed them into Teacher Xiao Chen's pocket. It was late at night. Everyone was asleep. And only Teacher Xiao Chen was keeping watch outside. This is. I can't have it. Xiao Jin. Take it back quickly. Teacher Xiao Chen reached out and felt what was in his pocket. And hurriedly wanted to return it. The child Xiao Jin is in such a difficult situation now. How can she accept the child's things? Teacher. Take it. I found the package my parents sent me. Tang Emo said in Teacher Xiao Chen's ear. She could feel Xiu Jin's feelings for teacher Xiao Chen. Not only love, but also gratitude. Now that she is here, let her repay this gratitude. Teacher Xiao Chen is a child from a rural area. He is very good, but he is still looked down upon by many teachers and students in the school. Now that he is trapped here, teacher Xiao Chen's family is naturally unable to do anything to help. Teacher Xiao Chen eats the least every day and does the hardest work, such as keeping vigil. None of it is easy. Teacher. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. 
no longer waiting for teacher Xiao Chun to say anything. Tang Emo quickly ran into his room. The bed in the room is not big, but the bedding is brought by Xiao Jin herself. It is warm, clean and comfortable. Tang Emo was a person who was very adaptable to unfamiliar environments. After washing up a little, he quickly climbed into bed and fell asleep. This sleep was extremely sound. And when Tang Emo woke up again, it was already dawn. The sun shone warmly on Tang Mo's body through the branches and windows. Tang Emo stretched out, sat up from the bed, and then began to observe the small room that he had not had time to observe last night. There is a single bed and two large boxes next to the bed. Beyond that there is nothing. At the end of Tang Dynasty, he opened one of the boxes. It was full of paints, drawing boards, brush tools and other items. These were the things Xiao Jin used for sketching, and they were her treasures. The other box contained all daily necessities, some changes of clothes and shoes, as well as daily necessities. Tang Emo found a slightly plainer looking sportswear, put it on, and changed into a pair of sports shoes. Xiao Jin's hair is very long, reaching her waist. Long hair was really inconvenient for the late Tang Dynasty, so he used scissors to cut his hair to shoulder length. Then he tied a ball head on his head with two small rubber bands. It turned out that Tang Emo had lifted up all his thick bangs and pinned them with clips, exposing his bare forehead, which made him feel much more refreshed. In fact, Tang Emo felt that short hair was more convenient. But he thought of Xu Jin's usual personality and his hairdressing skills. It would be safer to decide not to do anything too shocking for the time being. Xiao Jin is short-sighted. Tang Emo discovered it yesterday. Xiao Jin always wears glasses. However, the glasses were accidentally broken when I dropped them. This was not a problem at all for Tang Emo. With her mental strength, not to mention myopia, she could be cured even if she was blind. When Tang Emo was getting ready to go out, there was already a long line of people outside to share the porridge. Since the school organized a sketching trip to the mountains for such a long time, the basic equipment was naturally complete. Whether it was gas or pots, most of those packages contain ingredients that are easy to store. And rice is one of them. The porridge these days is made from the rice in the packages given by Zhang Xiong and several other girls. Since Zhang Xiong broke up with Tang Emo and even stopped pretending, this porridge naturally doesn't belong to Xiao Jin. Just when Tang Emo was about to turn around and leave, he was grabbed by Teacher Xiao Chen. You come with me! Teacher Xiao Chen pulled Tang Emo into her own room. Drink! Teacher Xiao Chen pointed to the bowl of porridge on the table in the room. The teacher's room is better than the student's room. At least there is a small table. Tang Emo looked at the bowl of porridge and was moved. If it was Xiao Jin, he would probably still turn around and run away. But it was different in the late Tang Dynasty. She picked up the bowl of porridge generously and said, Thank you, teacher. I will remember this bowl of porridge and return it to you next time. Then he drank it without even using a spoon. There was sugar in the porridge, which was warm and sweet. After drinking it in one sip, Tang Emo felt that his stomach felt better. Xiojin's stomach is not good, and her body is the capital of revolution. Tang Emo will remember this account first, and one day he will return it to teacher Xiao Chen.